even for Rev. I do, uh, Crystal, I do know um, when he sees, sings the ducktail one. Guess what? Give me just one second. Here you go. <laughs> Life is like a hurricane here in Duckburg. Race cars, lasers, airplanes. It's a duck blur. Might solve a mystery. Or rewrite history, DuckTales, woo! Every day that they're been making DuckTales, woo! Tales of Dairy do bad and good DuckTales, woo! The d, -d, -d danger lurks behind you, there's a stranger around to find you. What'd you do? Just grab on to some DuckTales, woo! Every day that they've been making DuckTales, woo! Tales of dairy do good at bad DuckTales, woo! No ponytails or cottontails, no DuckTales, woo! Okay, that's enough for what? For now. Somebody requested it, it's not my fault. How are you guys doing today? Is everybody doing pretty good? So, uh, Rev and Shani have been fairly quiet the last um, 24 hours. I mean, yesterday Shani came on for like five minutes to cry about some movie that had her all emotional and changed her life and whatever. Um, and haven't heard from her since. My theory is, you know, today's the first. They probably got their food stamp money. 
So since they don't need to beg, they're being quiet for now. But that's fine because we have enough content to last a lifetime with these two. So we're going to go over some older stuff, some stuff that's not that old. We're just going to kind of be random with it and watch sh some different uh, Shani and Rev stuff for a little while. I have not felt too great today. I just don't know. Like I've been kind of feeling a little down. Um, so I don't know how long the stream will go. I may not go too, too long. But I'm going to try to do a little while for, for you guys because um, I like hanging out with you. And I, I want to, you know, at least give you guys a little bit of content every day if I can help it. So the first one we're going to get into... I think you guys might find fun like this I it's like mind-blowing to me the stuff that this woman said and how she she and she does this about a lot of different things and it's like I don't know if she just forgets what she says in the past or just doesn't give a shit doesn't think anyone's gonna look back I don't know it's weird um hi everybody let me say hi to everybody really quick before we go on we've got oh Great Scott Joint, a.k.a. Michael, my husband. You're the first one to come in here. Awesome. We got Espresso, Ellen, Pirate Hacker, Blue, uh, Tina, uh, Scott Fam, Leslie, uh, Melissa, Tangled Bliss, It Me. Oh, by the way, you asked a question. Um, hey, do they have any videos or do they exist of when... They, she actually met Rev like when she moved into his place. I know that there are videos from back before they were even together. Um, and in the beginning, I don't know of any off the top of my head that are when like they very first met. But they might exist. Um, if anybody in the chat does know that and, and knows if any of those exist, please let me know so that um, I can pass that along. But yeah. Um, not sure 100 percent i do know that she was doing content back then so maybe um we've got guido we've got miss mud duck crystal who requested ducktails <laughs> we got shav thirst we've got marco and jr and little miss cindy audie fawn tubian donald dinah and candy and auntie Anna Nicole and Sam Lucian Perpetual. Um, let's see, Connie Hogtie Champ Change. How are you doing, Change? Kylie Blondie, and that's everybody for now. Thank you guys for being here. I hope y'all are having a great day, and we're gonna get into it. Hi, this is me now. Look at the disgust on her face. Aw, oh, thanks, Sam. Why, you know, one thing about Shani, like, she always has to put that, that camera right to her face. It's like, Shani, that is not a good look. Back the fuck up a little bit. All right. So, okay. I'm trying to wrap my mind around something because it's like, it's really fucking weird. Um, the, what I like to call the Hegelian dialect that's been going on with the narratives surrounding my life. So, let me get this straight on this really stupid fucking narrative. Okay. I just had someone just leave a stupid comment. And I, it just it just got me thinking. Okay? Uh-oh. So, got her thinking. My friend commented on a on uh, a uh, picture I left of a DM I sent telling people to shut the fuck up, right? 
Or I'll go straight fucking incognito, right? Because I'm, I'm, I'm almost there at this point just to, like, Hi, show Aries. these people I mean business. And I know it would kill them channels. So they, they really need to be careful with their wording right now. So let me get this. Apparently, I should be put in jail for abuse and neglect yep. because I Hi, put Payla. my sons through hell. Hi, some idiot. Yeah, Shani. First exactly. of all, I don't abuse my sons. I don't neglect my sons. Uh, oh, bitch. Oh, bitch. You do neglect your sons. Don't get it twisted. You definitely neglect them, which, by the way, is abuse. Hi, Chelsea. I don't even hit my sons, okay? I don't look at that. I, I, I see other better methods of discipline than, than that, especially with grown teenagers. Hi, Maddie. So, okay, so this is what I'm seeing, okay? These same people trying to mom shame me for choosing my children, for leaving my husband, for... And who the fuck ever shamed her for choosing her children? Shani, that never happened. Like, flat out, that never happened. Nobody said that. Nobody did that. So I don't know where you're getting that from, but that did not fucking happen. That... Especially with grown teenagers. Hi, Hippie Riri. So, okay. So, this is what I'm seeing. Okay? These same people trying to mom shame me for choosing my children, for leaving my husband, for, for trying to move on with my life. These same fucking people, and you can look at it, on the Real Revelation News on YouTube, these same people are fucking coddling them, okay? Remember, these are the same people telling me that I should have my kids taken away for abuse and neglect. They're telling a man who literally kicked my son in the head and kicked his ribs, bruising his fucking ribs. They still fucking hurt him, by the way. See? This is the shit that pisses me off. Because that statement right there shows exactly what he did, that she knew what he did, and that's child abuse. Like, she's this, that this guy kicked her kid in the head in the ribs, the ribs were bruised, and that the ribs still hurt. And this was days and days and days after. Pro actually, this was probably like over a week after. They are coddling him right now, saying, run, Rev, run, and saying, well, you admitted that you hit Zachary, and since you admitted to hitting Zachary, you know what, you should be let off. Hi, Aaron. But yeah, I'm Hi, the Justin. neglectful mom, I'm the abusive mom, and right now they're trying to guilt shame me for not being with Rev. Rev's homeless right now. Rev, you let Rev be in jail. He put his hands on my son. Yep. You're abusive and you're neglectful because you won't let Rev back. Nobody said that. But Dude, nobody in the fucking world ever said that, Shani. No one shamed you for not taking Rev back and choosing your kids. No one. The, what people said, hi Sabella, what people said was, because a lot of people really did think that it, it could have been a situation where Shani was the one who hit the kid or kicked the kid and Rev took the blame for her because, and I, at the time I thought, oh, that's crazy, like whatever. But the more that time has gone on, the more I look at the situation, the more I see how Rev is and how he, ba like, I mean, after all the stuff she said about him in jail, after all of that, he still took her back. 
it's it's more and more likely in my mind that that is a possibility. I don't think that's what happened, but it's not that crazy or out of the realm to think that he would do that. But nobody's nobody's shaming her for this shit. They're shaming you for being a ne neglectful mother. It has nothing to do with you taking Rev back or not taking Rev back. She always but you're the one who shit. put him, your kids through hell. So, okay, let me get this right. My mom threatens to kill my sons on Christmas Eve when I'm at work. And that's my fault? That This is their hell that my son... And I do not believe that happened. Not for one second. I just don't. I don't think that her mom ever threatened to kill her kids. ...has gone through. That was my fault. So as soon as I heard my children tell me what my mom did, I instantly called the police, but I'm the one who's abusive and neglectful, right? Yeah. When it came to Jason, I didn't hey, Whitney, bail him no, out. He, I he didn't I, miss anything. We're, we just started a little while ago. Thought things through, but yet I'm abusive and neglectful. It's all bullshit. You can't even keep your narratives together. And you're so fucking sloppy now at your lies. You're shaming me and you're coddling the actual person who actually abused. And you don't think people can, can see through your bullshit of you're shaming a woman who's doing the right thing by her children compared to coddling a man who did something horrible. Just to try to shame me some more. Just to try to affect my mental health some more. That is some serious, fucked up, emotional and mental manipulation. Like, seriously, you guys are so fucking abusive. I don't know why you're mad and say I'm abusive. Why are you mad? If I'm so abusive, why are you mad? You're abusive too. Why are you mad? Isn't this what you wanted? It's so dumb at this point. It's so dumb. The narratives they try to pull onto people. It's so fucking dumb. Like, I'm not eating like I should. I'm not sleeping what I should. My heart is fucking <laughs> broken right She's now. She's not eating like she should. You got that right. You're eating way more than you should, I'm sure. No. It's torn in pieces. And, 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 and frankly... I've been doing the best I can keeping myself together for my children. For my children. Oh my goodness. But yeah, I'm a bad guy for wanting my children to be healthy. I'm the bad guy for, for putting Rev in jail. Now, Rev put his own ass in jail. But, I, I, but see, your narrative was I was lying about it. But Jason came out and said it happened. So what is the narrative now? I, I'm, I'm having Jason, even though we're not together, and we don't really talk that much, I, right. I'm having Jason do that stupid shit? Like, wh where are you going to switch the narrative next in who I am as a person? I'm just wondering. Because at this point, it makes absolutely no sense. Hi, Remember Hannah. when you used to say I was drugging? Him to control him? Oh, wow. I was going to leave Jason because of the money. He ran out of money. And I was with him for almost two years after that. Until he hit my child. But still, there's the, there's the narrative. Hi, six drops. There's another twisted fucking narrative with me. I can't win with anyone. I can't fucking win. And I'm not gonna fucking people please people. Shani, the, the problem is you're on here worrying about what people on the internet are saying. And, and oh, I'm never gonna win with them. I'm not... The only people that you need to be worried about right now is your kids. How about you worry about what they think and feel instead of being so fucking worried about petty bullshit that people are saying on the internet that doesn't even fucking matter. I'm not going to explain myself to anyone. I'm not going to tell anyone my fucking personal fucking business. You know, you're going to ask questions about my personal business. I'm not even going to fucking answer. Keep asking and get matter and matter that you can't get an answer from me. Because frankly, at this point, it doesn't matter what the fuck I do. You're always going to fucking tri twist it to some kind of weird fucking malicious thing I do. I don't know how protecting my children is malicious. I, 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 I really don't know how, you know, 
getting under someone to get over someone is is malicious in any way. No one said it was. Not but, one person. But uh, apparently it's malicious. Uh, apparently, it's okay for Jason to hit my kids. It's okay for him to be coddled. And apparently, that's what you think. Since you took him back. No, Change, this is not new. No, Shani's being quiet. Uh, and uh, I wouldn't be surprised if we don't hear from her for a couple of days. Because since it's the first, they probably just got their food stamp money. So, they don't need to come on and beg. So that's probably why they're being as quiet as they are. Hi, Undead Ramen. And him to be like all hugged and it's okay, pal. But I'm the bad guy, right? Yeah. I'm the bad guy for tr listening to everyone's fucking advice. And I'm at the point now where I'm not listening to any motherfucker's advice. Because it doesn't matter what I do, I'm going to be turned into some kind of fucking demon. Hi, hot 80s girl. And you damn well know you're doing this shit on purpose. You damn well know it. You're the most dishonest group of people. Dishonest. Right. In every single way. And you keep assuming what's going on in my fucking life. And you know fucking shit what's going on in my life. Because all it is is fucking assumptions and innuendo. And you guys are so Induendo. far in your fucking delusions that you believe your own innuendos and your <laughs> own assumptions of people are actual fucking truth. And it's not. Because none Lynn. of you provided any evidence. Oh, look at all this line of CPS going to her house. Maybe it's because I have you guys constantly calling them, saying I'm doing something when I'm not. And, and, and maybe you would think all the times. Shani, CPS is coming to your house because you're being investigated. No one's calling them anymore. No one was calling them then. They were already involved at this point. And, yeah, definitely involved after your boyfriend kicked your kid in the head. CPS was called. Eventually, the they would have taken my kids, but they didn't. You know why? Because my children speak the truth, and they're like, Mom's not neglectful, my Mom's not. Oh, ho, ho, ho. that didn't age well, did it? Time CPS was called. Eventually, they would have taken my kids, but they didn't. You know why? Because my children speak the truth, and they're like, Mom's not neglectful, Mom's not abusive, Mom's very protective. What the fuck are you talking about? And how did that work out for Dumb you? Dumbasses. I'm not done well. with this stupid shit. I really am. And you motherfuckers out there can giggle and laugh and she the miracle all you want. I'm not the one interfering with people's personal... Yeah, hot 80s girl. She claims that she put them in foster care... Because she's so sick. And can't, she can't take care of them because she's so sick. And the boys wanted to go because they're just so hurt from seeing their mom so sick all the time. Right. Because CPS takes kids for their parents being sick. Because that makes sense. I'm not the one making shit up about people. That is so ridiculous at this point that most people are seeing through your bullshit. I'm doing the best I can with whatever I have left in my life. You know, so quit it with your bullshit, stupid narratives and, Hi, and coddling Jason for hitting my child while at the same time shaming me for being abused and my children being abused. So you're going to coddle and congratulate the abuser while the per people who were abused you're going to label them as abusive and neglectful. You are pieces of crap. Total pieces of crap. So go ahead and coddle the abuser. And, and then try to throw a narrative that he did all that because of her. Really? 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 Did you really? just give an excuse for someone to hit a child? Did you? Yeah, you guys got to think things through. You're coddling Jason for abusing my kid while shaming me for doing the best I can to keep that motherfucker away from my kids. Oh, that didn't age well. Hi, Sandra. Hi, Queen of Spade. Unfucking believable. Yeah, the best you can to keep your kids safe and away from him 
literally five seconds after he got out of jail, you had him right back in the house having sex with him. That's, that's, you, yeah, you're really protecting your kids, Shani. Hi, Mick. Hi, Ashley. How are you going to call me abusive and neglectful when you go to the abuser, the actual person who put on abuse and coddle them? Say, it's okay. You admitted it. Man, I wish it was so fucking easy for me. I try to do the right thing and I get accused of something that I don't even fucking do. So fucking bullshit. Oh, thank you, Anna Get Nicole. this, I'm abusive and neglectful for protecting my children, but Jason is being coddled by these same people, and they're like, it's okay, Jason, you admitted hitting the kid. It's okay, it's okay. And, and shaming me for him being homeless. And, and shaming me for him being in jail. No. Why didn't you bail did him that? out? The reason people brought up you're not bailing him out, Shani, was because you got $1,500 from his uncle to bail him out. You come online, show the wad of money, literally holds up the wad of money in a picture like, <laughs> look here, I got some money to bail him out. And then what happened? The next day, all of a sudden you decided, oh, nope, I'm not going to bail him out. That's what people were saying and criticizing you for. Because you had the money to do it, you were given the money to do it, and then you didn't do it. Because he touched my kid! Hi, Retroflection. Why are you with him? Why did you give, make him homeless? I didn't make him homeless, Hi, he Zimosis. did. Zimosis. Maybe instead of blaming me for all the world's affair, maybe you should actually look at the person who's fucking to blame. Shani. Assholes. Shani, you are a part of the blame, though. It's not just on him. He's the one who kicked your kid in the head, sure. But you guys constantly, like, you go at him, you triggered the hell out of him. You did it on purpose. And then even after he went and did what he did and goes and takes it out on the kid, you didn't call the cops. You didn't do something about it. Your other son did. He had to do that. Like, oh my god. Alright, we're going to take it back on this next one. We're going to go a little further back in time. Let's see if there's a date on this so I can tell you guys exactly what it was. Um, 2019. So this is from 2019. So... I have gotten really, 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 Hi, really bad news. And all I can say is this. You really don't want to tempt me and bring out the fire in me. Ooh. Because when that fire comes out in me, it's going to be unquenchable. The fire. <laughs> Please. So you really, really might think ahead before releasing it. Because, see, I was created in flames by the Lord. She was created in flames. <laughs> and that fire within me that I was born with has been inside me, being contained for my whole life. But when it's released, <laughs> hot eighties girl. This when girl it's is actually fire. released, what Shani? you're not gonna like the consequences. Ooh. Now God gave this fire in me for a reason. God gave this fire in me because it's powerful. It's from Him. It has nothing to do with me. It's for his duty, his power. Hi, Ramona. She but you is really don't a want to tempt into releasing it. Hi, Bruce. Because Hi, this is not mirrors. my fire I'm holding within my body. This is God's fire. Ooh, it's God's fire. Sure, it's Something Shani. you could never possibly comprehend. <laughs> oh, God. Because I've only seen a taste of it. <laughs> it 
Happy Riri. The fire is called a yeast and infection. The power. Hi, Wicked Witch. So, really, do not tempt me to release the fire. Because nothing will come good of it. Girl, what is going on with your hair? Did y'all see that? What is going on with the hair? It's the fire. Because nothing will come. Look at that. Look at her hair. Uh, I guess Shani is just like, she must have a thing against brushes because this was 2019. She was doing the same thing. Like she literally looked like, was rolls out of bed, then brush the hair, goes right online. I'm good of it. And I've known this part of me for a really long time about my fire within me. A long time. Really long time. Hi, Mr. Buzzkillin. Oh, thank you, Sherry. Your first live stream, your brand, a brand new sub. Awesome, Sherry. Thank you so much for this uh, super chat. And thank you for subscribing and being here. Welcome. I hope that you like it. Thanks again for the super chat. Because I was born from flames. I was Leslie. born in water like people. I was born Rush within the flames. The this furnace. It's a furnace. It's contained within me. Hi, Nicole. You don't want that out in the world. It'll hurt you. Does she really think this scares And I am seeing, truly, what the devil is trying to do right now. Right, because JR? Right now it's like, dude, if you were born in flames and shit, doesn't that sound more like uh, hell, not heaven, not, not godly? Sounds more like the devil to me, right? <laughs> I think you're confused, Shani. Now the devil is attacking my friends. And I don't appreciate my friends being attacked because I get very, 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 very defensive. Hi, Because my friends mean everything to me. What friends, Shani? I give all my money up for a friend. Well, you don't have any to do that with anymore, my dear. So, it didn't work but out But know well. this. When the fire is finally released, Let me speed this up. and it's She's finally slow. out me, just and I can normal. finally get my rest, I will be waiting. Oh, thank you, Bruce, for the super chat. You said, the best video I've seen lately is the one with Shani's mom. She talks about Shani hitting on G-Man and the stint she left at the mom's house and how she will treat Jason eye-opening. That is a good one. That is definitely a good one. Maybe we'll pull that one up and watch that at some point because it is, it's very telling. Her mom gives it straight. That's for sure. Thanks again and for the super to chat, see Bruce. Where you go. Because truly, I do not know who you belong to, you but you are that, acting Leslie? like the okay, devil. Okay, I'm going to, I'll find straight it. Straight accusatory. Accusing of the brethren. Threatening, intimidating, mad, anger. There's no spirit in you. It's all flesh. It's all anger and rage. There's no holiness in that. There's no holiness when you're trying to put a human down. Because Jesus Christ told us to love each other. Hi, Red Feather. But Jesus Christ also told us to avoid those who use and abuse. So I'm going to listen to him over that too. If you like it or not. And I think people can pretty much see how abusive you are with your language toward me. It doesn't take a genius to see that. Oh, Wicked Witch, thank you so much for the super chat. You guys are being so kind. You said, um, you are awesome, Carrie and Michael as well. You make watching Shani and Rev bearable. How are you feeling <laughs> after falling down the rabbit hole that is Leticia? Leticia. Um, well, uh, what's crazy is... We found someone that was even worse than Shani. I didn't think that was possible, but she, she's definitely got Shani beat for sure. 
I'm just curious what's going to happen when she gets out of jail. Um, but I'm, I'll be there for it. That's for sure. I'll be watching because, oh my God, talk about a hot mess. Thank you so much for the super chat, Wicked Witch. You are so sweet for that. Thank you. I really appreciate that. Glad you, you like the content. That. To which I know you were never my friend to begin with. Hi, you were always my enemy. Always looking to see what you can devour. Oh my god. But, luck have it, I am the female Job. I am the crying prophetess. Oh my god. The female Job. I have lost everything three times and gained back more than... Oh really, Blue? She's not going to be out of jail for years? And, like, she's in jail for, um... The uh, falsifying that police report, right? I didn't know that you could be in jail for years for that. Wow. Well, maybe I won't be following her then. We have the the thing about her, like Shani, there's a lot of um, content still to go through. So I guess we'll be watching those because if she's not going to be out for, for years, then uh, won't be seeing her anytime soon. Hi, Castaway Kitty. Hi, Tim. How are you guys doing? Oh, Adonis Paws, another Looney Tunes reviewed Kimber Crush. Kimber Crush? I've never heard of her. I'll have to look into that. I'm definitely trying to find other people to cover and stuff. So I, I need to, let me write that down, actually. Kimber Crush. I'm going to look into that. Abundance. I have nothing to live for. And what I have no kids? one to influence me save She's Jesus still Christ. That. I am right now probably one of the most dangerous Christians out there because what? I am at the feet of the Lord. I am constantly in communication with him. We're constantly laughing, joking, talk to each other. She's the most dangerous. And let me ask you something, devil. <laughs> Why would God take your side when I'm his daughter and I'm there for him all the time? Whenever he, he tries to talk to me, I listen right away, and I do as he says. Shani, as a Christian, you should know that everybody is a child of God. You, ain't, you aren't the only one. And what do you mean what you do for God? You don't do anything for God. What are you talking about? Like, God. I am faithful to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I am faithful. Am I a perfect person? No. But my works aren't counted for righteousness. My faith is. And I may not be perfect as a person, but my faith is perfect. And that's what matters to Jesus Christ is a perfect faith. Hi, Corey. Nothing what you try to invent. Trying to see all my flow flaws and all the sin of my human nature. But my flesh is sin. So you're expecting sinlessness from someone who is made of flesh. Yeah, Michael just reminded me one thing that we are um, talking about and would like to do is to find a way to incorporate like a trivia night into um, the what we cover, like the, our schedule, because we both, me and Michael, love trivia. And if you guys like trivia, too, I think that would be really fun. Maybe even to like, you know, put together a trivia that's like Shanny trivia. But um but all kinds of trivia. I, if you guys would be interested in that, let me know. And um, we will start, you know, figuring out a way to set that up and do something fun with it. Find sinlessness in flesh because flesh is sin. Hi, Godsha. It's the very essence of sin. That's Shady why we truth. die. That's why we bleed. Awesome. You guys would like that. Because it's sin. That's why we shit sin constantly. We are working bags of constant releasing of sin. I think that's probably why women bleed every month. Hence releasing their sins from their body. Does it not make sense to you? Or have you not read the Bible about what the blood contains? Huh? And what sacrifice, what is necessary for sacrifice to be cleansed? What? What is she talking about? Hi, the rare girl. No other animal bleeds like a woman. Hi, Tracy. A human woman. No other animal bleeds like that. Only we do. Okay, hold on. So the rare ghost says it's not just the falsified reports, but it's also the felony counts of harassing, threatening communications for threatening the man she believes fathered her at uh, at the time, unborn child. Oh, okay. So there is more to it than just the the falsified reports. That makes more sense. That makes more sense then. Oh, hi, Autumn. How are you doing? 
It's God telling you. Hi, something. number one princess. See, because it's always been the seed of the woman that will crush Hi, the Eli. head of the serpent. And that's why God loves to send out his females to crush the head of the serpent. Because what's better to put shame on a man than have a woman put a shame on a man? What a better way to show justice, especially to a man who has raped and hurt women. Ooh, Melissa, that's a good idea, too, because one thing I've thought about doing is doing some streams, like true true crime streams, because I really like true crime. It's something that I've always been really interested in. Um, so that's definitely something that I need to look into that um, I think would be a lot of fun. Hi, no one really matters. God doesn't take too kindly of rapists. Every act of rape is always, is always... Hi, taking my spirit back. With a solution of death at the end of it. Every. And God doesn't like it when men attack the weaker vessel. He just doesn't like it. We are weaker than you. You have a responsibility to protect and provide for us. But yet you're beating on the weaker vessel. Why? Because the weaker vessel has a mouth. Does it really hurt your feelings that the weaker vessel has a mouth? God gave us a mouth to, to talk. She looks really high. Because God in this video sees us feminine spirits as special to him we're more fragile to him we're precious to him hi mara and trust me i am very much daddy's little girl and when you hurt me really bad things happen to you you're experiencing it now when you mess with me hi zola bad things happen to people because god will protect me god will discipline those who attack me because i am his little one True, Do you get that? Eli. I am his little one. I am broken hearted. He's very close to the broken hearted. I'm also a peacemaker. I'm a child of God. I'm also his prophetess. I speak a his words. A peacemaker? I call bullshit on that. You are no I try my best not to go out of my way to attack people viciously. Mm -hmm. But I will go be like Jesus Christ and turn over tables when I see charlatans and wolves in the mist. I will be a good shepherd because that's what my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ taught me. To be a good shepherd. To not allow wolves to come in and take from the sheep. And that's what you were doing. You were taken from the sheep. You were taken. That, what good I could have done for them, I did toward you a wolf. Huh? And I gave you everything for six months. Everything. You had no worries. Six months? And when I finally realized you were misplacing the money I was giving you. Oh, this must be about G-Man. That's when I knew the friendship was bogus. Because honesty means everything to me. You want to be my friend, you better be honest and very honest. To be in, that is a very, very good point. Highly likely. To be in said, I have a hypothesis that spiritual shanty is high shanty and raging shanty is sober. Yes. Yes, I would definitely agree with that being a possibility. Hi, Johnny Fapple. As soon as I ca catch you in a lie, I'll be like a judge. I will quickly dismiss you because I will not put my heart at risk. It says in the Bible to protect your heart with all due diligence, and I will do that. And if I see someone lying to me who should be my friend, obviously they don't trust me enough with the truth. And obvious, obviously they're trying to hide things about themselves. And I don't want to be friends with people who hide things. I want honest friends. I want friends no, who don't. are going to have my back. You want friends I want that are going to do whatever you want. I want friends that say they're going to do what they do and not lie about it and cheat about it. And I think I have every right to want friends like that. And I think it's very sane and healthy to want friends like that. And to not want toxic friends. I think it's very healthy and a very wise and mature decision to make in your life. Problem is, Why should I let people one. in my life that are constantly draining me? That's not fair to me. And it's certainly not good for my stress levels. Okay, Ellen. Thanks for stopping by. I have depression and borderline personality disorder. And anxiety and post-traumatic stress disorder. I have a lot of problems with myself mentally. So when I'm noticing that I'm like visibly upset and my stress is high, that's when I know I need to start cutting things off and changing my life and not doing the same thing. And it's always been the same thing Draining. with certain characters here on the internet. They they never really cared about what you had to say. They always they always seemed like they were your friend, but it seemed like they were using you to like beat up on an atheist or something like that, something. Oh, and then you did it because you're loyal and, you know, naive and stupid. Whatever. But then again, you're not you're not putting Jesus first when you're choosing to go along with man's plans.
You're not putting Jesus first. See, you're going after her to attack someone, to be vicious to someone. That's not loving. We were commanded to love God and to love people as ourselves. We were, we were not commanded to go and cause contention. We were told not to cause contention. We were to told to live peacefully among all men. And you live peacefully? But it seems like to me, you don't want to apply that. It seems to me you've read only a few passages in the Bible and you just use that as your doctrine and your doctrine only. You don't actually read the whole thing in context to have a full and amazing understanding. I have read the whole Bible several times and that may sound like it's bragging, but it's the truth. Mm hmm yeah, you just don't put it in practice. I probably know that book better than any other book in the world. Right. I've been reading the Bible since I was four years old. Bullshit. And um, I remember, I, I actually have that Bible, actually. Um, Bullshit. And it's a KJV. I started reading the Bible in KJV. That's interesting. And then I was 13, and I read the Bible again and had Matthew 5 solidified within my heart. Which was beautiful because Matthew 5, the Beatitudes, Sermon on the Mount, is the probably Beatitudes? one of the most amazing and beautiful things that, Jesus, that ever that? came out of Jesus' mouth. And it really. Did she just really say the Beatitudes? Hold on. Which was beautiful because Matthew 5, the Beatitudes, Sermon on the Mount, is probably. <laughs> The Beatitudes. It's the Beatitudes. Like, what? Probably one of the most amazing and beautiful things that, Jesus, that ever came out of Jesus' mouth. And it really gave me life Hi, Melly. That. even as an atheist i still lived by those words and i really wasn't an atheist i believed in god i just didn't believe in what the christians or the hypocritical christians because i couldn't i didn't i could not decipher between the two i didn't know there was a difference between hypocritical christians and actual real born again believers who believe in jesus christ and do their best to love others as themselves they're not out there condemning or looking in the, looking at the devil for everything. I think, honestly, those are the false Christians. If They're constantly trying to find the devil in any, everything. And they don't edify God because it's mostly about them. Oh. And I know some people may be saying I'm guilty about that, but I'm, I'm a YouTuber. I'm not, I'm not a minister. Then what are you doing right now? Shut up. You know, I've always done these things, these Hi, different Provo things kid. on YouTube, you know? But, I mean, I found Christ. Now, a lot of people are like, why do you have Shani for Christ? Because I am for Christ. You're expecting perfection in a body that's made of sin. Oh my God. You're not going to find perfection here. No, because I not. am a soul believer that anyone who says they are without sin is a liar. I am a sinner. And I'm saved by the grace of Jesus Christ because he loves me. And he's always been there for me. People want to go and try to accuse me as being a witch, a Satanist, a Luciferian. I can't stand Satan. I'm constantly rebuking him. Uh, I could quote Jesus Hi, if you'd like. Because the Pharisees tried to do the same thing with Jesus. And Jesus said, how could Beelzebub divide Beelzebub? You know? All your theories of making me satanic is, is really stupid. Like, for instance, my, my testimony. That was turned around to be something satanic. Why would the devil come to me, act like they were Jesus, just so I could believe in Jesus when I didn't believe in Jesus before Why then? Why would the devil come to me? That makes no sense. I don't think the devil would work that way. No, what actually happened is Jesus came before me and changed my whole life. What? Jesus came before you? And Explain changed my that. heart. Explain and the way I think more. about things. The devil done nothing but destroy me and hurt me and accuse me. You know, and while you're out there pointing your fingers at others, why don't you start focusing on your ass? On you're your so ass? focused on YouTube. Here you are, you're living in. <sighs> oh, Shani. Get to the point. It's fucking sad. What's crazy is I have her sped up. This is like faster, a lot faster, actually. Can you imagine like the normal speed? She must talk like. What's going like, on? Come on. It's spit sad. It out. Hurry up. But sometimes you have to do tough love on someone and teach a man that he needs to stop fucking dependent on people. And, and, and what makes him so fucking entitled to shit? Yes, yeah, Sandra, this is from 2019. What makes you think you're entitled to other people's shit? What the fuck is wrong with you? Entitled to anything of other people's. Maybe you should fix yourself. Y you know, all these stupid Christians out there yelling and screaming. All of them are trying to give advice to people about how they should live their lives. And their lives are so fucking messed up. Most of them don't even have jobs. 
They don't even support their own families. And then they try to switch it and make you look horrible when you're just like, I'm minding my own business. I want nothing to do with these people. I, I frankly, I, I think they're disgusting. And I don't care. Oh, Silent Sledge. Awesome. Thank you so much. I will definitely check that out. That's awesome. If someone calls himself a Christian, if you're going to be hateful, if you're going to be ugly, I don't want you in my life. I just don't. And I never will. And I'm getting really tired. So I probably should go to sleep. Yeah, you probably should. I am falling asleep right now. You look high. But if you need to, please pray for Von Hilton's ex-wife. Um, she's dying. And um, we need prayers. So I guess I got my feelings out. I guess that'll be okay. But it's like I had some really shit news today. And I'm just, I'm. All I could say <laughs> Melissa. Stay away from this guy. He is so Rev dangerous. Rev trying to, with a spoon, trying to dig to escape. He's so dangerous. All right. Ugh. Anyway. So the next Maranatha. one we're going to watch I is going to be this one um, with Shani's mom. Since a couple of you requested that and said that you have never seen this before. This is definitely something everyone that's following Shani needs to see. So we'll go ahead and give it a watch. Let's see if this thing is working. Hi. Okay, I, I, I wasn't going to do this, but I watched Chris's videos. This is Hi, concerning Danny. Shani for Christ. I watched Chris's videos, and I just think that it's about time that I get my side of the story out for a change. Because I noticed that um, Jason has been making comments about things he doesn't even understand or know about. That sounds but about first like of him. all, um, I just want to say to Chris that, yeah, you screwed up some things, but you were a good father. And I just want you to know that. Um, before you came along, Zachary didn't smile much. I mean, he didn't respond to people and, uh, so he really, sad. those boys really loved you, Zachary, especially, but he, it was like the light turned on when you came into his life. And See, I just want hearing stuff like that is actually really sad. You know what I mean? Because like we laugh and joke about stuff and, and you know, the really ridiculous crap that Shani does, but then it's like the reality sets in that like she literally has put her kids through hell. Through hell. Like, mm, it's sad. You don't know that. Nobody should ever question what a good father you were. You were a good provider too. You did the best you could. I mean, I know you don't make that much money, but you did the best you could. And she sat there year after year getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and, bigger and, bigger. Ooh. and um, wouldn't himself. work i understand that but i just needed to thank you for being a part in the boys lives shannon has told you many things i tried to warn you her father and i tried to warn you about her before but of course you wouldn't listen she was your wife i understand that jason's not going to listen either he's going to have to find out the hard way mm -hmm. but nobody's abused shannon okay that is her mo she uses that with everybody she did it with douglas she's done it with you she's done it with her sister her brothers everybody in her life has always treated her this way and this is why she's so crazy i mean it covers for her yeah mental illness at, right now and she, she knows is. she's mentally ill and she knows what she's supposed to do to help that mental illness but she chooses not to she chooses not she chooses to use it as an excuse to do what she does and i don't have to explain 
what she does. I mean, she makes these outrageous videos all the time. She's always crying and carrying on and, and always, always, you know, always something negative. Her, since she was 16 years old, I don't want to say her entire life because she was a beautiful child. You know, I mean, she really was a very beautiful child and happy girl. She used to sing and she dreamed of going to Paris. And I noticed the picture in the back of the Eiffel Tower. And that reminds me of Shannon, the little Shannon when my daughter. Mm, that's sad, too. But something happened along the way. I know what happened. I think you know what happened, Chris. To her and it wasn't it was it, it it you know it was unfortunate that all that she went through what she went through um when she was 16 years old but it, it somehow changed her and ever since then she has blamed everybody else for all the screw-ups that she makes in her life she uses it as an excuse that Except when it comes to what happened when she was 16 years old. And I'm not going to talk about it here because it was it was traumatic what happened to her. Um, now, that I do feel sympathy and pity for Shani for. I'm not 100% sure what this incident is that they're talking about, but I've got an idea. And... I wouldn't wish that on anyone. So, hi, Rosie. And I have to say, as bad as this sounds, something inside of me tells me that maybe it didn't happen the way she said it happened. But something had to have happened for her to have turned out as she has. She has crashed and burned just about every single relationship in her life. And I'm not going to keep this video yeah, up for very I long. I just guys. want to be able to make my side of the story and make things clear. Hi, Pamela. Um, she's got people like Miss Star and, and a couple of people that, you know, feel really sorry for her. But they don't realize how much she has affected everybody in her life. I mean, every one of her siblings Hi, and Sarah both Conan. of her parents have helped her out over and over and over again. And she walks all over them. She crashes and burns her bridges behind her. Hi, Pink Puggins. This is the last time I am ever, that my husband and I are ever going to be able to help her again. I mean, she nearly destroyed us during this last stay when, when you and her broke up. Um... She's got Jason believing that there was abuse. The, Hi, Steven. Um, there was no abuse going on whatsoever. We we bought her clothes. We bought her makeup. We bought her. Uh, she got to use her father's car every single day, even when she wasn't working. Oh, awesome, she, Rosie! Glad you're here. Welcome to our little community here. Hope got you like to use it. her father's car, his truck. We had we got an SUV that her father used at that time. So I mean, she had a way to work, but she wanted to lay in bed for months. She got fired from her first job for making videos on YouTube. Okay, and she knows she's she had. I gotta blow my nose. I'm sorry. I feel like crying right now, but she knows that. She had to take care of her children. She doesn't do that. She expects everybody else to take care of them. That's, that's her thing. So she got fired from her first job. She laid up in the bed for months doing nothing but drinking alcohol. and. Oh my goodness. Hi, Tam Tam. I got to show you guys something real quick. We're going to have a, and I'm talking about a very, very short palette cleanser real quick but i just saw this and you guys got to see it too because oh my god it's the cutest thing i've ever seen look at this monkey this chimpanzee baby chimp 
Look at how cute. Oh my god. Oh, okay. That was it. I just had to share that because when I saw it, so cute. Jesus, that's so cute. And I'm um, crying all the time, making everybody miserable. Mostly what she was crying about was because Jason wasn't fully her boyfriend at the time. This is why I couldn't believe, you know, when they, she finally did get him. <laughs> You know, I couldn't believe. I wonder what the deal is with that. Like, what, um, you know, was holding Rev back from wanting to be with Shani in the first place? Maybe Sabella, if Sabella's still in here, maybe you know. Like, what was it that took them so long? You know, because he really, <clears throat> from what it seems like, was not sure about being with her. So, I've always kind of wondered you know, because he's so crazy about her now. I just wonder what made him hold back in the beginning like that. Leave it when she finally did. I, I have seen something like that, some idiot. I don't know if it's the same one, um, but I have seen, seen one thing like that. And hi, yeah, really glad you're here. But um, she said that she wanted him because he was a millionaire. This is the truth. She wanted him because he was a millionaire and she knew she wouldn't have to work anymore. The little bit of And that she could just lay left. around eating, 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 eating. Oh, he was interested in a different woman. Got you. But she will never be able to give up Hi, wanting Caligraphy negative. Scary. How are you doing? Um, attention. She thrives on negative attention. She has done this since she was 16 years old. There always has to be some kind of turmoil in her life. God, that's true. And if true. she doesn't have turmoil, she will create turmoil. Just Hi, to get AC. people to feel sorry for her for some reason. And then those people that feel sorry for her, then she craps on them. Mm-hmm afterwards that's and i think true. a lot of people a lot of you youtubers and from the christian community have experienced that with her you figured that out the hard way <clears throat> like the rest of us so now getting back to me and my husband hi mama t let me just tell you while she stayed here she she did nothing but sleep in the bed all the time you know we did everything we could to provide i told her i said dad her, her father had just had his knees replaced and um living on blood he he had he ha, he's still taking blood thinners i mean it's only been since october that he had his knees replaced mm -hmm. and the first thing she did when he lash. came home from the hospital is walk right into his knee oh. and didn't say anything about it went outside to smoke her cigarettes ow she was mad at me because she couldn't smoke in my house knowing that i have a heart condition she had to go outside to smoke even though it was my home you know that i couldn't be around smoke i can't be around things like that but she laid up in that room drinking every night and let me tell you before we before she even got settled in the deal was is that she was going to get a job and she was going to help out with the utilities because we were paying uh, double the electricity, double our water bill. Our, actually, our water bill was more than double at times because the boys and her used to take really long showers and whatnot. So all of our utilities, you know, were costing us extra except for cable, of course, because we kept the internet on. We don't have cable. We have uh, just internet. And... Um, to save money i mean we're just my husband's 62 years old he's getting ready to retire we're just an older couple you know going through a lot of health problems right now mm, that's sad but she didn't respect that either you know um she told jason that all i ever wanted was to get money from her and it's like 
Yeah, you know what? You have to pay for your way. You Hi, can't Paul. just expect people to support you for the rest of your life. We Ew. couldn't do it. We couldn't financially do it. And it was starting to cripple us. Um, we both have a lot of medical bills. I had two heart surgeries. I had abdominal surgery just before Shannon came. And I was rapidly losing weight at the time. I'm, I'm much better now, but I was like going down to skin and bones for a while there because I was so sick after my abdominal surgery. I ended up with a, a bacteria and had to go on antibiotics. And I mean, it was just terrible. Meanwhile, putting up with her stuff, with the crying every night and drinking every night and smoking weed with her kids in the house, mm. terrified that. And then she'd invite people over. Um, this one homeless guy and um she'd invite him over and all he he was he was actually a meth addict i know that you didn't Yikes. do meth chris i'm i'm positive about that that's not your that's not your thing i'm sorry you had to go through what you had to go through i really am uh we tried to warn you but you didn't listen <laughs> but anyway that's water under the bridge now i you know i don't want to make you feel bad Hi, Danny. but you're doing the right thing it's time for you to just move on with your life and just put her aside as far as jason goes he has threatened my husband he said he threatened a 62 year old man on blood thinners with two knees just replaced that he'd come over and punch him in the face and now he's doing this boxing video like he's going to hit you. I mean, what an asshole. This is a man <laughs> of God. Wow. You know, the only justice out of this is that Jason's going to find out on his own what she's all about. When somebody gets married, they're supposed to be focused on their husband, their new husband. They're in love. They're supposed to be happy, you know, and she has kids, too. She's supposed to be focusing on them. But no, she's got to make videos about her ex-husband. Mm -hmm. Eight months after you guys, have been, you've been divorced. She's still doing that. I mean, this is just ridiculous. To this day. But that's Shannon's MO. This is what Shannon does, and she does it well. She destroyed Doug the same way. Doug and his mother were abusive. His mother, actually her first husband, the father of her children, because I know a lot of people think that you were the boy's uh, biological father, which he's not. Anyway, the father of her children's mother Hi, Raccoon Man. had uh, multiple myeloma. And Shannon did nothing but make her life a living hell. The Why? woman had to stay in her bedroom all the time. Jeez. She I finally got fed up else. with it. I'm going to be honest with you. I finally got fed up with it. And I said, this is it. I can't put up with this anymore. I tried to ask her to get things cleaned up. Let me tell you something. My husband gave up the bedroom to sleep in the spare room in a Hi, smaller Jessie. bed and I slept on the couch downstairs the whole time she was here so they they could have the master bedroom and that master bedroom a stench started coming out of it oh god and when I opened the door it was at least two feet deep full of garbage food uh, clothing god knows what else was in there urine wow we found urine in the container um and Ew. william lied about it and she says william never lies well william does lie you're the one who was spanking him because he lied about the urine but it was spilt all over the floor Oof. it took us weeks to get that oh it's been three months since she's been gone maybe more well let's see it was christmas eve when she when she was when the cops got her out 
And the cops know us, by the way. The police in Duluth know my husband and I. They know her, too, all too well, because there constantly had been called, had calls for her in the wow. past. You know, she lost her kids. If it wasn't for Chris, she wouldn't have those kids right now. And that's mm. the truth. <clears throat> he is telling the truth on that. Wow. Now, I don't know why you had that relationship with what's his name's girlfriend there. You know, I don't know why you did that. Maybe, but I'm not going to judge you for it. I'm not going to. I mean, you went through hell with her. But, um, all I know is, is that her husband has made threats about us. He's even kind of poked a stick in there. It poked the anthill about what about what your parents did to you? What about your mother? Well, the only thing he heard was the day that she had her headphones on and I went in and I pulled them off her head and I pulled her hair a little bit. Uh -oh. I didn't like yank it off or anything like that. I She wouldn't listen to me. I was trying to get her to clean that room up. This, I'm telling you, the stench was horrible. No one should live like that. Mm -mm. And um, she was like, she oh, you you know, like she usually does. You see her on the videos. Yep, we do. And I was done with it after that. I was like, that's it. You're getting the hell out of here. I'm not putting up with this anymore. I shouldn't have to. My blood pressure was sky high. It took me a good Hi, Donald. two months to get my blood pressure down after her staying here. The doctor was even like, don't you can't do this. You know, I had two heart surgeries. I have a pacemaker defibrillator over here. I have a portacath over here. You know, I mean. Mm, that's sad. I'm getting worked up. This is why I didn't want to make this video, but I think I deserve to be able to tell my side of the story, too. All this, all, all the rest of this aside, she, she, the, the police came over to the house and they made her leave. William said that I threatened to kill him mm. when the police were over at the house and texted his mother that, which was, was, it was William being an asshole. Uh oh being a little asshole. I'm sorry. I'm just going to say it. He was being a little asshole. Just like he did. Mm, now that wasn't necessary. Um, I've agreed with everything she said so far and everything, but calling the kid an asshole, that's not necessary. Did the time he pissed all over the floor in his, gr in his grandfather's room. Hi, after the rain. I was a pediatric Hi, nurse for almost 37 years of my life. I would never tell a child I'm going to kill them. I would never do that, I get and especially my grandsons. But it doesn't matter. Shannon gets away with saying whatever she wants to people and getting them all riled up and worked up. I mean, hell, even while she was here and she wasn't doing well on getting the noose around Jason's neck, she well, was flirting with G-Man. Uh-oh. I, I, I remember uh -oh. I remember clearly how she was wanted to be with G-Man. Hi, Lightning. She talked to me about it almost every night. Hi, Trina. Hi, Whitney. But he was too smart for her, thank God. He even told her, you need to get out of your mama's house. Oh. Of course she wasn't going to have that, because she'd have to go get a job. And uh, she'd have to go actually, you know, pay bills. Uh, 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 she didn't want to pay nothing. I asked her for money to help pay. I asked, once she gave me $140 with her first job. And that went towards the heat, the electric, and the water. 
So split that into three, okay? Less than 50 bucks. Not bad, you know? Hi, kicks. She could have been paying a lot more in a house that she lived in. And when I think Hi, back in hindsight, I should have just... How are you doing? Instead of bringing her to our house, I should have just said, Shannon, the house is yours now. Because we actually went, my husband and I went over there and cleaned her house out. Oh my God, talk about a mess. The bedroom up in the boys' room, you get halfway up the steps and you could smell the urine coming out of there. For some reason, Why? they thought it was okay to piss on the floor. Why? Okay. And that, I, I like, that's something that, you know, clearly was still an issue from the videos that we saw when they left Colorado. And if anything that G-Man said is to be believed there, that was going on still there. Like I, that's, you know, stuff like that is a definite sign of like child abuse and trauma, exactly serotonin trauma, you know, not good really not good they thought that was okay and this i don't like talking like this by the way but i'm fed up to here with all of this stuff and her making videos and it hurts it, it hurts really bad it hurts to know that my grandchildren have to live like this it does. It hurts me real bad because I know my other two grandchildren are living a decent life. They have two parents that love them very much. And they're happy and the way a kid is supposed to be. She's in the bathroom right down the hall here. Smoking on her hookah or whatever you call it. Her hookah. Smoking weed with her boys down the hall. And William told me one day, he said, that's gotta stop. He goes, she used to do that when my dad was there talking about you, Chris. He said, but it's gotta stop. And he wanted to put a stop to it. And I think the only way he knew how to do it was to try to get out, try to get out of here and make her take responsibility. He's smarter than you think. He might lie, but he's smart. He knew what he was doing. He didn't want to lose her again either. I mean, the boys really do love her. If she could only just see that, you know, and be satisfied with that. But she's got to have that negative... Uh, attention attention always just this negative attention but anyway um when the police came over to get her out of the house yes it was christmas eve but she was screaming and yelling and causing a lot of trouble she took um instead of cleaning the room she took and she shoved a good portion of it under her father's bed oh no okay I mean, my husband works hard. We don't have the, the greatest house in the world. It's Our house is, you know, over 100 years old. But he takes a lot of pride in trying to keep things nice in it, you know? And uh, he didn't deserve that. He didn't. That's one thing for sure. It's like, it, you can't have nice things around Shanny. You just can't. She destroys shit. Deserve that at all. We didn't do anything. She came to us after you left her, Chris. She came to our house and I didn't know what to do because of the kids. But if I think in hindsight, I, I should have made her stay there at, at the house that you guys were renting because she could have gotten a job and she'd probably still be there. Well, until she roped Jason in. He's going to find out. He will find out the hard way. 
But I'll tell you what, if he threatens me or my husband again, he just needs to know that the D Duluth Police Department know about them, both of them. We have it written down. There's a paper trail and he better watch his step. I have pictures of what the room looked like. I'm not going to show them here, but I have hung on to them in case anything else, you know, happens. But now she's in Pennsylvania. She should just go on with her life. She should just go on with her life and stop making these crazy ass videos and trying to get everybody all stirred up and, and, and just expanding the hatred. She's married now. She's married to this guy. No, she's not married. She's supposed to be focusing on how much they love each other. But she won't do that. Yeah. It's mm -hmm. heartbreaking. Hmm. I apologize to my followers or, or um, my subscribers for this video. This is something that had to be done. I'm not going to keep this video up here. And I promise you that I'm going to go back to my garden content. And I'm not going to ever make a video like this again. Because other than what happened with my daughter, our lives are pretty much normal. But it had to be done because she won't listen. Mm. And I just wanted um, her new husband to know that he needs to stop threatening us. I mean, threatening a 62-year-old man who had his knees replaced and has to take blood thinners. And his heart isn't doing too well either. He happens to have AFib. You don't want to know what I think about you right now doing that. You don't want to know. Mm. But I can let it go. Because I can take a little bit of pleasure in the fact that you're going to find out the hard way. And I'm not going to say I told you so, but you're going to hear it in your head. Mm. But anyway, that's all I got to say. That's my side of the story. Um, Chris was a really good father. I don't believe he raped her. What? I don't believe it for one minute. Wait. She she, she accused him of that? She accused Chris of raping her? I didn't know that. He has lied about this stuff over and over wow. again with other people. Wow, that's fucked up. And um, I don't believe he abused her in any way. He's never been an abusive person as long as we've known Chris. We've known him for several years. He's never been abusive that I know of. I mean, I just don't, I mean, it really was when she explained that he raped her. It was so out of character that I was like, it's, you know, I didn't, I didn't buy it, but I wanted to, I wanted to stay on her side because she's my daughter. She didn't go and, and even uh, get a police report on it for like a month or so. She didn't even go to get... Um, STD checks until several months after that. Hmm. So, I mean, who's telling? Who's telling the truth here? Wow. I mean, this is miserable. I kind of wish I didn't make this video now. But it has to be said. So I hope you got the message, Jason. And Shannon, good luck to you. I hope that you get the help that you need, uh, finally. But it won't be coming from your family anymore. We've Hi, all, nine lives. we're done. We're through. Just want you to know that. I don't take pleasure in it either. I think it's horrible how things went down. 
you would feel the same way as a mother, or maybe not. You seem to put yourself before your kids all the time. Right now, Jason's only seeing it, the honeymoon phase. He'll see what you're really about. Mm. Okay, that's it. That's all I got to say. Take care, everybody. Wow. <clears throat> okay. Well, that was Shani's mom. All right, let's see what we're going to go to next. Um, oh, yeah, I wanted to show this one. This is from um, Drader's channel. Hold on. I'm going to get a link for you guys for his channel real quick. Uh, because if you don't know him and haven't checked out his stuff, you should. He's really funny. And he gives it to Shanny, boy. He does not let her get away with anything. And that's good. She needs that. Um, I'm dropping the link for Drader's channel in the chat for you guys. And now let's start this one. Oh my God. It's like they see big boobies and they automatically like assume that I'm really huge. It's no, I just have big boobs. Keeping it real, 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 keeping it real. And by the way, that little clip, I'm going to go back and so you can watch it one more time. Also, pay attention to how she walks here. Because you know how she claims that she's you know just disabled can't walk well look how she's walking right here boobs keeping it real 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 yeah walk pretty good there Go the right side. Aha. The key. There's these monsters. This controlling narcissist is a high school dropout without a diploma. Everything she claims to make herself seem superior is a lie. Business. Hi, Belle. I don't have a fucking degree because I decided to have babies instead of going to fucking college. And even, even, even though I still have six years of fucking college under me, okay? I should be having a fucking master's degree. But, you know, I have the same education as a master's degree, but with no... She does not have six years of college, you guys. Like, my God, the lies. Like, I don't even think she has a year of college. She went to a college, like, the campus to do a GED class. But she doesn't have any college under her belt it's just total lies no fucking, you know degree because <sighs> because you're a liar I changed things and i was and i found out that she went back to school and she is now a therapist and she's like you can do that too shanny just do it just do it and i'm thinking i'm gonna go back to school and finish my my psychology degree because I think it'd be something, you know, to focus on, you know what I mean? <laughs> but seriously, if I could help anyone with their mental health, I would. Like I'm I'm just that person. That I I, I, I want that's what I was gonna do, um, before I quit school is I was gonna be a psychologist, so it's like <laughs> I want to go back to school and finish. Blazing Frost says she has six years at Lazy Town State. <laughs> I'll tell you that. You know, That's um, a good one. Because I just, I like counseling. 
you know, I have experience with counseling. I've counseled a lot of people in my life. Why don't I show a little skin? Because I'm not here to be your sexual toy. Oh, and by the way, she loves to say she's a mental health advocate and she's counseled people and all this stuff. But then when Rev was literally having a fucking nervous breakdown, threatening, saying he was going to hurt himself or the kids or her, she literally said he, he tried to go to the hospital. He was going to go to the hospital and she said, no, we don't have the gas money. So just go outside and take a walk or something because we don't have the gas money. Like, and then you, and then claims to be a mental health advocate. Like, no, no, bitch. You are not a mental yeah, health advocate exactly. and do that. I'll, I'll show skin when I feel like feeling, showing skin. I don't feel like being a sexual toy today. I'm an intellectual, damn it. Find, find my mind. I know sexy, some idiot. Body. That makes sense, does it? Uh, and I'm just gonna say it fully. Fuck YouTube. Fuck YouTube. I spent 20 years <coughs> slaving for them. And I do mean slaving. Putting free content out for years to them. Didn't make barely fucking shit. At all. Slaving for them. At slaving all. for them. And Come I was on. a slave to them for fucking 20 fucking years. I started out with YouTube with um, beta testing it because of my college course I was taking. Oh my god. Um, and then uh. I started a uh, college course. I started YouTube when I was like really like into YouTube back in 2014. You know what the Christians called me? Jason, what did the Christians call me? Well, I've heard this is the convictor. The convictor. They called me the convictor because I convict. I take a human's heart, I show what they are inside, and I show the darkness that they are beholden in their heart, and I shove it right in their fucking face, and I tell them, why are you doing this while so spouting that you're a good person? How about Let me convict know. yourself, then? Look in the mirror. I've been reading the Bible since I was four years old. More lies. And that would apply to all of Biden's orders. Thank you, Texas. Texas. Keeping freedom free. Yeah. <coughs> Yikes. I'm sorry. It is unethical to, to force medicine on people and force shit onto people. It's unethical. It's medically unethical. It unethical. Goes like she knows about I ethics. As a medical student. Oh my I think god. It's about time. Force shit Everything on she people. learned it's as yeah. a medical student. <coughs> Get the fuck out I'm of sorry, here. I'm sorry, it is unethical to, to force medicine on people and force shit onto people. It's unethical. It's medically unethical, and it goes against everything I learned as a medical student. I think it's about time. That what? Never mind. <laughs> it's caused me to <laughs> what? That I get so manic. That's what it is. They don't care. Good thing I have some experience when it comes to that stuff. Yeah, you do, and you help. Without a doubt, you help. Mm -hmm. Thank you for that. Yeah, yeah, thank God I have psychology experience. Yeah. You know, I can help him. You know. It... Yes, I would love to be a psychologist. I, I'd love to have that. My degree, finally. I chose family over my career. Bullshit. Am I planning on going back to finish my degree? I'd love to do that. I mean, it's not into, like, the doing it part but I definitely want to do it 
so I don't know. We're gonna find out how how things work out for me in life. <clears throat> but I think not well. You know. How many credit hours do I lack to graduate? Well, here's the thing. It's been so long since I've been in college. I don't know how many credit hours they will take. She. It's been so long I would since have, she's been in college that do they don't. She doesn't know how many college hours credit hours she has. Like, Shanny, Shanny. Lack to graduate. Well, here's the thing. It's been so long since I've been in college. I don't know how many credit hours they will take. That's the thing. I would have to actually look into that stuff. <laughs> I had fun. Uh, Cheers, guys. I oh, really, Mr. You? Am well, I good, planning on good. going Glad back you to finish my degree? Trying to, you know, get answers from her. I'd love to do that. I mean, it's not into, like, the doing it part, but I definitely want to do it. So, I don't know. We're going to find out how, how things work out for me in life. But I think, you know. How many credit hours do I lack to graduate? Well, here's the thing. It's been so long since I've been in college. I don't know how many credit hours they will take. That's the thing. I would have to actually look into that stuff. I had fun. Cheers, guys. I they don't expire. Yeah, but I, oh, I don't hell know no. what they take or not because it's like different states, different schools. I don't know. I'm going to have to look. I really am going to have to look. Hi, Sofa King. Did I take any statistic courses? I took one statistic course. Um... one statistic course it was uh it was a social it was what was the statistics i forgot what it was about she's such a liar oh it's your birthday oh hell no happy birthday i know it was a sociology class <clears throat> i don't remember what exactly everybody was, wish oh hell no a happy on, birthday it's their 50th it. birthday today happy birthday to you Happy I mean, birthday what to you. Psychology Happy is birthday. Oh, hell no. Happy birthday to you. Statistics useful. And I think more. it's just like part of the... I meant in what capacity in psychology is statistics useful? I think it's just like part of the sociology part of psychology. I don't know. I have no clue why it would be useful. <laughs> I just remember doing one statistics class, and it was boring as shit. I did it online. I just don't really remember any of it. She's such See, a liar. See, that's why I'm like really unsure Hi, about Kara. my schooling because I don't remember a lot of it. Hi, Sydney. Which sucks. Hope you're like, doing the good. Little stuff, especially math. Hey, Tracy, Shani would be a good sociology. I love sociology. I was doing a psychology major with a minor in sociology, so. What college? Oh, I'm not going to say. Uh, why? Sorry, I'll keep that private. Why would that need to be private? In a rough. Love what you. are your thoughts of adjustment in regards to psycho- Huh? I don't know what you're talking about. Right to hit. Oh, that would be horrible. What do I think to adaptation to change in psychology? I don't know. I don't- I don't- I don't- Thank you, Mandalorian. They're, they're, they're testing your abilities in psychology, hon. Yeah, well- you don't Hook are you? Language, hint you, mean. you never did anything. You get what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Just on like this ass. I'm on an Asperger spectrum, too. Oh, we God. Here I don't we know go. If I have Asperger's, but I certainly am on the spectrum, so. Mm -hmm. 
now she's yeah, on the ass. I probably, spectrum, I, okay. I probably, I, I need to get tested for it to tell you the truth. Um, for Aspergers, I didn't speak until I was four, so that shows you I probably did have that. What? How? What, what field of psychology is interested? Am I interested in? Um, I would love to be a sex therapist. Oh God! Or a marital therapist. Please yeah. no. I'd love that. Can you imagine getting marital therapy from her? From her. Look at her relationship with Rev. And she's going to start, you know, handing out therapy and advice? Uh-uh. I don't think so. More like a general psychologist, huh? Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> right, Sabella? I've she didn't speak until Christian. four, but she was reading the Bible at four. Couldn't speak, but was able to read the Bible. Counseling, going that route. Have I considered online college? Yeah, I've considered that. I think that's probably the route I'll probably get to. Um, but I like the, the like, class se setting, though. Bullshit. I've been psychoanalyzing you. You want to hear my conclusion? What? What's the psychoanalyzation of me? You know, it's not nice to psychoanalyze people. I'm just saying. Why? I love for someone to analyze me. I would find it so amusing. Yeah. I don't. Yeah, we know. Because I know it's not ethical to psychoanalyze someone when you're not their patient. What? I just like psycho... If someone's going to analyze me, I, I want to make sure that I pay for them to psychoanalyze me. Because like I said, it's not very ethical to psychoanalyze a person that's not your patient. Or client. However you want to put it. Uh-oh. We're going back in time, folks. I was the first person to come in you here. You do know this whole conversation, I'm completely psychoanalyzing psycho psycho you, right? Are you? Are you now? Yes, I am, because I'm going to point out your narcissist the whole entire time. I'm not going to be nice okay. to you. Well, if I was your psychologist, I would work on your narcissism. My narcissism. Yeah, your narcissism. That's interesting. Thank you, Irish Trish. Shady is far from a narcissist. Thank you. It's not in my psychological profile, so I guess your psychoanalyzation was wrong, Tracy. Mm-hmm, sure. And you are 100% blocked now because you are wrong. You did not give me a <laughs> psychological examination to determine if I'm narcissistic. Okay? All you did was talk to me. So, enjoy being in block. Bye. Sorry. You can't go by talking to someone and think they're a narcissist. You actually have to do a full mental examination to see their narcissistic qualities. Awesome, Silence Ledge. Which she didn't do. I don't know who that woman is from Adam. But you're 100% a narcissist. Why? Because I'm on YouTube? No. Because you're you. Let's pose this question to Rev and see what happens. Rev, do you have suspicion Shandy lies about her education in order to seem superior and control you? Let's see what happens. Oh, we know what's going to happen. She's going to shut that Shady, down. Can quick. I ask Rev a question? Depends on what the question is. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Goofy. Okay, here it goes. Okay, that's fine. I gotta be political about this shit. If she allows it, sure. Here it went. There it went. I'll answer your question. 
if she allows it. Not gonna happen. <laughs> if it's a highly offensive question, she's probably gonna block you, you know? Crusty the Clown Lab. She's reading it. What the fuck? Absolutely, categorically, 100% no. Wow. No, he's, not he's... at all. And with that... Oh my god, that's ridiculous. You're blocked. Pixie Rack, you know Shanny better than that. <laughs> Have a nice day. Wow. Sure. Completely Bye -bye. blocked. Pixie Rack is a hater now. Wait a minute. What the fuck is that? I don't know, but that's so fucking weird. All right. Well, that's categorically no. Why wow, he is brainwashed? What the fuck? It's called respect, like, and you're gonna block someone rules. for that? Jesus. She has complete control over him. I'm done. <laughs> wow. Oh my God, they don't get us. No. This this is unbelievable. Well, I mean, they don't even know me enough to know that I don't think like that. My God, everything's a suspicion with them. So weird. It's so weird. It's true. God, how oh can you live God. like that? They're trying to set us apart. No, that's fine. Do you see that? They're trying to get us to fight. Well, that's stupid, though. I mean, I, I, I think you're a very smart girl. So, that's fine. She knows what I'm saying is true. Jason's very intelligent. Well, I'm not stupid. Definitely. No, no. I'm not the dumb. information you have in your head is amazing. I have enough. It's there. amazing, yeah. guys. <laughs> Whatever. You're very smart. Yeah, you're very smart too. You're, that's Jello. I hate Jello. But you're not as smart as her, are you? <laughs> okay. Hi, Radiant Shadow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, okay, so now let's switch it up a little bit. Let's hear from Rev about something. I figure we've been listening to Shani a lot. Let's hear some, some Rev and see some Rev content. Hi, Lolly D. And this is titled, the title of this video is... Why do my wife and I give money to others? And this was in 2019. Hey guys, how you doing? All right, so um the title of the hangout is obvious. So it's why why do my wife and I give money? So I I can say for myself, I'm going to enumerate all the reasons to you why I've given money in the past, okay? First of all, I've given money to Hideology, which is Paul's Ego's channel. I gave money to them because I like their content and I think it's entertaining. That's one reason. I've given money to J.D. Kane because I thought his content was pretty entertaining. There are... Christian pastors that I've given money to that I gave them money because I support their ministry like End Time Incorporated uh, which is Irvin Baxter's uh, pastoral and media organization uh, now that that's one reason I give money because either I support a ministry and what they're doing or because I enjoy the content of a person, if it's not religious in 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 in, in origin, uh, it's just because I like your content. I'll give you I'll give you some money and say, hey, I think your content's good. Keep it up. Uh, the other main reason I give money is because people need money for some sort of something. Uh 
in the case of Nadia, I met her. I met Nadia, <laughs> Hi, who, if you're not familiar with her, Nadia is a transsexual that was on G Plus Hangouts. That she was in rough shape, physically, mentally, all of that. She was in rough shape, and I just stumbled across her in the G Plus Hangout uh, community. And I started regularing her hangouts because she would have people come in there and debate God issues. And I, I like the content. So I kept coming back. I eventually started going in her room. And I got to know her well. And I saw a person that was just really forgotten by the system and really abused and it doesn't matter to me if, if, if Nadia is a transsexual or not. I see a human in bad shape that literally their health is failing. You know, she, she could barely, at the state that I found her at, she was laying in a bed in an in, in apartment in, Hi, in uh, California with roaches and big bed bugs crawling all over her. It was horrible. Now, I'm not going to go down the list of all the people that I've donated to because I don't know, want to know what... I don't want the right hand to know what the left is doing. And the Lord says to keep that stuff to yourself. And, and I, it, it's proof that I don't give to brag. I'm not doing that. That's stupid. How is that proof? I, that? I've never believed in that. It's, it's, if you can give, it's good to give to somebody that needs it. It just, I mean, for people that aren't religiously minded, it gives you an endorphin rush because you feel like you've done something good. For me, I feel like I'm Hi, obligated, Jamie. regardless of the person's an atheist or a believer, that is not, that doesn't even come into the equation. It shouldn't. As a matter of fact, it should be the opposite because Jesus said, even the publicans greet each other with a kiss and, sh and that stuff. Like, you're no better than a politician if you're going to go around giving kisses to people that love you and giving money to people that love you. So you should be giving to people that don't like you. Huh. <laughs> if you're listening to Jesus, which I try to do. Mm -hmm. So... In the case of Nadia, it was very extreme, though, because she was so uh, down and out. She hadn't had an employment for years because she got kicked out of her job summarily, and it was not nice. It was a bad. It was a bad situation, and they basically blacklisted her from her industry, which was computer programming. And she had been out of the industry so long, it was basically next to impossible to find employment. So I was paying for her rent and her food, and, and I was keeping her, you know, in a state where she wouldn't end up on the street Hi, dead. Hi, Penny. Hi, Flame. That was my goal. And I was successful. The Lord anointed that. And, and you know, I, I would hope and pray to God that maybe Nadia someday would come to Christ. I don't know if that is even possible because Nadia is very, very, very scientifically minded. But the, pi the point is, is that was my motivation for helping Nadia. Now, you're, I, for people that, that just know, are getting to know me, you're going to hear all kinds of innuendo and lies about me being into transsexuals and the reason that I, I gave to her was... Hi, just was this Jamie. Like, she was sending me pictures and stuff. Somebody has said that, uh, that it was like a prostitution thing almost. That's what I would regard it. If you're telling me, I, you know, I'm giving you money and I'm telling you to send me pictures. I am not into transsexuals. I have nothing against people being transsexual or I don't have anything against transsexuals. But I am not into that. Okay? I'm into real women like my wife. Solely my wife. That's who I'm into. I'm into Shannon. That's it. Mm. 
I'm not into any other women. I don't feel any kind of any. I don't want nobody else except her. That's it. So. If you want to know the reason why I gave to Nadia, it that's it. That is pure. I am telling you the billion percent truth that I felt severe uh, sympathy for her. I would want to see my worst enemy in the situation that Nadia was in. It was terrible. So I helped her, and praise Jesus, he anointed that. She got in contact through another person that I knew about all of the stuff that you could get paid for your transition. Because Nadia is the... It's, it's either... Look, either give me my my parts that I feel like I should have or I want to die. That's Nadia. What do you do with that? You give them the surgery. Because otherwise they're suicidal. They don't want to live. So... She, the, the, uh, contacts were made by various people, and boom, she got her surgery, man. I thank the Lord because I think she might be dead if it wasn't for me Wow! helping her out monetarily because she would have been on the street for so long, I don't know if she would have been able to survive it because of her health conditions. She has type 1 diabetes, which requires refrigerated insulin to take care of, or she goes into seizures and uh, goes into ketoacidosis, which is extremely bad. Thank you for the likes. I appreciate it. So I felt like I was taking the least of these, which she is. And Jesus never said, don't give to people that are atheists or don't believe in me. He never said that. He said, take care of your fellow brother and sister. He didn't say, if they believe... That is not what Christ said. He okay. said, everybody no you see out there that. is a brother and sister. Take care of your brother and sister. That's what Jesus said. So that's what I was doing. I was taking care of a sister. And yeah, Nadia is so female, there's no way that you're going to get me to say him on Nadia. Nadia, when I think about Nadia, I think her. Because if you've had interactions, Nadia is not at all male. At all. <laughs> so, I just wanted to clear this up that because you have these armchair quarterback people with keyboards that think they're amazing, and I'm calling out Big C and his wife. Big C. You people are disgusting. You have no idea who Shannon or, or I are. You, 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 you've made your soap opera our lives. And you think you, that you could sit on your stupid channel that has 84 subs now, all from my wife. That's the, you had eight subs, Big C. And I was one of the first. And I unsubbed your ass, blocked you, and reported the video that has, the, in the title, Hi, you IDK. put Rev as a POS. Hey, YouTube, is that enough hateful content to get it fucking taken down? Like you did with my wife's channel, with Von Helton, when he, he files a false copyright claim because she never played any of his videos. You stupid sacks of shit, YouTube. You're completely unjust. Is that hateful enough to call me a piece of shit in the title of a video to get it taken down? We'll see. Probably not. Because you people are, are absolute the worst judge. Sorry. You're the worst judge of character on the internet, YouTube. You leave Greg and Nissian on there making his disgusting content. And you leave all of these predators and scumbags on the internet that slandering people for no reason. And, and, and you, you uh, ban my wife from doing live streams for six months because somebody filed a false copyright claim. Yeah, that's real just YouTube. You got a long way to go, man, to be having just leadership of your uh, organization. And, and 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 I'm harsh on you because I like YouTube. I like the platform. It's cool. 
you have good tools that are easy to use once you get to uh, once you get to know how to use the the, the material, the the software uh, in the browser. It's great, and then OBS is just an awesome software. Ah. Uh. So I just wanted to clarify because you have all these people in these chats that don't know me at all. Or Shannon. They don't know us at all. And they say that we give money just just to manipulate people. We give money... Uh, that's the main charge is that we give money to manipulate. Well, that's funny because I have never once gave somebody money and then said, could you do this for me? Or tried to yeah, manipulate right. somebody into doing something after I give them money. Never. I've never done that. And the that. day I do that is the day the Lord would take my money. Oh. Well, it looks like that happened. Because I'm no longer a good steward of it if I was doing stuff like that. The reason I'm blessed is because I try my best to work for Jesus with it. Oh, this did That's why well. he put this great blessing that my mother left me in my hands because i i re i am pretty responsible with money <laughs> you know i do my best and i think wow. i'm pretty good at it hi jack that did not age well at so that's all. it i'm gonna send people to this video when they ask me why do you give money or hi, if Charlie there's girl. an accusation that i give money to manipulate. I'm being 100% honest with you. No lies. I never tell lies because lies come back to bite you. Hi, David. That's another thing that's said constantly. That we, we constantly lie. My wife and I constantly lie. Another bogus, total bullshit statement. Mm, is it, Rev? So when you want to know about people folks i would say it's wise to go to the source oh, thanks, go to Trina. my wife's channel or mine to see our reactions to this stuff not these people in the chat and not these idiots on drama channels because they lie and do terrible things to people okay if you're gonna put trust in somebody i say trust shannon or myself before any of these drama people okay you want to know the deal with me and my wife, you go to Revelation News or you go to Shanty for Christ channel. So that's it. JWE Revelation News out. God. All right, let's see. There was a couple in a row down here. Okay, let's see. We're going to start here. What? I've eaten the galaxy, man. <laughs> so apparently, we land on Mars, and proof and evidence that we actually landed on Mars is a bunch of people behind a big sign that says NASA hugging and clapping and saying yay. That's our only proof that we landed on Mars. No pictures or anything. I mean, shoot, with the moon landing, I mean, we had thousands of pictures and videos and crap like that, and we still found the hoax in it. But now, the Mars landing, the government, they gotten smarter. They're like, no fucking photography. We're just going to go and have people run up in joy and high-five each other and hug each high other and, we, and we'll all yell yay we landed on mars and provide no information or pictures or proof or validation that they actually did to the american people you know in nasa what nasa in hebrew means what it means to deceive what uh when are you dumbasses gonna wake up and realize that nasa is not truthful not what when are you gonna realize that i'm sorry a little dot marble on a screen and you call it pluto a blurry picture at that blurry black and white picture you'd think we'd have the technology to you know up that and and auntie but no 
No, no, our funding is just too small. We can't seem to get fucking, you know, pictures that are in fucking color and not digitally enhanced or, you know, a computer recomposition. Uh, you know, we can't actually have, a, you know, someone actually taking an actual photo of said thing out in space and actually showing it to the people. No, that can't happen. We have to put it in the computer first. It has to be rendered by the computer. The computer has to has to do it, right? So thank you, NASA, for proving that we landed on Mars through a bunch of people whooping and yelling and hugging each other. Whooping? And um, yeah. Great job, NASA, at proving to the American people you're not full of shit. You did a wonderful job. Marvelous. Wow. Marvelous. We got a smart one here. All right, all right. All right, so I'm not done with the racism thing. Uh-oh. I'm not yet. I have more... Here we go. ...to say on the issue. Because I really, I really want to see this victim mentality that has been brainwashed into the African-American culture to go away. Because I honestly think they're using the whole we were slaves thing as a crutch. As a crutch to stop them from achieving greatness in which they can achieve. They use it as an excuse of not getting out of a, a really bad situation they're in. You know, I lived in the projects before. I've lived in low-income housing. I've been poor off my ass. You know, I've been arrested unrighteously. I know how it is, okay? okay? I get it. I fucking know how it is. Sure, Shani. Whatever but you, you can get yourself out of that situation. You keep in all these excuses of why you can't get out of the situation that you're in is just going to keep you stuck in that victim mentality when you're not a victim anymore when you can achieve so much as a black person in America you have so many grants you have so many programs that are utilized to help the black man to get out of precarious situations. And here's the thing. Me, as a white person, if I'm struggling, I can't go into those programs because I'm white. That in itself is racist. Oh, my God. And I would say against the law that only certain programs cater to a certain minority. You know, what about, what about, you know, a white single mother who needs help? I can't get the same thing that a black, a black single mother can get. What? You can get the exact same thing. Because she has more programs thing. than a white woman. That's and not And then you true. guys talk about this white privilege thing where I see there's more bra- black privilege, <laughs> black privileges in this country than white privileges. Wow. And a lot of people are going to turn against me and be like, oh, you're being racist. You're being racist. No, I'm not. I'm being honest. No, Shani, you're being fucking racist. Like, straight up, this is, you're you're being racist. Like, does she not, like, hear and get the shit that comes out of her mouth? Like, oh my god, she's so fucking ignorant. Like, I know what's out there for programs to help you out when you're really fucking poor. Because I was really fucking poor. <laughs> now you are again. Shit, dirt poor. Like, Shani's live. I don't want to go back to that living situation. All right, hold on. Let me go open this up real quick. Like, hold on, guys. Gooey. Oh, How you doing? I'm I'm guessing this is gonna be a begging stream, so here we go. I'm low. 
what my volume Hey, Bubble T. Thank you guys for telling me she was live. Appreciate Carolina that. Carolina Reaper. Blue. Be blue. Yeah, Mr. U, this is live. At Wednesday. Cookie Ma. Hi, Janice. <laughs> Watermelon shits on his head. Oh, GA, I do too. Hi, April. Hi, Channel 69. I don't know why my volume's low. I don't have a clue. I'm not sure. No. I guarantee you this is going to be begging for money. That's the only time he comes on. Hi, Judy. Not really. Hi, Lynn. What brings me online? Well, I wouldn't bring myself online. So. What? What are they going to ask for money for when they just got food stamps? Today is the first. Yeah, this is live, guys. We need money for food. That's, I'm like, I, I'm so sick of this shit. But, yeah, that's, we need money for food. It's the first! How did they not get food stamps? This motherfucker, like, my God. What is wrong with these people? What's wrong with them? They have the nerve to do this over and over. People, Food quit giving them tomorrow, money. Thankfully. Somebody was trying to help us out, Ted, but it didn't happen. Get a job. Hey, Poetic Justice. Hi, Shani's McDonald <laughs> Wi-Fi. Yeah, we, we try to ration. Try harder. Yeah, I'll, I'll go get to work on the pantries then. Yeah, go to a food pantry. There you go. Go to the food bank. See, he's full of... This, y'all know he's not asking for money for groceries, right? Y'all do get that. It's for drugs. I'm, I'm sure of it at this point. We try to budget our food stamps like Jesus Christ, duh. Oh, you're going to get an attitude about it, Rev? You're going to get a fucking attitude about it? Maybe y'all shouldn't have got pizza the other night. When you got money, you should have got more groceries and you'd have some right now. But no, y'all went and got pizza that you probably ate in one night. And then you can come on here and have an attitude with people suggesting different things to you. Hi, Stevie. Hi, Coffee and Crochet. No, I don't. I told you, this this really gets to my anxiety being on like this. It's then get off. I don't want to be on. Then but get it's like off. When nobody's gonna feed your wife except yourself. Well, hey, I I gotta do something, right? Yeah, I gotta do something. Get up and get a job. 
That's what you got to do. No, we have nothing to eat in the house at all. Bullshit. Nothing. Bullshit. Then go to a food pantry. Hi, Shaza. This is so disgusting. Like, I cannot yeah, it's stand rough, them. I, know. I can't stand them. Hi, St. Ratty. And then he just sits here silent, staring. Like, what is the point in this? And my God, people need to quit giving them money. Hi, Tinkerbell. Hi, Love Notes. Hi, Jonathan. Yeah, maybe I'll go and ask a neighbor for food, honey. You think that's a good idea? Feeling really bad. Well, what else is new? Don't worry about it. Don't worry about me. We're not. Tonight, uh, like late tonight will be when they come in. So he's, they're getting food stamps tonight and they can't wait till then? Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here, dude. Wait till tonight then. You're getting money for drugs, Rev. It's clear. It is clear. If you're getting food stamps, if they hit tonight, then wait till tonight. You yeah, can make it till then. Yeah, have some of their food left. Fuck's sake. Was that your stomach? Yeah. Or is that my stomach? It's my stomach. Oh my god. Hi, Jacqueline. Right, Mr. Know It All? Mr. All It No? <laughs> yeah, it was. Hi, Heather. I know, some idiot. Hang in there. It is frustrating as fuck. Tell him to go get a, make a sign and go beg by the side of the road. Yeah, I have a pasta pot. There's nothing to cook out in the kitchen. There's nothing left in the fridge or, or any of the... Um, there's nothing left. Then wait till tonight when you get the money. Y'all aren't going to starve to death from now till then. I feel like I'm starving. <laughs> you're not. So, you're not. Hi, Isitudin. Jason's begging for money again. Because that's all he ever does. 
fucking loser. Yeah, fast food EBT would be great, wouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. So pathetic. Oh, thank you, David, for the super chat. David said, Reb said he has to feed his wife like she's a pet or a child. No one says feed the wife. That statement is loaded with entitlement. It sure is, David. I could not agree more with that. Thank you so much for the super chat, David. Hi, Citrus. Oh, thank you, Saint Ratty. You guys are awesome. God, this is so pathetic. Like, holy crap. He just sits here not saying anything, staring. Like, what does he think? What in the fuck is going on? Like, what is happening right now? Rev, get a job. Do you not see that that is the fucking only possible answer to this? I think that they're with going through withdrawals from drugs. That's what I think is happening. I don't think this is for food. I really don't. Because he would go to a food bank. They would find a way to get food if it was for food. This is for something else. That's why he looks like he's on the verge of tears. Look at him. I got 69 people in here. You want to talk? Huh? No, Rev. She's making you do it. Why is she going to do it when she knows you'll do it? She can force you to do it. You notice Shani's not the one that ever gets on here and does the begging. She makes him do it. And then she gets on to fucking scarf the food down and throw it down her gullet and uh, talk shit about... Yeah, other I people mean, on I the internet to talk well before but i can't now because my, my i'm telling you that my mind is not good every day is it's the same shit then yeah, go we're out of everything get help i am scared scared of what work that's the only thing you're afraid of is a little hard work. Yeah, I like we we like dominoes. Oh my god. Yeah, we like we like dominoes. Oh, thank you, Lynn, for the super chat. You said Rev, you are a selfish Christian. I'm do donating to carry on your behalf. Chew on that till midnight. Laugh out loud. 
<laughs> Thank you, Lynn. I appreciate that. Thank you so much for the super chat. You got it, Rev? <laughs> Somebody's going to message you on Twitter for a pizza. If someone gets them a fucking pizza, I'm going to lose my shit. Like, God, quit doing that. He needs to get a job. As long as people keep giving them shit, that's never going to happen. And he's just going to come back on here and do this. Like, every other day. You need my help to do that, too? Wow. Whoa. Uh-oh. Did you hear that? Rev's getting pissed. Hi, Lori. Wow. Did you hear him? He's like, you need my help to do that, too? Yeah. He's getting sick of this shit. But I don't have any sympathy for him. Alright, we got messages open. Run, Rev, run! I don't give a fuck what anyone no. says. This, it wasn't the first, it was the second. This is about drugs. I really feel that. The more they do it, the more convinced I am. Alright, you're going. Bye-bye. Jenny's fine. She's right here. Make Shanny get on, Rev. Force it. Oh, I got another super chat. Hold on. Let me go back up. Oh, thank you, David, for the super chat. You said, watching Rev and Shani motivates me to work more. Good for you, David. If only it would motivate him. Thank you so much for the super chat, David. I appreciate that. There's no reason why Rev can't work. Thanks for the prayers. Sorry for missing that, David. I apologize. I was too busy staring into the abyss <laughs> at Rev. <laughs> right? All my mirrors. Somebody go tell him I'm ordering a pizza tonight. <laughs> Just kidding. Don't go tell him anything. This is wild. Like, it is just, like, literally this dude just sits here and stares. Doesn't talk, just sits and stares at the screen. Like, wow. What are you doing, Rev? Don't you see? Like, this is your life. You want to help out? Um, Shanny's PayPal is at Shanny Needs Love, and my PayPal is at Rev Dude. If you want to help, we don't. 
Help yourself. That's what you need to do. You need to get a job, Rev. Look, he's going to cry. I'm like I legit think he's going to cry. What are you doing with your life, bro? This is your life, this shit. Don't you think that it would be worth it to at least get a part-time job? What the fuck are they doing? This is bizarre, dude. Right, they have no rent. They don't have car payment. Like, they have basically no bills. If he even got a part-time job, then that would help them get money for food and shit. There's no excuse. If I was him, I'd be making her get on. I'd be like, you want me to do... like?" I've done it. Now it's your turn. You beg for the money. But he will not stand up to her. Hi, Marion. Oh my god. I'm not forcing him to do anything. Yeah, you are. Look at him. He's like, yeah, you are, bitch. I did not want to come on here. Oh! -hoo! You said give me your phone. I did not want to come on here, Shannon. You know what, Jason? Are you doing this stuff on purpose just to make me look bad that I'm forcing you to do stuff? No. I'm telling the truth that I did not want to come on here. Then don't ask for my phone. You and make me look like I'm doing something toward you. Wow. Ask for your phone. I didn't... Wow. Wow, Rev. Are you going to stand up for yourself? You're just going to let her talk to you like that, too, right? Like, people think I force you to do stuff against the, your will. I don't. Does she force you, Rev? Stand up for yourself, bro. Why are you gonna let her talk to you like that? I don't give a fuck. Though. Always make me look bad. I didn't even do anything. Here we go. Don't this is live. Force you. I make you do stuff. What you gonna do, Rev? Wow. You could at least 
please tell them I'm not forcing you to do this. You can at least tell them that. She's not forcing me to do this. Instead of making it seem that I'm doing something against your will. It's very clear to everybody that I don't want to be on. Well, good. <laughs> but why does it have to be on my fucking back? Why do I have to look like I'm shit? When I didn't even do anything. I didn't fucking do anything. I don't know what you're talking about, man. No. Do you not see the audience where they're saying that I'm forcing you to do stuff against no. your will? No. I didn't notice that. I'm so sick of hearing that. It's like all the responsibility is on me. And it's like poor fucking Jason and I'm the one who's goddamn dying. All that I do. I'm the one who can't fucking even barely fucking sleep or breathe half the fucking time. But no, it's all on my goddamn back. Every goddamn thing. I'm the Why only one that goes. Why you just sit there and stare? I'm the only one that goes out there and does anything. What the hell Why are you, are you talking about? Why you just sit there and stare, Jason? The only reason that you're able to get anything is because of me. So I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. And the about. only reason why you can get anything is because of me. So? What's the point? I don't understand I'm what you're sick of being the only one that makes fucking money in this house. <laughs> wow. I'm sick of the only one who puts actual fucking work into shit. While I'm fucking sick as anything, I'm sick of that. Sick of living like this. Why don't you leave me then? Is that what you want? Yeah, kind of. Why? What did I do? Oh. What did I do? This went well. Well, you're just staring and not saying anything to anyone, Jason. Why did you even go on? I don't know. Why did you even go on if you're just gonna stare and look fucking like insane and then everyone's blaming it on me and I didn't even do anything? Yeah, I'm going off and don't ask me to go on again. I did it! Ho oh, ho, folks, folks, wow, he turned it off, but Shani's probably about to turn around and get right back on. If I know her, that's what she'll do. So let's just give it a second and see what happens. But wow, 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 wow. Oh my goodness. Let's see if we can go back and watch that again real quick while we're waiting for her to go live again and i guess they may not go live again but i think that shani might Trying to find where the audience. All right, here we go. I did not want to come on here. You said give me your phone. I did not want to come on here, Shane. You know what? 
Jason, are you doing this stuff on purpose just to make me look bad that I'm forcing you to do stuff? No, I'm telling the truth that I did not want to come on here. Then don't ask for my phone. They <laughs> make me look like I'm doing something toward you. Ask for your phone. I didn't. Like, people think I force you to do stuff against the, your will. I don't. I'm gonna let this play without talking just in case I'm the only one getting this. So just so you know that's why I'm not talking. Don't get fucked up. Always make me look bad. I didn't even do anything. Tell them I'm not forcing you to do this. You can at least tell them that. She's not forcing me to do this. Instead of making it seem that I'm doing something against your will. It's very clear to everybody that I don't want to be on. Well, good. <laughs> but why does it have to be on my fucking back? Why do I have to look like I'm shit when I didn't even do anything? I didn't fucking do anything. I don't know what you're talking about, man. No. Do you not see the audience where they're saying that I'm forcing you to do stuff against no. your will? No. I didn't notice that. I'm so sick of hearing that. And it's like, poor fucking Jason, and I'm the one who's goddamn dying. All that I do. I'm the one who can't fucking even barely fucking sleep or breathe half the fucking time. But no, it's all on my goddamn back. Every goddamn thing. I'm the Why only one that goes. Why you just sit there and stare? I'm the only one that goes out there and does anything. What the hell Why are you, are you talking about? Why you just sit there and stare? Jason. The only reason that you're able to get anything is because of me. So I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. And the about. only reason why you can get anything is because of me. So? What's the point? I don't understand I'm what you're sick of being the only one that makes fucking money in this house. <laughs> wow. I'm sick of the only one who puts actual fucking work into shit. While I'm fucking sick as anything, I'm sick of that. Sick of living like this. 
Why don't you leave me then? <laughs> Is that what you want? Yeah, kind of. Why? What did I do? What did I do? <laughs> was that? It was longer than that the first go round, wasn't it? Wait a minute. Why did it cut it off there? That's weird. It was longer the first when I when we watched it the first time. What the fuck happened? Like really? Or or thirty minutes. Wait. Why do I have to look like I'm shit when I didn't even do anything? I didn't fucking do anything. I don't know what you're talking about, man. No. <laughs> do you not see the audience where they're saying that I'm forcing you to do stuff against no. your will? No. I didn't notice that. I'm so sick of hearing that. All that I do. I'm the one who can't fucking even barely fucking sleep or breathe half the fucking time. But no, it's all on my goddamn back. Every goddamn thing. I'm the Why only you just one that goes. Why sit there and stare? I'm the only one that goes out there and does anything. What the hell Why are you, you talking just about? Why you sit there and stare, Jason? The only reason that you're able to get anything is because of me. So I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. And the about. only reason why you can get anything is because of me. So? What's the point? I don't understand I'm what you're sick of being the only one that makes fucking money in this house. <laughs> wow. I'm sick of the only one who puts actual fucking work into shit. While I'm fucking sick as anything, I'm sick of that. Sick of living like this. Why don't you leave me then? Is that what you want? Yeah, kind of. Why? What did I do? What did I do? Hi, Olivia. This went well. Well, you're just staring and not saying anything to anyone, Jason. Why did you even go on? I don't know. Why did you even go on if you're just going to stare and look fucking, like, insane and then everyone's blaming it on me and I didn't even do anything? Yeah, I'm going off and don't ask me to go on again. I did it! That was, okay. So the first time, for whatever reason, it cut it short the first time. Do y'all want to watch it one more time? She's, she hasn't came back on yet. Yeah, it must have just been finishing rendering or whatever. I keep checking to see if she's went back on, just so you guys know I'm watching. You could at least tell them I'm not forcing you to do this. You could at least tell them that. She's not forcing me to do this. Instead of making it seem that I'm doing something against your will. 
It's very clear to everybody that I don't want to be on. Well, God. Mm. <laughs> Hold on. Let me see if if the chat. I don't see the chat. Like it must take it like um a little while before the chat shows up to be able to watch the chat because I noticed that last night like when I was trying like when when it's live I can't see the chat but after it's over then I'm able to see it but I it's I don't have the ability to see it yet so um yeah for whatever reason I don't know why but why does it have to be on my fucking back? Why do I have to look like I'm shit? When I didn't even do anything! I didn't fucking do anything! I don't know what you're talking about, man. No. <laughs> do you not see the audience where they're saying that I'm forcing you to do stuff against no. your will? No. I didn't notice that. I'm so sick of hearing that! <laughs> It's like all the responsibility is on me, and it's like poor fucking Jason, and I'm the one who's goddamn dying. All that I do. I'm the one who can't fucking even barely fucking sleep or breathe half the fucking time. But no, it's all on my goddamn back. Every goddamn thing. I'm the Why only one that goes. Why you just sit there and stare? I'm the only one that goes out there and does anything. What the hell Why are you, you talking about? Why you just sit about? there and stare, Jason? The only reason that you're able to get anything is because of me. So I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. And the about. only reason why you can get anything is because of me. So? What's the point? I don't understand I'm what you're saying. I'm sick of being the only one that makes fucking money in this house. <laughs> wow. I'm sick of the only one who puts actual fucking work into shit. While I'm fucking sick as anything, I'm sick of that. Sick of living like this. Why don't you leave me then? Is that what you want? Yeah, kind of. Why? What did I do? What did I do? This went well. Well, you're just staring and not saying anything to anyone, Jason. Why did you even go on? I don't know. Why did you even go on if you're just gonna stare and look fucking like insane and then everyone's blaming it on me and I didn't even do anything? Yeah, I'm going off and don't ask me to go on again. I did it! Quasi monkey, you just got here. All right, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'll play it one more time for people who are just coming in, and um, sh you know they haven't went live again. But I'm telling you, I think any second now, Shani will go live because she's gonna have to go on and talk about. You know what I mean? She's not gonna be able to handle uh, her, you know, things being like where she looks like she's to blame. You know what I mean? All right, I'm gonna play it one more time. That way everybody that uh, was not here before can watch it. And then we'll figure out what we're going to do from there. Let's see. Let me start where it first started. For your phone. I didn't. All right. Here we go. <clears throat> I'm not forcing him to do anything. I wish I could see the chat, but it's not there yet. him to do anything here hold on a second because it's on my phone 
let me do something. Sorry, guys. Give me one second just so I can, because I'm going to try to get the chat for everybody to see that as well. Here, hold on. What I'm going to do is close this. Um, hold on, guys. <clears throat> Yeah, I don't know why, but the chat is not there yet. Does anybody know what, like, does it normally take? Wait, I think you need this to, to um, the Twitch app to see the chat. Well, it's on my phone, um, which is what, but, like, I know I've watched, like, um, past streams and the chat will be there. Um, afterwards so i don't know why it's not there now oh well i'll keep trying to figure figure that out for now i'm just gonna play it one more time for everybody i apologize for not being able to see the chat uh hold on <clears throat> hold on Pulling it back up. I did not want to come on here. All right. I'm starting it right from where it gets good. Um, Bug Love, you can see the chat. Are you using the app or are you online? Because I can see it on my phone. I just can't pull it up on the computer. Does anybody know why? You're online? What am I doing wrong? You're using the app? Okay. Hold on one second, Bug Love. Let me do it. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. Give me one second so I can get the chat here for you. Oh, wait, she's live again? All right, hold up, hold up, hold up. Here we go, I'm so, guys. I'm so sick of looking like I'm, I'm some kind of perpetrator of abuse when all I want to do is just fucking survive in this goddamn world. I Not be it. treated like <laughs> shit for trying my fucking best in life. Because it's fucking lies. <laughs> I love that man. No, you don't. You love yourself. <laughs> I don't want to hurt him. Yeah, maybe there's times like, yeah, I don't feel good. You want to make some money for us? But you call the cops for something that wasn't even a big fight? Wait, they called the cops? And then you call me abusive? For just saying how I feel? Of course I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. 
I'm sick of being labeled as something I'm fucking not. <laughs> oh, shit. Because I'm nothing like that. I'm mad being called this stuff that I'm not. I'm sick of being invalidated. I'm sick of being treated like shit. I have every right to feel that way. Especially when I'm feeling like fucking shit. Always. He wasn't the sole provider for years. I've been the sole provider for years now. You don't know what you're talking about. Oh, fuck off, Teddy. You showed what kind of fucking fake you are. Take your teddy bear hugs and shove them up your ass. Oh, shit. He does help. But not monetarily. And Bitch, he brought 750 grand into the relationship. The fuck you talking about? I love him, but I'm really sick of looking bad because of, of, of this. I'm sick of looking like I'm some evil fucking witch. We're trying to get disability, it's not easy. Rev didn't call the cops on me. The idiots online called the cops. What? The idiots online the called the cops? fucking stupid people. Every time we, we, we get into an argument or some kind of bickering, there they are. Thank you. He just walked to the store and got me a Pepsi. Thank you. Something. Thank you, honey. Because he's the only one that does it. No, that's not true, though. Maybe the quiet. Why are you turning against me? Wait, there are people online. The cops know it. Every time they come here. Damn, how many times they come? Every time they come here, they're like, they called again. <laughs> do, do you need to go? Do you need help? Do you need to go to the hospital? I'm like, no. I'm just upset with seeing you guys again. It's not that I hate you guys. I don't. I'm just so sick of looking like a bad guy. You are the bad guy. You make yourself look Am like I the that. nicest person sometimes? No! But I'm going through more than what I can fucking handle in life. And everyone's always like, poor Rev and his mental health, poor Rev and his mental health. I have mental problems too! She's so jealous. Like, why is it all on me?
I am not a bad person. I'm a very good person. <laughs> yes, he did. When's the last time I did anything for Rev? About two minutes ago. What did you do besides give him a fucking headache? I do headache? things for Rev all the time. What are you talking about? Somebody should ask her why she brings up money when he brought 750 grand into the relationship. She's not going to catch up to that probably ever. I help him. Help make his life fucking unlivable. To the best of my ability. It's mostly mental helping him, you know, teaching him <laughs> some DVD <laughs> skills so he can <laughs> help him mentally deal with his heightened emotions sometimes. He's learning sometimes. <laughs> He's learning. And he did say they help, so yeah. I help him that way. I give him love and cuddles. Whenever he asks for something, I share. Oh my god. I do everything I can for him. He's a part of me. I never gave him a shiner, you lying sack of shit. Yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. Yeah, I was yelling. I lost my temper. I'm hungry. <laughs> oh, shit. No, I don't have a Christmas turkey. No, you're not no, you don't have to take CBT first for DBT. Cognitive behavior therapy is very different from dialectic behavior therapy. Cognitive uh, behavior therapy is based on more of trying to get a grip on your your actions and how do you feel with the actions you take. While dialectic behavior therapy is more of a way how to cope with intense emotions. I get hangry too. It's okay. Some of us understand, Shani. Thank you, Mark. I said I was getting hangry. That's why I didn't want to go on. Teddy bear, yes, yeah, she did talk about you. She don't like you no more. <laughs> She said, take your teddy bear hugs and shove them up your ass to be <laughs> exact. That's what she said. Have I done it? DBT? Yeah. I did two years of it. Went to even advanced DBT. Am I perfect all the time? No. I probably do need a Snickers. A Snickers? <laughs> That's true, Manifest. Oh, Jesus, Lord in heaven. How did I force him? I didn't. So end that fucking narrative. Bitch, you forced him to be on there. You know you did. You know you did. Liar. Liar. 
anybody could look at his face and tell he did not want to be on there, just like the last time he was, and the time before that. I'd rather have a Snickers than a soda. And you still lash out. What did I do exactly other than say I'm sick of making, I'm sick of being the only one making money? What did I say so bad exactly? Why can't you get a job? You're not making money, Twitch. No, they didn't send me a pizza. They were lying. Good. You don't deserve it. They lied about it. But another person sent something which was sweet of them. So thank you for that. God, people, quit fucking sending them money. The fuck is wrong with you? I don't like Snickers. I can't eat Snickers with my teeth. I can't, I can't eat peanuts. Or nuts. Or anything really hard. Dude, oh, yeah, I know he's struggling <laughs> mentally, but so am I. You're supporting this, this behavior, by giving them money. Hell, maybe keep doing it. It makes for great content, I guess. Try to, Aluna. <sighs> Jason's here right now. Seriously, a two liter? Yeah. Why are you laughing about that? Can you use a cup? It's the only thing he could get at walking distance. Why do you have to walk? I don't have her phone number, Teddy Bear. Just message her on Instagram or something. Call her on Instagram. You can make a call on Instagram if you have her Instagram. It's Shani Needs Love. I would love to get mental health services through telehealth. Then do it. Then do it. Fuck off. Couples get into fights and get and have snippets of anger with each other. Get off it. You act like you've had, you have a perfect fucking relationship. Yeah, but most people are smart enough not to do it online in front of the world. Like, turn the fucking camera off. Oh, yeah, but it don't. happens to me a lot, Brett Von Hilton. Oh, a lot. There's Brett. I'll look into that Ivy Rose. Telehealth. What? Why haven't you looked into it already? You're. That's what. That's how I got my therapy. Um, in Colorado because of COVID, is I had to do it over Zoom. So then you know how to do it. But it was worth it. Hi, Lynn. Glad you're here. To anyone that has not... <laughs> Maybe you guys have been cooped up too much. Hold we all on. need space. I know, right? If you're here and you like the content and you haven't subscribed or liked, could you please do so? It would mean a lot to me. Thank you very much. <laughs> Maybe the quiet. No. I've had way too many please forgive me's and, and then they end up being an asshole. I know they're calling the cops on wellness check on Rev. Thank you, Carl. Are you okay? Let me let me talk to him real quick, guys. I'll be right back.
Uh oh. Oh, she's just doing the be right back sign. Yeah, so if you like this content, um, like and subscribe, please. This is what I do. I bring you the breaking local news. When it's happening, I that's when I do it. I don't wait for later. Um, I stream every day. Um, and uh, yeah, I bring it to you guys like I would want it brought to me because... It sucks having to wait. Plus, Twitch sucks. She has like eight ads on her videos if you try to watch them over there, unless you subscribe, in which case then you're giving her money and views, which you don't want to do that either. So definitely um, come and hang out with us here. We have a good time. <clears throat> I cannot believe. <laughs> I can't believe they do all this shit online. Oh, let me see. Bug love. Let me see if I can do that. Uh, is that the old one or is that right now? Let me see if it works. Hold on one second, guys. Because if I can pull up where the chat is showing, that would probably be better. Oh, wait, that wasn't it. Yeah, see, I still can't see the chat. That's so weird. I don't know why it does it. Uh, is it because I'm blocked? Because I'm blocked on her, um, on Twitch. See, someone with fucking common sense. Uh-oh. If back. I can't move, then how can I slap him exactly? You are moving all around, Shani. What are you talking about? We heard you walking exactly. around. Exactly. Oh, quit it with your bullshit. So sick of your fucking lies and bullshit and in innuendos and, 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 and fucking assumptions and just all your fucking bullshit, dudes. And you're the same person doing the same fucking <clears throat> thing over again with the same, with a different fucking name each fucking time. Well, when I'm blocked, like when I do realize when it's live, I can't see the chat. But after I know someone like, offered to up. get me groceries, I would take that offer. So it's weird like that. Oh, Annie, you got banned too. It's weird because, like, when it's live, I can't see the chat. But then after it's over, when I go back to watch it, the yeah, chat like I can't never see the chat, had so a weird. bicker in with your other significant other ever or you never got in a fight with them imagine all the times you ever got in a fight with your spouse that was like the first fight we had in how long <laughs> in like three four months yeah it didn't even last long maybe two <laughs> minutes it doesn't block by ip dress but it will tell you if it's the same ip dress that will come that's coming on like i got, they said go to your your twitter <laughs> i went to my twitter there is no one no new message on the twitter at all no brett no relationship is perfect <laughs> yeah but exactly. yours is uh is worse than that it's it's but not to treat me like shit I'm just sick of the scenario. It's not that I fucking hate someone or I'm ready to fucking hurt them. Yeah, but I make donations too. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I don't think that's fair at all to say you're the only one bringing in money. Cause well, I okay, don't... you're right there. <laughs> and the Why windows. can't I get my fucking pop out to work? Thank you, Twitter, or Twitch, for finally working for me. Bezos.
Oh my God, if people heard the way myself and hubby argue, they would think I was killing him. Yeah, I know. Couples fight. It happens. Exactly. Not like that, bitch. And, and they act like I'm fucking hurting him. And it's just like, I'm just sick of the fucking scenario. I'm just wondering what exactly I said that was so fucking evil and malicious and manipulative. What, what do you mean, Blue? It, it, can you answer that? That stuff from today. Did I say something that was like that horrible to you? No. Are you, really? Yeah. Huh? I love you. I love you too. That's right, Summer. You did, Channel 69? Dang it. <laughs> She's on a on a blocking spree. <laughs> Nerdy, time spicy, your boyfriend and you don't yell at each other yet. How long have you been together? <laughs> yeah, it's gonna happen eventually. Not like that. That is not normal. It's gonna happen eventually. That is toxic. And it's... I used to say that between me and Chris. Me and Chris, we didn't yell at each other or fight each other. And then one day, it happened. Over a year, I respect him, he respects me. Well, you know, some people have mental illness. Not an sometimes excuse. Sometimes their mental illness gets the best of them, especially when they're hungry. Nope. And they feel low, and they're in a lot of fucking pain. The cold is so awful for me. No excuse. Don't blame it on mental illness. That's bullshit. Von Helton is your grandfather? Really? I don't think Von Helton's kids are old enough to give him a, a grandchild, but all right, Captain Barbados. I've known Von Helton for fucking way over a decade. Almost 20 years. Same with Brett Kane. Almost 20 years. Why is she... Put this freaking screen back on, dum-dum. My husband and I don't do that. We have mental issues. You're a liar. So now she has a cold, too? Is that what she said? <laughs> Idiot. You never bicker with your husband. Or you've never had a fight with your husband. You're a liar. You're just trying to show ass. So now that someone gave them some money, she's all in a chipper mood now. Like, what? So full of it. <laughs> when my parents fought, I thought the rapture was happening. <laughs> <laughs> I knew Von Helton when blog TV was the shit. So do I. So did I. Oh, the screen is up? I didn't know. Sorry. I'm looking at the chat. One minute. I'll fix it. I have a Revy poo right next to me. <laughs> um, well, Revy poo was saying he didn't think he wanted to be with you anymore. So. Your baby. Look at this guy. Look at him. Look at Rev. Oh my god. We like made up like two minutes after that bickering happened, by the way. Didn't we? Yeah. Wow. How can you get a hold of me? You can get a hold of me through Instagram or Twitter as Shanny Needs Love. Either way. I just want, huh, I just want friends. I want people who really love and care for me. You well, know, I don't want fake people who are just going to pretend they're my, my friend and then just dump on me. Well, you have to, it goes both ways. Be a good friend and you'll have good friends. 
You treat people like shit, Shani. I want real people who care. Do you guys ever smoke regular weed? N no. It, we're, we can't legally do that. Nope. So, no. You look taller than me here. I like this angle. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh. God. <laughs> I'm sorry I couldn't be 6'5". Unfortunately. I'm sorry I couldn't be 5'3". <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. We make it work. We try. Yeah. Sorry I fought with you. You didn't fight with me. I feel the same way about myself, honey. Then get a job. I feel the exact same way about myself. This is sick. They are fucking toxic. I haven't been sleeping well. He sleeps better than me. He sleeps better than me. How tall am I? I'm 5'10". I'm a tall girl. Yep. Yeah, exactly. Oh hell no, they got drugs. That's what the money. <clears throat> they just got money. They bought her a soda and they bought regarding... drugs. Why? Why do you care what I do with my donations? How is that your business? First of all, because you're spending it on drugs. Clearly. I don't get what you're trying to say. I really don't care what you guys are trying to manipulate. <clears throat> Kanye is trending. Trending with Alex Jones. Really? Yeah, because Alex Jones like, you're not a Nazi. You're not. <laughs> and then Kanye's like, Hitler did a, did a lot of great things. <laughs> Holy crap. Shut up, Kanye. Oh, Gabby, you're so sweet. <laughs> I watched that interview. He needs some mental help. Yeah, he does, man. I've been watching pretty much every single interview. I can find with Kanye and it's, it's just, I want to help him. Was the fight performance art? No. It was me losing my fucking shit. Because I'm tired of living like this. I'm tired of it. I want to be successful. I want something. The cops said I'm not the only one who feels this way. He, he, he talks to a lot of people every day <clears throat> over it. A shout out to... Uh, what police zone are they? I mean okay shout out to the police that were here by the way mm -hmm. <laughs> something I didn't know about the cops now because of the 2.1 billion that Tom Wolf put into the mental health services in Pennsylvania all the cops are trained with mental health they're all trained for mental health so they can deal with people with mental health instead of, you know, treating them a certain way. So, like, they're criminals or they're bad people. They're, they're learning how to treat people with mental health, which is awesome. You know, they even offered to take me to the hospital. 
but I'm like, no, all they're going to do is drug me off with pain meds and I, and then send me home and I'll just be sleeping the rest of the night. Move to Mass. I can get you a job in Massachusetts. I've never lived in Massachusetts before. Pain meds for mental health? No, pain meds because I'm in severe pain most of the time. <laughs> and the cops know this. pain comes back even worse than what it was because <laughs> I hate it. I hate it. I don't like pain medication. I don't like I, I don't like that it makes me throw up. God, I look so skinny now. Aw, Ted Williams says, Jason, you're loved by God. Thank you. Oh, my baby. I'm sorry. You don't have to be. Yeah, I do. I yelled at you. You're just saying how you feel. That's all you're doing. I have more than my fair share of pain. Huh. It's all over my pain. It's everywhere. It, there's times where it's like even in my fingertips. Like it feels like electric. Like G Man's even felt this with me. The electricity, like feeling that comes out of my hands. It's like I'm like fucking Palpatine or something. And he's like, that's weird. Yeah, you can kind of feel it now. It's not a lot because I'm because the Cymbalta is still in my system. But if I'm without my Cymbalta, the whole electrical system in my body goes fucking nuts, and I feel like I'm sizzling from the inside. Like it feels like literal electrical pain that goes through my body. It's the weirdest thing. I like that manifest. Yes, Jason, you are loved. I would love for you to start loving yourself because when you learn to like and then love yourself, your world will change for the better. You got this. They believe in you, baby. Okay, that's nice. Thank you. 
He's a bonkers. That's true, Brett Von Helton. We all need faith. <clears throat> yeah, you know pain, Summer. Pain is pain. I have chronic inflammation and fibro... Oh, God. Fucking inflammation. I get you there. I want to sponsor an egroff. <laughs> sponsor, huh? That would be beautiful. All right. Can you guys hear me? What do you guys have going on tonight? <clears throat> Just snuggling and being cute? Pretty much. Let me know if you can hear me. Draven wants to apologize. Everything's back. Sorry about that, guys. You didn't miss anything. She wasn't Draven, saying Draven, are you actually going to apologize? Or are you just there to start crap with me again? Because I didn't do shit to you. Other than that one little fucking troll by saying... It was you that was given all the answer, or given G-Man all this shit, you know. That was just a troll move, but, like. Okay. I'll give him one chance, but if he starts crap with me, I'm, it's, it's done. So. I'll give him one chance. Hmm. Imagine that. <clears throat> I don't want to be, I don't want, I don't want crap spewed at me. But I am a forgiven person. Desperate. Let me see. I have like hundreds of names, so give me a minute. Get homeless of America out. Hi, be hottie. Living in America. Teddy Bear, honey, what's your question? Nah, living in America. Um, there you are. Hi, April. You've been blocked since 6 16 Hi, Billy. 2021. <laughs> well, Draven, it's been way over a year since I've blocked you here on this, this damn channel, so I guess I could give you a chance. <laughs> <laughs> Chipper, I yeah, it was live on the channel here. I played it live. I've been you left a message doing this on whole Instagram. thing live. Okay, I'll look at it. Oh, thank you, Billy. Oh, you want me to do a red la How red laugh? You get oh fired. god i'm curious i got it as a long-term gift after i got ross river fever um they think i got my fibro they're not sure because fibromyalgia is kind of a mystery but there's they're assuming i got my fibromyalgia because of all the trauma i've took um so they figure it's that. <laughs> oh, God. Give me a second, Teddy Bear. I don't know if I can do it. Fibromyalgia. 
<laughs> You're putting me on the spot. A lot of people with borderline personality disorder have fibromyalgia too, so they find a connection between the two. You got limes from a tick off our dog lady when I was a kid. Oh, that's awful. I'll tell you later, Sabella. I got some stuff I can tell you. Trauma can cause. Wait, trauma can cause that. Great. Yeah, it can. Let me let me show you. Um, I'll give you a link to fibromyalgia. Oh, thank you, Chelsea. Amanda, I know now that they're putting me on the spot. I feel like I I won't be able to do it. <laughs> it's actually okay, really, teddy bear. really here. Uh, let me just copy this and put this in the message. It says, fibromyalgia is often triggered by an event that causes physical stress or emotional <laughs> psychological drops. stress. Possible triggers include a serious injury such as after a car accident. So... Hmm. Here, that that's what it says there. But you can you can Google the trauma thing when it comes to fibro. I feel you, Judy. I need to get something to drink in a second too. <clears throat> so they figured it was caused by trauma. Be it, I I don't know. I got diagnosed with it at the age of 20. <laughs> right, Jalen? He probably so, is. I don't know if it's caused by early childhood trauma. I do remember that I felt pain in my body ever since I was a little girl. So it might be that. Um, but it could also be what happened to me when I was a teenager. When I was gaining art. Um, Leslie, could also oh, wait, be what? dealing with the relationships I had. Did the she just say she was gang art? She was gang art. Wait a minute, what? Ew. Right, Chipper. Exactly, Chipper. Oh, Brett. Ooh. Wow. Yeah, they'll test you for lupus and, 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 you know, rheumatoid arthritis and all that wonderful stuff. And then they'll be like, no, you don't have lupus. Because for a while, I thought maybe I, because the doctors were testing me on what I had and what I didn't have. And they thought that I may have had lupus, but no, it turned out to be fibro. Ah, uh, yes, I learned to endure pain after my brother twisted my arm so badly the bones warped. Oh, my God, what an asshole. What no, red I'm feather? I'm not going into the forest and having ticks all stick to me because they smell my blood. Oh, no way she doesn't? I got you, red feather. <clears throat> They check you for heavy metals. Yeah, there isn't yep. a test for uh, fibromyalgia. That's true. Very Eat true. Garlic. That's why it's easy for people to fake. Why garlic? I know garlic's good for inflammation, but does it keep the ticks away? <laughs> Hi, Squid. You like RC the best. Did you see the fight, Squid? And Pepsi is all he could get at that place, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Garlic is the spice of life. Yeah. I want to get some foods. We're, we will get some food. I promise you, honey. We are going to get food. We're going to get some food. This is live right Hi, now, honey. Squid. Burn, burn, burn. We're live. Living in America. <laughs> Sorry. Why is that song stuck in my head? I don't know why it's stuck in my head. Do I have to watch Rocky? You're up to watching Rocky? Oh, God. 
because Rev, you know, he's a big fighter. He's going to fight Jared Leto. He could beat his ass, right, Rev? <laughs> Fuck off, asshole. No one wants to talk to you. Fuck off, asshole. Yeah, EBT isn't available until the 2nd because November ended with 30 days. So y'all couldn't wait? So if, it, if the month ends with 30 days, it always comes on the 2nd, I've learned. Unless this month, December, it's going to come around the 2nd too because New Year's, Probably. the banks are closed. Yeah. I know, yes, Wicked this Witch. Is live. We could go to. Because they don't want anybody asking hard questions that like, what the fuck is wrong with you guys? Is. That's close by here. And you got to sit through like eight ads to do that. About dinner. Sorry. Um. I'm going to grab something to drink, guys. Sprite? No, that sounds delicious, though. Um, I'm going to let this play. I'll be right back. Swap water grill and I ate alligator. I love alligator. <laughs> Alligator's delicious. Are you kidding me? Did any of y'all, wait, did any of you guys already tell her about the GGG 24 hour threat? What? I like eating butter pasta out of a mixing bowl like an animal too. I'll eat some butter pasta. What's the most exotic meat I've ever had? I've had gator, I've had a lot of exotic meats. I've tried. Uh, I've had gator. I've had frog. I've had escargot. I've had eel. I've never tried ostrich. Um, I've had elk, moose. I've had wigo beef. I've had the other Kobe beef. Probably the most exotic would probably be the wigo or Kobe. Probably Kobe beef, because that's the most expensive out of all of it. I've also had caviar, lobster. Oh, I know. Urchin. That was probably the most exotic I ever had, is urchin. It was gross. It tasted like cum and had the consistency of cum, too. I know this bitch did not just say lobster and escargot and shit is meat. She does know that that's not meat, right? <laughs> like, what the fuck? Caviar? Caviar is not meat. <laughs> like, get the fuck out of here, idiot. Because his bottle of meds ran out of the subscription and we haven't gotten to the doctor yet. That's why. Candles. Hi, Wildflower. Thank you. I still you. have another month. To go. Hi, Wednesday. Yeah, I have one more. Refill Wednesday. Left. Said that a little weird. No, I haven't, Ted. I ate someone's scab once. Ew. Is that considered exotic meat? God, gross. Okay, Z Bonkers, you got to tell me the story. Why did you eat another motherfucker's scab? Yeah, it's got to be a dare. <laughs> I'm interested in this story. Ew. 
<laughs> I like scabs. What? Oh, I'm hungry. I need to get food. I'm going to go crazy. Can I turn off slow mode? Okay, one minute. Am I on slow mode? Aha! Turn off slow mode. There we go. It has been released. I don't know why it was on. So you want to sub from that place, hon? Yeah. What do you think? Or or one of their wraps. I love their wraps. Okay. All right. How far is it? Dude, instead of getting groceries, they're going to get... Oh, my God. Okay. I can't. These I two idiots. You. I love you too. Yeah, I don't like the scab conversation either. It's kind of weird. Did you? <laughs> I'm I'm getting food now. <clears throat> Hopefully, he gets a sandwich. I hope he does. But who knows, when he's in this mood, he doesn't want to eat anything. Yeah, don't even, Shani. Like, he's in a mood because you just fucking treated him like shit. And embarrassed him in front of everybody. But your scabs look like they'd be extra But sexy. he's a piece of shit, so I don't have sympathy for him anyway. Dude, I am not giving you my scabs to eat, man. God, Stop. That's just weird. the hell, right, Sabella? Who keeps giving them money? These people are idiots. Straight up. Uh, I hate everyone. I think a lot of people can feel that. Thank you, Brett. I hope he does. I hope he does. Am I getting a sandwich with my EBT? No. No, she's getting Daddy, it with money. Come here, baby. Money that someone gave them. Come here, baby. I thought you were hey, dying, Shani. And Earlier, the she real was... reason why I wasn't online is because Gavin was on my face lying on me. What? Come here, baby. So, when she was mad at Rev earlier, it was, I'm Come fucking here, dying. Blah, blah, blah. But now she's like, just completely fine. Tell me that when he went oh. to get that Pepsi, that he didn't go get drugs. Because he Krista, did. Krista, can I come over? I want some brats and fried cabbage. I'm gonna buy that. I can't. I can't wait till I get the food stamps, man. I have plans. Yeah, you're gonna trade I them have for drugs. Plans. <laughs> Let's be real. I definitely want to get some ricotta cheese and some mushrooms and some uh, Italian sausage and some pasta. And make a delicious, like, ricotta cheese sausage pasta thing. Hey, Sweaty McSag. Did you see all the drama? Shani cooking stream? I could do that. Show you how to make a nice ricotta pasta. So good. So good. Oh, happy birthday, Wildflower. Wild. Flour. What's bra bratwurst. It's a German sausage, kind of, kind of sweet, kind of spicy, made from pork, and 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 it's really good with sauerkraut. But she made some cabbage with it, so it's close enough. 
Right, Poetic Justice? It really is expensive. Ricotta cheese. Yes, cook and stream. I love boiled cabbage. Me too. Oh. Yeah, I'm we got Irish two style. birthdays. Oh, ooh, ooh. I could make like a, 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 a boil with cabbage, potatoes, ham chunks because that's cheap, some carrots, like chunk up the carrots and like boil that in a nice like vegetable or like beef broth or something like that. That sounds delicious. You could have viewers send you recipes to try to. Oh, that sounds awesome. <clears throat> oh my God. They're still doing that, Ted? Ooh, kielbasa. I just finally sliced a head of cabbage, a yellow onion, and cooked it in butter and salt and pepper, granule garlic, and slap your mama seasoning. Oh, ho, 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 ho. that makes the Irish girl happy hearing that. <clears throat> <laughs> What are the Irish like? Meat, potatoes, carrots, cabbage. And it feels like so good in your stomach. Like, I have like this personal belief. Right, Reno? You can store, freeze cabbage, really. I should eat some haggis. I've never tried haggis. I'm afraid to. I don't like organ meat. But I would try it just for the sake of saying that I tried it. But man, I'm jealous of Foodie Beauty because like, like in Kuwait, when they, when they give you like a plate of meat, they give you meat. Hi, Stephanie. They don't give you a couple slices. They like give you the whole fucking chicken and more. I'm like jealous. Bear is surprisingly good. I haven't tried bear. I have had bear grease on me, though, and I love the smell of bear grease. I've never tried bear. I would try it, though. Ew. I would never eat a bear. Pork loin was cheap at the store. Had a bear summer sausage. Oh. I've had caribou summer sausage, which is really good. Caribou's good. It's like deer. Dude, we got a theory here. What if that fight that they just had was fake? Hi, baby. To get donuts. Did you get yourself something? And now they're high. Oh, I'm fine. Having a great old time. They had enough money. <laughs> What do you guys think? Think it's possible? No, I'm cool. Possible that they had a little fake fight? Oh, they sure thing. made up quick, didn't they? Do you want the barbecue chips? Thanks, no, Silent Sledge. Yeah, you can have the barbecue chips. Because he's the one At who gave me the idea. Yeah. I have a signature. I know. I just, I want you to be fed. Yeah, I know. Thank you. You're welcome. You don't eat that much when you're in this mood. Yeah, I know that. <laughs> because it's like also why did they they always seem to have these big fights or whatever on camera probably did eat one it's why i keep my cats inside he didn't get food he probably doesn't want oh food i don't let my cats outside drugs. could you imagine watermelon she'd probably be sacrificed or something she's beautiful black cat because you know when somebody's doing like coke or meth or crack they usually aren't hungry Excuse Just me. Just saying. You're cooking spring rolls? <gasps> oh. Hey, Drader. Gavin wanted his foods. Gavin's like, everyone else got food, I want food. That's right. <laughs> he just took care of that. He's a baby.
He doesn't want to be on cut camera, guys. <laughs> I really, I don't. No. I've changed a lot. A lot. Yeah, it. they mentally fucked with you so bad that you just can't do it anymore. Well, no, they I, I did? I tell you, it's the G-Man thing. It was the G-Man thing. He got oh my so close god. Stop blaming G-Man for he everything. Really close to us. He fucking supported y'all for over a year. None of this is fucking G-Man's fault. You guys are toxic as fuck. Good job, G-Man. You ruined Rev. Bitch, you ruined Rev. Are you out of your goddamn mind? With your constant breakup Shanny and Rev bullshit. Oh my god. Yeah, whatever it is. I don't even know what it is. Here like, we go again. Like, stupid bastard. Like, on my fucking cash app the other day. Like, look at this shit. Like I refunded oh it back God. too. He gave me a fucking dollar and he said you need need to ap apologize to me. Like he didn't even write it right. But like he sent that to me. A fucking dickwad. You need to apologize to me. And I'm like what the fuck do I need to apologize for you for? To t to say to be nice? That I told you to be nice? No, because you told it that he wanted to fuck you. That's what you said. Pretty weird. Is that why I need to apologize? Oh my god. I'm, like, at that point where I just don't fucking care, though, at the same time. You sure... You were sure fine with him when he was giving you money. Jesus. Weren't ya? <sighs> right, Citrus? I agree. Wow, he can't spell. No, he can't. Oh, you're on Discord, Drader? I need to find you on there. Thank you, Azriel. People do need to move on and leave me alone. Like, I need to apologize to who? Why? 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 Because I told you to be nice to certain people? To stop calling women the W word and the H word? To stop telling women to get in the kitchen and make you food? No. To stop being sexist? And all I have that to was apologize fine. for that? Fuck you. All of that stuff that she just listed was fine when he was <laughs> giving them money. Remember that. Like he's the one who he's the one who who, who slander in my name all over the internet. He he's the one who who's talking all this crap behind my back and I barely say shit about him. Bullshit. What do I need to apologize for exactly? For saying that he wanted to fuck you. That's what he wants because you to he apologize for. he's in for. love with you. He is! No, he's not. He's really not. Get over yourself, Shani. <laughs> Even Jason knows it. That's what I, you're telling I him. Word about that. I know. That's what you're not telling Jason. Because you want Jason to be like, leave jealous. me out of this shit. Yeah, leave me out of that. That has nothing to do with me. What if you pretend an apology, he sends more money? That's like Foodie Beauty wanting to tell Nader that to fake love him. <laughs> what? I can't do that. <laughs> exactly, Saint Ratty. An apology to someone. They claim there. She claims she was like starving and shit. No, why Still should I apologize ate? to something I didn't even do? She's got food, but she's not You're eating. You're the one it. acting like the ass. Must not be that hungry. They got drugs. I'll say it. I'll say it. That's what they got. That's why she's not worried about eating right now. I don't go around slandering his fucking name. And then he compromises himself. And hooks up with the one person that he said he wants nothing to do with. Right, Mallory? 
Hi, St. Jimmy. Hey, Farmer in the Cell. Hi, what Anna. What Hollywood level Fat Girl are. Facts. How are you doing, Fat Girl Facts? Ted. What's up, Six Up? They don't get how <laughs> real I am, do they? Yeah, somebody remind her that she's dying. If it was performance art, it would be artsy. Right, because you do anything artsy. You're not capable of artsy, Shani. Like that pit, that one video I made with the sandwiches in, 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 in black and white? That that was performance art. Bitch, oh, shut or the fuck up. Or that one video where I was like <laughs> screaming about Little Debbie's and how they changed it? That was performance art. Oh my god. That fight we had. Oh, that was totally just to troll the trolls. Yeah, that was. But this wasn't. I haven't done that in a long time. Hi, Missy. I don't have the energy. And I'm not as creative as I used to be. I know, Chipper. It's crazy. My brain don't work. <laughs> Your brain has never That worked. wasn't performance art, maybe. Hi, Radium Rabbit. I hope everybody's having a good night. Really Hi, C. Jameson. Jason's on his way to 40. The cops were like, the cops, they fucking, he said, what are you, like 25? I'm like, no, I'm almost 40. He's like, oh, so you're you're almost my age. Like, yeah. He did not say I, that. It, it is nice to be saying that I look like I'm in my 20s and I'm almost 40. <laughs> she is full of shit. Win. So full of shit. That is a win. I deal with it. I don't believe anybody said that. Not even for a that second. That is a win. It's a big win. Yeah, six up. The cops came. <laughs> Hi, Bonnie. To look young for my age. Youthful. My mom had that problem, too. That's why no one believed she was sick, either. Oh, my God. Here we go with the being sick again. You don't seem like She's you're very sick, sick right now, Shani. Did someone remind her that she's supposed to be dying? I know. Thank you, Jesse. Cancer runs in the family, dude. Oh, my she God. She ended up with skin cancer and then, what was it? Stomach cancer? She Hi, died Tam -tam. a horrible death, dude. Wow. Painful as fuck. Thank you, Tam Tam. G-Man is live? My died in his sleep. <clears throat> Let's see. Let me pull it up. G Man's live right now. Do do you You're guys trying to poo and your kitten won't stop climbing? Anybody on wanting to see <laughs> that he what, what he has is to with say? cats who do that? <coughs> I don't know. Yeah. Does anybody want to watch G Man, or do we want to want to stay here? Money, money, money. All right, hold on. Huh? Let me pull it up. Singing Moni Moni. Moni Moni was on the radio because I got my mom's radio station on. All right, we'll go back and forth. Uh, and, 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 and I made it clear that I didn't want to be live. Then guess what? I don't want to be live. Don't try to manipulate me. Don't try to make me. Don't try to force me. Don't try to do any of those things to try to make me sit there and go live and do what Shani out obviously wants to do. You see, Shani is addicted to YouTube fame, and that's what she wants. She wants YouTube fame. I've heard her say in a previous video that she's been doing this for what 15 20 years whatever and she sees other other youtubers getting paid and she wants to get paid you know for, for the time that she's done on here and everything and whatnot for the time that she's been on here and she's she, she's so obsessed with that that she doesn't care who she's got to destroy and who she's got to go through in order to achieve this so-called goal of hers on YouTube to achieve YouTube fame she has not what am I saying YouTube fame for she's trying to achieve social media fame the only uh oh. Increasingly hated on here. That's the only fame that she's um 
um, uh, uh, is accomplishing on here. And that's just being hated. Nothing she does moving forward except for owning the thing. I'm watching both, just so you know. So I'm watching to see if Shani's saying anything interesting, just so you guys know. Things that she's done is going to fix that. Nothing she does is going to fix it. She's always going to be hated on here because she's going to be looked upon as being a user, which she is, as being a plotter, which she is as being a selfish prick which is exactly what she is a christian she is not all right um and what just kind of got to me was is that the man so aggravated with going live that he was like why don't you just break up with me like i think he's starting to understand that he's really in the position to say that stuff now because at the end of the day shanny is in his uncle's house the uncle, see, blood is thicker than water. His uncle is going to be there for him no matter what. However, Shani, she's expendable. And she better start understanding that. If this man doesn't want to be live, stop asking him to go live. As a matter of fact, let me say this too. Jason, I know that you have never really been given a legitimate opportunity to process. All right, here's what we're going to do, guys. Let's go back to Shani because I can... We can go back to G-Man in a little bit. It'll be up. You know what I mean? Imagine He's you not really saying anything to admit new. that you were blackmailing someone. <laughs> I'm blown away. <laughs> Sounded like he's he just going to say the same bullshit. <laughs> Bull G-Man. <laughs> <laughs> That's some wild. Okay, shit. I need to take a pee. I laughed too hard. <laughs> All right. Hold on. She's going pee, so we'll go back to him. Thanks. Here and we go. I think it's wrong that she doesn't give you the opportunity to do that. While she's peeing, we'll watch okay. him. Now, her mother is in the uh, title of this video, and I'm, I'm going to get to that in a minute. But I just wanted to talk to Jason real quick. Granted, he's he's upset with me. I am extremely upset with him and upset with uh, Shani. Shani makes this into a one-sided thing, acting like I did everything. I didn't do nothing. She was the one who came on here and said that um that I gave her a death sentence to this very day. She has not acknowledged that whatsoever. Now, I want to get to her mother. Shani's mother was correct about everything that she said about her and particularly about her being a lazy fat slob that don't want to get off her behind and go do anything and i'm saying that unapologetically jenny you are a fat lazy slob that refuses to get off your behind and do anything i'm uh -oh. not I'm, listen to me i know a lot of people talking about g smacks and all other stuff and whatnot y'all want to get your jollies on and laugh that's fine but i'm talking directly to her because what she did to Jason just run, uh, 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 in that previous video was wrong. If the man doesn't want to sit on, if the man don't want to be on social media, stop making him come on social media. Like when you guys are living in the house and, 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 and you would just wake up in the morning and the first thing out of your mouth is a YouTube event. Some people don't want to hear about that stuff early in the morning. Some people don't want to hear about that in the afternoon or the evening. You have a social media addiction that you need to get help for. Like honestly. Everybody ain't into this the way you are. Give that man an opportunity to get the psychiatric help that he needs. If he needs to get around a doctor, another human being besides you, because my God, that would be good for him. I'm, I'm telling you, if one of you would just be nice and go over there and go visit him, he would spend hours talking to you about things that he actually cares about. He doesn't care about the things, well, not on the same level the way Shani does. Trust me, he is still a Republican. He still has Republican ideas. He still thinks that way. He can't express himself the way he wants because he's around her 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Like, leave that guy alone. If he doesn't want to be on social media, he doesn't have to be on social media. And it's just irritating. And then when I tried to point this out in your chat, I noticed that you blocked me super quick. See, you don't want your audience to know that you lied. But don't worry, Shani, because I'm not going to just be talking about this on this channel no more. No, 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 no. And people are going to question my motives for doing it. But it's how I'm going to do it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take this to another platform 
where I know that there's going to be more people watching besides, you know, what, what I have on this channel. Because I don't get that many viewers. Dragnet gets more viewers than I do. And a lot of these other people get more viewers. But I'm going to go somewhere where she's actually going to care. I'm going to try to um, contact Chafee the Eye. And um and 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 somebody else who was close to Shani, um and like maybe Rand Campbell and a couple of other people, and we're gonna talk about this because like I said, what she's doing to him is wrong. And Jason, you was not wrong for saying, look, if you want to break up with me, break up with me, because this man has hit rock bottom and he just doesn't care anymore. And I don't think she gets it and she understands it. First of all, myself and this audience can see the moment that somebody better comes along, he's done anyway. I know that, Sabella, but it'd be good if you come to it. If I if I can get like you, uh, uh, Ran, if I can get like Sabella, um, you need to tell G Man to come on my show Brett and a couple of other He'll people that she likes to talk about from our past. All of them will say the same thing: that if this man don't want to be on social media, he don't want to be on social media. Now, unfortunately, he's kind of made his bed, and a lot of you guys are gonna tell him to sleep in it. But at the end of the day, I have enough empathy for the guy to know that if he doesn't want to be live, he doesn't want to be live. Like, 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 like. I know a lot of you don't like me talking like this, but that's the type of toxic femi feminism that I absolutely can't stand. Uh-oh. I absolutely can't. Hold on can't. a second. Let me switch back to Rev. Rev's talking. Uh, that ain't going to happen, though. Rev's mm. talking about G-Man wanting Shanny. I know Christine McVie died. She didn't die today. She died like two days ago or something like that. And I've had, I've had tell me lies stuck in my head ever since she passed i heard, i think i heard that in a dream tell recently. me lies tell me tell me lies that's really weird he is just saying that you don't want to be on social media and that shanny is forcing you no that that's that's not what accurate. you said that's I what you said rev something but my mental health right now is so bad that it's it's not a good idea for me to be in a chat room. And then why like did you do it? It's not. Then why did you do it? But but I but it's also that I am part. I'm supposed to be a provider, and if I can go on a live stream to take Shani's place because she feels bad, I should do that. That's not being a provider, but Rev. My, my mental health is so bad, and it's it's very unstable. Oh that's, my god, that's the issue. And Get a I fucking feel like job. I, I can't handle it all by myself. Get right. a fucking job. And I get that. You, we're both not well. Fuck you off. physically and me mentally. And you got your mental issues on top of it. Fuck off. <clears throat> you seen Christine live? Oh, she was a lovely woman, wasn't she? I love Fleetwood Mac so much, and it just kills me. I'm wondering how, um, I know she's not on social media, but I'm wondering how she's doing. Um, 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 oh, my God. No. We've seen her from Fleetwood Mac. Maybe, Stevie maybe Nicks. Not. Shut the that fuck up, Shani. That is issue, because I'll Stevie be in a Nicks. place, and I'll get an appointment, and then I'll, I'll, I'm not in the place or the area anymore, and I can't get to the appointment. It's ridiculous. Bullshit. The last time I had an actual appointment was months ago. Telemedicine, Rev. Do it over the fucking phone. You're full yeah, of shit. Yeah, I have agoraphobia too. But, but same. But but that's not. I I think my agoraphobia is worse than yours. Though. Someone that's in the chat, the, tell them well, telemedicine. I go out and do everything. So obviously. Someone tell them that, please. But. The la the last time I was at an appointment was like probably five or six months ago this and 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 it just goes by so fast but it's it the, the i i didn't have an actual therapist that's my problem no the therapist no. i had was in the jail when i was in jail i i got a, a psychiatrist and i couldn't make an appointment with him until i paid 50 dollars because i missed an appointment with them one time because you know what I know what I'm going to do. Mighty. How about this? She just interrupts him. When I get paid from Twitch in two weeks, I'll give you $50 so you can pay that and go to him. Fine. That's great. Won't happen. Be a huge help. Will that help? That won't will help. happen. Will yeah. not happen. But everything else has to go to the bills. Of course. Yeah. Yeah. You I mean know. drugs? Yeah. You mean go to the mm -hmm. drugs, right? God, they're so full of shit. Yeah, yeah get a job because they did you. drugs. 
And then, get drugs. and then you finally get to an appointment and, 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 and it's a person that just does meds. It's not a therapist. So why the hell are you there? Well, I, I, you could get your meds, sure, which is good. You get your meds. But they don't do anything else. The Bullshit. only thing they handle is meds. That was the last appointment I had. It was It was just a med appointment. I thought it was a therapist and it wasn't. Excuses, excuses, excuses. I'm wondering if you can it's get it from a regular doctor. Like he could prescribe it to you. Because he prescribed me mental meds. Well, they're not fully mental. Well, no. the Zimbalt is mental, but it was for my fibro, so. Exactly. No. That's why he had me go to Scranton Counseling. Mm -hmm. That you have to go through that. He can't do that shit. You get the meds from a primary care, and you do the therapy over the phone. It's not so we'll that fucking that, we'll complicated. Get that taken care of in two weeks. Just how about tomorrow? You call for the appointment, mm -hmm. and next time you're in the appointment, you can pay the fifty dollars and get your. Oh no, they won't even talk to me until I pay them fifty. Okay, then we'll do that in two weeks, and yeah. then you could go there, Hi, pay it off, yeah, and set up an appointment then. Exactly. They're so full okay, of shit, dude. Perfect. Yeah. I can call them. It's fine. Like, mm -hmm. I can't. It angers me when they... Because they're lying. Yes, my mental doctor gives me all my meds, even gabapentin. Oh, lucky. I want gabapentin so bad. I think it will help me. Help you with what, Shani? Regular doctor, not mental doctor. So your regular doctor does help you with all your meds. So you need gabapentin for cancer? Because I, I thought you had cancer you and you're doctor. dying. Yeah. We got to make an appointment to that place anyway. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I'll call. I, I can just do it on the phone. Yeah. <clears throat> I really hate liars. Like, I really hate liars. We're going to be okay. We're going to be okay. Do you notice how their whole mood has Enjoy. changed since they got the money? Because Rev went out and got drugs. I take care of my husband because I love him. He came back, they're doing drugs, and now they're fine. Now they're happy-go-lucky. But it does wear on you. It's obvious. I'm not saying that to be mean. I'm saying that because I'm legitly burnt out in life. Uh, Jesus Christ, honey. And I know you are, too. I mean, I, I go out every day and get shit. And if, I, if the car's not running, I walk, dude. Like, I know. Like, I'm so? My fucking... But see, with doctor's appointments, you can get a taxi through Medicaid. Fine, whatever. He doesn't... See, fine, whatever. He doesn't... This is not what the real problem is. I got your back. Burnt out. Yeah. Burnt out? He's yeah. burnt out from walking Extremely to the store. He's burnt out and depressed on top of it. Oh, that... Yeah, that helps, too, doesn't it? The depression. Dude, my husband works 12, 13-hour days, six days a week to provide yeah, for his family. son says we need an advocate. And Rev's burnt <laughs> out. We do. The fuck out of here. I wish they had mental health the advocates wrong with these where people? they could come in to people who are troubled with their mental health and physical health and and help rearrange their lives so they can have somewhat of a better lifestyle. Well, they do. They're supposed to. Exactly. That's if they have at, Medicaid, at, they don't at, pay for shit. There's a so why, are they, why do they need to come up with 50 counseling. bucks? It's a crisis area mm -hmm. that's specifically for that. Okay. So it's like that. It's there. We just gotta fucking get there. I hear it too, Trina. Okay. I hear we'll it too. There. You're not lying, cause I hear it too. But with the car, yeah, it's very tough. Maybe we could call the crisis center, and maybe they could get us a a. Uh, What the fuck was I going to say? She's high. They're high. Fuck. I can't even think. They can't even keep track of their thoughts. Yeah, they could give us a taxi to get there. I'm going to go That's to that next, Sabella. Mm -hmm. I'm going to play it in just a second. Probably. I'm thinking they might. I'm going to play that next, Sabella. So we'll we'll get to that. <clears throat> they should have psychiatrists who make home visits. I think so, too. I think doctors should start making home visits again. Oh, he G-Man apologized Volunteer to me? Volunteer transportation. 
Oh, G Man, that's the nice of you. Gave you some papers. Do y'all want to go and listen to what well, G Man's saying? Grant and counseling and stuff. No. He I, he was giving me the talk away from you, if you know what I mean. Oh my god! If you're in trouble, call it. It, it woman's crisis centers for for abused spouses. Wow! I was getting that talk. Wow. Oh, I'm so sick of people giving that talk to you when I'm just like... They were talking to Rev about being abused well, this when was the cops came. Was just taken that was online the, and because and, you got up quick and that that's what it was. Yeah. They said that, the cops said, they said it got physical. No, it didn't. I said immediately, no, not true. <laughs> not I'm true going to that right after this, Tam Tam. My wife was getting up at the same time. To go to the bathroom. That's all they have. <laughs> all Jesus. this mental health talk and I'm cleaning all my guns. Jesus. <laughs> 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 What's Fucking funny about man. that? It's not funny. <laughs> what is that? That's not funny at all. That's Keep fucking sick. Ice. Keep your stick on the ice. Correct. <laughs> they think it's funny that somebody is talking about no, cleaning funny. their guns. <laughs> <laughs> hell target. I'm cleaning my guns. I'm cleaning my ears. Okay. You got any some orange shit coming out of your ears, buddy? Bro. <laughs> What's funny oh. about cleaning a gun? Oh, you... That's fucking sick. Okay, do you get somewhat of a sense of joy when you clean your ears out and like a significant amount of your wax comes out and it's like really gross? No. You don't get that. Okay, I, that no, must I, be me. I don't think so. It's like a pimple. I love pimple popping. Yeah, I've lost a family member to suicide. <laughs> I don't think it's a funny joke. <laughs> no, wouldn't you? Well, do you enjoy pimple popping videos? <laughs> <laughs> do they know Come that on, they don't have the screen back on even? There are some BPDs even? in my chat. Are they just doing I damn that well know you like to pick. Drugs no, I'm with, we <laughs> so we can't I'm see it. I'm definitely with Stella on this. <laughs> Stella. I'm definitely with Stella. <laughs> they are cleaning their guns. I'm putting a skeleton together. <laughs> <laughs> what a unique audience. Yep, I'm a picker. I'm see, sorry, see, Sabella. See. <laughs> my uncle is who I was talking about. I know my borderlines. Mm -hmm. I've noticed this with Amberlynn Reed. Her I'm arms. I'm sorry, she's Lisa. A picker. Yeah, definitely. She's got red marks. Like yep, all. she's a picker. And black marks on her. Yep. Eargasms are I amazing. love you guys that are in the chat. I <laughs> see Chris gets it. <laughs> see, a lot of us have lost people yeah. that way. That's why it's Your not funny. Your daughter's going to come down for Christmas. Yay! That's great. Yeah, you're not going to have your kids it's at an Christmas, anxiety are you, trait. Yep. Yeah. You notice yep. she didn't even think about her kids when I've she been just known said to that. Pick. I do think ALR is borderline. She might be. She was through foster care her whole life. She has a very sad story, and I don't get why people would fucking hate on her so much, because she's just such a nice person. Like, in my opinion, I oh, like her. Oh, that's awful, Poetic Justice. I'm glad she's still mm -hmm. here, though. Yeah, I like Amber. She's sweet. <clears throat> and she's gorgeous. Me too, Trina. Yeah, she's very pretty. I, I, I like Becky, too, though. I like Becky oh, I'm too. sorry, Mine Wildflower. Becky. God, there's a lot of people who have lost people to suicide. I deny in the here. fact I watch that stuff more than once every few months. <laughs> good for you, Charlie girl. That's good, though, that you realized that and did that. I went to a Japanese spa where I laid my head on a beautiful woman's lap, and she cleaned my ears, softly spoke to me in Japanese. I've never been more relaxed in my life. Oh, my gosh. Thank you, C.G. Jameson. Why don't we put hearts in the chat for all the people who have she lost is, loved ones to suicide? She is or bipolar. The med she was on that you can get the rash I'm from. That's that. what. That's for what I was on. It. I got. I got a rash from my on my forehead because of the Cymbalta. Ever since I started taking it, I knew it was going to happen. I've been watching ALR for years too, watching her grow and and becoming who the woman she is today. That's awesome. Love you guys. You know, I hope she does go through the stomach surgery, the weight loss surgery. I hope she does go through that. That's so awesome. Thank Can you, you guys. Can you imagine how absolutely gorgeous she's going to be when she loses all that weight? Mm -hmm. Oh my God. People are going to be like, 
Okay, I'm just saying this. Zimberlin's hot. <laughs> oh, poor some Don't idiot. Hate me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, you guys are awesome. <laughs> your teeth are hurting today. May Jesus Christ heal your teeth and make them feel better, Krista. I'm sorry, Ellen. That's awful. Yeah. Teeth pain is one of the worst of pains. It is. She'll never welcome, get a Rhonda. surgery. You don't know that. Glad you're here. You're welcome, Krista. Thank you, Six Up and Citrus. Yeah, aspirin. What what I like to do is I like to like break up the aspirin or get some BC powder and put it directly on my gums, and that helps. Yeah. Or or you could do Grandma's remedy and put some yeah. bourbon on that shit. Bourbon. <laughs> The good old I've done, I did that for my boys a couple of times when they were teething. What? Just take a little dab of whiskey and put it on their gums. It works, yeah. Yeah. What? It did I just it, hear it, that? It did help them. I think that's one of the only things. She yeah, just said she work. put bourbon yeah. on her kids Medicine. in her kids' yeah. mouth. BC powder and brandy. You, oh, you you'll you'll have oh, a good old time. Chris. My God. <laughs> BC powder and brandy. Dude, oh what the fuck is wrong with her? <laughs> oh my god. That's funny. Like people used to do that back in the day. You're a horrible mother. But you not put now. Brandy on your child's gums. Your parents had brandy on their gums by your grandparents. Why didn't you no, say they that to didn't. Your grandma? Yeah, we no, they didn't. No, they didn't. That I'll is throw up. Oh my god. She is a horrible horrible mother you can texture with the alcohol yep otherwise it's toxic pretty much and it feels horrible in your stomach mm. like we don't like alcohol in this household no it's bad we yeah don't. well you're drinking it what like a month or two ago so i don't know what you're I, talking not about beer like you no Ugh. someone should say that to her why in her chat once, then like, why was she drinking jim beam in a blue moon once in a, in a couple like every six months or whatever not even. Yeah, not even. Right? Six drops, that's what you do. Tequila, and I'm pops. sure all of you are probably the same. <laughs> Origel. Exactly, Lisa. Origel. Like, there's all kind. Like, they have these things now that are for babies that are like teething tablets. You do Thank not you, need man. to use booze. Like, yeah, I don't drink either. Uh, Drinking during New Year is fully acceptable. I like Corona. They make corona me with so lime, angry. Sir. You can't drink a Corona without lime. It's good shit. It's 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 Corona abuse if you don't do it with the lime. I think I could still probably enjoy though uh, a margarita on the rocks. God, I think I could still. How about a margarita. virgin margarita? He's an alcoholic, and he's saying that. Does she not Sounds get this? Tequila. It's not there. Yeah, that tequila taste. Well, it's triple sec too. It's like there, yeah, there's a few different things in there that you know how you can it. tell Porco. that he's an alcoholic because he's I talking about thinking he can drink again. I love that. Nope, stay stoned th though. <laughs> yeah, that's Would what alcoholics say Absolutely. and think. You go, oh, it's been a while. I could probably cider. have a drink and handle oh, it. I love no, cider. the fuck you can't. Yeah, a drink on special occasions, a glass of wine with a nice meal. Yeah. Oh my God. Wow. I don't like getting drunk. Wow. No. And she's supposedly a mental health advocate, guys. Ugh. Mm. We'll take the other half of the freaking edible, Krista. Mm. What does gabapentin exactly, do? Exactly, hippie rewrite. Well, it can help stabilize your mood and also help with pain. Oh, thank you, Wicked Witch. Thank you and so much for the addictive. super chat. You said, can Which you please good. donate this to a local mental health facility in your area? No. I'm I can scared. definitely try. <laughs> I don't see why I can't. I don't blame Thank her. you for doing that. I That's really that awesome. <laughs> <laughs> and I appreciate <laughs> that, Wicked Witch. Thank you so much those, for that super chat. I'll let you know if I'm able to find shit. something like that. <laughs> I'm pretty Whoa. sure I can. Oh. Vomiting black. That was, <laughs> no. That was too much, man. <laughs> oh, squid. That was my fault, though, because I ate too many. Of them. No, I think you were you were Send vomiting in prayers black for to a you. while. I know that's you were difficult. Detoxing. Yeah, well, there was the yeah. <clears throat> sounds and shit. <laughs> she saw sounds. 
<laughs> See, like they're over well, there. I think it's stone. First time I had it, it Hold tripped on. balls. I'm gonna turn them down for a second. <clears throat> you know, like meanwhile, Shani and Rev, they're over there joking about cleaning guns, about drinking alcohol and shit, and we're in here talking about mental health and sobriety and people that we've lost to suicide. I'm just That's glad that I have people like you in my life. You guys are awesome, and it really means a lot to me. And I'm glad that you're here. Turmeric, cinnamon, pepper, lemon juice could aid in inflammation. Oh, thank you for that, Azriel. Ginger, turmeric, cinnamon, pepper, lemon juice. Ooh, put that in a tea. That would be delicious. Mm -hmm. Yep, Sabella. Happy birthday to you. You can taste sounds, too. Yeah, that's right. Dude, there. Ted, I'd get stoned with you, bro. That would I be know, awesome. Freedom Keeper. Yeah. I know. <laughs> I completely agree. And it's then sick. we have fucking munchies and we fucking giggle the whole night. Yeah. <laughs> it's a good time. Oh, God. Yeah, honey. Oh, I love honey. Mm -hmm. No proxy. I've never have. Never. Ever. God. Seriously, thank you guys. I love each and every one of you. I, do I really do. The time that Chris's <clears throat> brother, y'all are making did my acid, night. and he called us up. He's like, "Dude, dudes, do you have any soda or anything?" Yeah, citrus. That's what I think. Do you have too. anything to drink? And we're like, "Yeah, we got some soda, bro." He's like, "Oh my god, can you meet me in the park?" I'm like, "Yes, Why are thank you in God, the park, Freedom Jake? Keeper." Uh, I'm tripping out. So we went to the truck. Easy. We went to the park, and there's Jake fucking, his eyes are bugged out, and, like, his pupils are, like, fucking black. Yeah. And he's like, dude, I've been in the park for, like, eight hours tripping my balls off. I took some fucking acid. <laughs> now they're talking <laughs> about really tripping, tripping on acid. Right now. Can I come over? Do you have any pot or anything that I can smoke so I can calm down? I'm like, no. <clears throat> Like, listen to the shit she's saying. She's wow. her kids don't even fucking. So he came over. Register he in her mind. He, he felt a little bit better. <laughs> yeah. Wow. And oh, then thank the you, asshole Wednesday. got me in trouble with the law because I kicked him out of the house because he was drug dealing in my house. Man. Thank you, C. Jameson. Thank everyone. I was pissed. You guys are awesome. Fucked up, man. I just yes. fucking. All I did was just push him out of the house just a little bit. Yeah, you don't put your hands on someone, Shani. You're going to jail, bitch! Ridiculous. Fuck you! It doesn't matter if you just barely push someone. You don't put your fucking asshole. hands on someone. Period. If you mm -hmm. spit on someone, that's assault. You don't have to, like... Actually push so someone down. So that was down. my first time in the fucking jail. In the jail. Because I kicked a drug dealer out of my house. I got in jail over the most fucking bullshit reasons. Each time. Mm -hmm. Yep. Bullshit my, my ass. My ex-brother-in-law. They do here in Australia after hours except the fact that Australia doesn't exist and I'm a paid actor. What? what? Australia doesn't exist and you're a paid actor? Is that some kind of fucking, like, internet thing Maybe. that's going on? Okay. I could see them being that dumb believing that stuff. Because they do believe that, like, all celebrities are trans. Mm -hmm. And then reptoids. What? What are they fucking Sounds talking good. about? Flat Earth, yeah, there, there's that stupid shit. <laughs> You know, no concave yeah, we're gonna go watch well, I what can, G -Man I, I know in just a second. I, by the amazing atheist crew for the hologram moon because I was just talking about the fucking theory. Do you know that? Good question, Nicole. Hi, really? Kicks. How are you doing, Kicks? Moon. Really? Yeah. Oh, we gotta look for you. Is anyone that's here in their chat that can ask why they don't have their screen on? Like, what's the point in that? 
No, what I'm saying is, in one of the alien documentaries that we watch, mm -hmm. they talked about the hologram moon theory. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Oh. Mm -hmm. It's a thing. My husband once tried to tell me dinosaurs didn't exist. He will never live She that blocked now. you, Sandra. <laughs> no, <laughs> You're blocked, didn't. Charlie girl. We're all blocked. They did. I think Audie is still they okay. They existed, but I do <clears throat> wonder what time did they exist? Prior to the flood. Well, obviously that. There they are. I think they were Nephilim. Like, uh, Look at I'm her face. Look at her eyes. To genetically freak. Freak genetically like, altered fucking beings. Exactly. Dude, be she looks beings. high in my opinion. Because there were giants in that day, you see. No. I think they got I think got they got yelled drugs. at by a flat earther for asking if Earth is flat. Why is my ass fat worth it? <laughs> yeah, they do look homeless too. Okay, I took a tiny nibble. I'm nervous now. You'll be okay. Oh Gabby. We'll talk you down, Krista. <laughs> I'm experienced in that shit. No, you're there, not. There's pictures of dinosaurs working with humans in farms. Talk to the creationists. They have photos. What I've noticed, Look at though, Rev. Look at his eyes. Is when you're in that mood and you feel like everything's falling on you when you're in a high like that, you need to talk to someone. Uh, just try to find someone to talk to and you'll feel better. Usually that helps. Good, it's just right? you're, you get two in your head. Sometimes, and you go down the wrong path. I told you the first time I had shit. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. You guys are making die. me hungry. I'm sorry, Eileen. I don't yeah. want anyone to be hungry. I know how the pain is. I haven't even eaten yet. No. Yeah, I wonder why you haven't <laughs> eaten yet. I'm sorry about that. I just saw them, and I'm like, I'm going to eat it. Chicken milk I is I thought you great. were starving, you Shani. Now, you just, now you're not even eating? What does that tell you guys? She's doing like she, she's doing drugs or something. Why the fuck wouldn't what she want to eat do, now? What are you gonna do, Greg? Milk the cat? <laughs> I got nipples, Greg. Can you milk me? <laughs> they were beg on here begging for money for I food, mean, and now she's not anyway. eating. Same. Explain that it's to called me. Dissociation. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we dissociate a lot in this household. There's just times where they, where one of us is just staring at the wall and not even blinking. That's the end of my mania for me. I start to. That's people saw that on the stream. Yeah. I just I dissociate completely. That's she must have forgot it, that she's my, dying. My, I can't do it anymore. Because she my sure doesn't look like she's in any kind of pain. So it just stares. It just goes into a stare. Yeah, men can lactate in high stressed times. So they can take care of an infant. If they can take over for their wife, like if what like back in the like the no, Oregon Trail can't. days. No, oh, they God. can't. What is she talking about? They remade that. Do you know they remade Oregon Trails and they're selling that motherfucking game for thirty fucking dollars? Oregon Trail for thirty fucking dollars. That's nuts. I would understand Oregon. five or ten even, but. Th 30 for Oregon Men Trail? We all played it when we were kids. Anyway, where was I? Oh, yeah. What? Back in that time, the men would lose their wife, and the men would have to take over for breastfeeding. Though right. I couldn't imagine being a baby having to suck on your daddy's hairy fucking chest. That's weird. Cough up the fucking hair. <coughs> Get a fucking hairball once in a while and shit like that. Yeah. I have to have a dissociation period and end the day, or I'm just irritable to function. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm hoping the nibble will knock out the pain, but not make me hear colors again. Oh, that's awful. N newborns can lactate. Didn't know that. Well, the worst game ever. Well, after the ET game. Correct. Hi, Chrissa. Hi, Chrissa. You'll be fine as long as you don't get, you don't piss the pancakes off. <laughs> pancakes. 
Pancakes. Someone ask her if she's still dying from cancer. Because <laughs> she looks like she's fine to me. Good breakfast. Oh my god. I wonder how that would be like. I've never seen colors like or hear colors or taste colors or anything like that, but I would love me either. Yeah. I, I would love to experience that shit. That would be an interesting experience to have. I would think I was having a stroke, you know? I would just go with it. They say that if you, like, I don't know, there's like the taste of burning hair or something. If you get that, it means you're having a stroke. Like, Really? Yeah. Huh. Mm -hmm. Never had that experience. I have woke up. Coughing on one of the cat's hairs before. Ew. Especially when they shed. That's what I thought, Chase. That's why I freaked out. Oh my god, Krista. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, open panel stream? Huh. That would be interesting. You can use an undercover name. Dun, 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 dun. Chevy. And Clark Sh Riswold. No, Shani and Rev. Oh. Chevy. Chevy, okay. That's our, that's our couple name, Chevy. I like that. That's kind of neat. What? How does that make any sense? <laughs> Chevy. Shani, for Christ's sake. Oh, my baby! At will? Yeah. Cool. It's all love. You know? Wow. Her son is messaging Caroline her. Caroline needs help with a name for her cat skeleton. Ted, you drive a Chevy? Nice. Whisper. Cat skeleton. Whisper. That's a, that's a great name. Whisper. What do you think? Whisper? Yeah. Whisper. No, you don't have to give me any truck, Ted. Bones. I like that. All right. Bones is amazing. Do you guys want to go watch what yeah, G-Man had cool. to say and come back to this? Eugenia, that's awful. After Dr. Who made McCoy. that joke, Roxy? No, that's fine. That's accurate. Like, I, I, I feel horrible for her. She's Christian, and I, I think she's very nice, but she needs help. She's a sweet, sweet person, and she's sick. I'm a doctor, not a god, Jim. <laughs> I love bones. Oh, get, Zachary's giggling right now watching YouTube. Cool. He says he's been significantly better with my work in quarter two. Oh, I'm so proud of you. Why are you talking about your kid online in Dead front of Jim. everyone? Like, she's fucking disgusting. Wait Give your kids some fucking privacy. She can't even be bothered like to get off right to, like, and actually dead, yeah. talk to her kid and write him something Sorry. Back. Distracted with son, but I, I'm sure you understand. Of course. God bless them. God bless their heart. Uh, I know what. I know what. In um, the morning. You Duncan. get your Duncan. Oh, thank Jesus Christ. That made me really happy. You get your Duncan. That would be amazing. Since so she said, buy something for Rev, I, I think the Duncan would probably be the best thing for you. Okay. Somebody sent I them more money. Fantasy, sorry, no. Somebody and, just and sent them more money. Magic the Gathering set is Rise of Eldrazi. Oh my God. My favorite deck of all time is my Eldrazi. Do either of you read fantasy? I have. All right. I love Terry Goodkind. He's the shit. Let's go see what G-Man had to say. Fuck them. I'm sick of listening to him. In that mess. I absolutely loathe that. Floxy, Dunkin' Donuts.
Because, you know, when they got money, that's the smart way to spend it, to go buy shit at Dunkin' Donuts. If this man doesn't want to be on social media, stop coercing him, conning him, using him, manipulating him to be on social media. Stop it, Shani. If you want to be social media famous, then do it by yourself. Do it by yourself. If you want to be a beggar on the street, do it by yourself. You want to be pathetic, lousy, and lazy? Do it by yourself. Not everybody wants to get on here and talk about this stuff. Not everybody wants to come on here and talk to people. Yes, he did. He looked very broken. I think he's getting sick and he's getting tired of her. And he's starting to understand, I think, a little bit that he can do better. He has no idea how much better he could be doing. He's going he's gonna to feel kind of silly when he finally walks away and he sees all the support he's going to get. I'm telling you, he, he's, he's not going to be able to, to deal with all the, the support he's going to get. But, um, Shani, you're, you are a, you are a monster. You are. She really is. You, you're one of them people that I want to see go to Jerry Springer and have them throw tomatoes at you. Like, honestly, <laughs> you're, you're, you're that, you're that despicable. She you're deserves honestly that worse. despicable. If this man doesn't. G-Man. She deserves a lot worse than tomatoes being thrown at her. Let's be real. Listen, if I was a non-believer, I'd be using different words, and I would be des uh, describing a lot of this differently, but I can't. But it is absolutely driving me crazy watching her just destroy this man. It's just, just disgusting. And like I said, all I'm doing right now is showing empathy towards Jason right now. That's all I'm doing right now. I have strong opinions about him as well and about some of his decision making regarding her. They're not even supposed to be doing that stuff over there, from what I understand. So a lot of you don't got to wait for another eviction saga. That's going to be happening sooner than later if the uncle ever gets wind of what they're doing in that house. And I don't think she any gets it. I don't she think doesn't. she gets it. Winter starts, I believe, on the 20th. Exactly, Farmer in the Cell. I might. I might call the uncle and tell him about what's going on on Twitch. But tell the uncle to leave him alone and, and, and let um let him see that um that, that Shani's making him do it. But Shani, your mother... I'm sorry. I'm on your mother's side 100%. Yep. You convinced me when you were living in the house that, that your mother was a monster and all this other stuff and whatnot. But now I see what, she, I see what she was talking about. Mm -hmm. I see what your mother was talking about. Yep. You ain't nothing but a user and an abuser. Yep. That's all you are. And when you're, a sorry, you're a sorry sack of trash. That <laughs> and what's ironic is that we were just watching... Earlier, if for those of you that were here earlier, we were watching um, Shani's mom's video um, where she talks about Shani and Rev and the situation. So, kind of ironic. Really, really, really needs to be taken care of. And I ain't talking about uh, 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 helping you get a roof over your head or nothing like that. Somebody needs to go upside your head, like honestly. Because what you're doing is deplorable. It is immoral. It is immoral. First, you made the man shave his head for flirting, which you do almost every time you go live. Oh, good point. Shave man. your head. Good point. Talking about all this weight you losing. You're losing no weight. And you ain't got no cancer. And you've been dying for the last six years, you liar. Mm-hmm. Anyway, yep. I know some other people got live streams. I don't want to take from their streams. But um, I'm, I'm just saying that... um. That 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 was disgusting. It was absolutely disgusting. And 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 how did how can you sit there, Shani, and be so puffed up and proud? And 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 Rev, how can you sit there and allow this woman to talk to you that way when, for the better part of three years, you was taking care of them with your with 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 you was taking care of them with what your mother left you or whatever. And now you guys are all looking forward for the EBT card. Do you not see the judgment hand of God on your life? 
Yep. That the Lord Jesus Christ is against you. He is not with you. And if you repent, he will bless you. But you got to get away from that devil. G-Man's heated. It's I your life, dude. It, you can do whatever you want. I but if you it. want real peace, dude, you got to come to know the Prince of Peace. And you and 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 you really got to get away from, oh, God, you, you got to get away from Shannon. All she cares about is you too, fame, dude. She yep. don't care about you. And if she does care about you, it's only temporal until the next guy comes along. The fact that she can sit there and talk about alcohol and that shit she was just doing, that tells me all I need to know as far as how much she cares about Rev. Not to mention, she's definitely forced him to go on there and say that bullshit that he was saying earlier. Like, he told the truth for, like, two seconds, and he always does that. Like, when he's angry, he lets the truth come out a little bit. And the truth was, he didn't want to be on there. She made him get on there. And then she berated him in front of everybody. Oh, you don't work. Talking down to him. And then once everything's blown by and she's gotten what she wants, then everything's fine. And she's sitting there talking about fucking alcohol and shit to someone who's a fucking alcoholic that she's supposed to love and care for. She, if she really cared about him, she wouldn't do that. She would see that that's like not worth the risk. Oh. It's so and Jason, I'm saying this because I care. Please do not go on your YouTube channel, G Man. I don't want to hear it. You know, you betrayed me. I would have never did what I did if you, I'm sorry, if your dumb behind woman didn't get on YouTube. G Man gave me a death sentence and had all those plots. Hi, Nathaniel. We're doing okay. It's been a long evening. To try to have me give her back the, to try to give you the house back under pity. The little plot that you guys had, the fraud that you guys had planned. So cut the baloney. You're hungry right now because of your woman. Because if I was in the picture, you wouldn't be hungry right now. You're getting what you deserve. And I'm telling you, dude, get away from her. And then the mm -hmm. blessings are going to come and you ain't going to know what to do with them. But you're never going to see it until you take a step out on faith. You know it and I know it. That woman is not good for you. I agree, Scott. And like the rest of these people in this community. And listen, I want to publicly apologize to Dragnut. I want to apologize to Miss Parker. I want to apologize to Burnt Toast. I want to apologize to 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 the Geek Room. I want to apologize to Sabella. I want to apologize to um to Carrie. I want to apologize to 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 XX Archive XX. I want to apologize to um to uh I want to name him by name. I want to apologize to Draven's Crypt. I want to apologize to BGTV and anybody. I want to apologize to Indigo. I want to apologize to the Gentleman Pioneer. I want to apologize to Lubus. I want to apologize to Todd. I want to apologize to everybody I went after that was exposing this disgusting Neanderthal. And I sat there and I defended her. Mm -hmm. I apologize to that. I mean, I, I apologize. I appreciate that. <clears throat> I really do, G-Man. I appreciate that. And I feel the same way. Like, I, I, there were times, it wasn't for a very long period of time, but that I did kind of, you know, have sympathy for her, give her the benefit of the doubt, whatever. Like, she she's good at, it, it, I mean, well, I don't know if I want to say she's good at it, but she, she is good at manipulating people. You know what I mean? And um, once you see, though, you know exactly who she is it's like oh my god then you realize that you've been played you know what i mean but i definitely uh, uh, appreciate him taking the time to apologize and um admit that he was wrong you know what i mean for defending them but yeah oh yeah david i think that he knew things definitely i mean he he was not um that blind, but i think that like when it's you know, when you have loyalty to someone or whatever, it's you'll you'll you believe things. Sometimes you're more willing to be believe and look past things. Do you know what I'm saying? 
<clears throat> that doesn't excuse ever, any of the behavior or whatever, but at least he sees it now and at least he's apologizing. You know what I mean? That's a step in the right direction. To the people <clears throat> that I was attacking regarding that, because this woman is everything that you guys said she was. Rev, get away from her, man. She's destroying you. And I don't want to end up hearing about you dying, dude, behind this. And believe me, if it happens, Shani, the same thing I told these other people, I'm telling you, I will testify in court against you. And I'm not playing. Nothing better oh. happen to that dude. G-Man, you know what? You know what G-Man actually can do? And, you know, be listened to and actually has a pretty big role in? And that's when it comes to, to those boys. And being a voice for them. Because he was there and he saw everything that went down and he saw the that how how they were as parents and shit. And if they ever try to go and get those kids, but which I don't even think they're going to, so it's probably not even a, a, anything to worry about because I don't even think they want to get the kids back. But do you know what I mean? Like he could be a voice for them, for those boys, because he was really closer to them than. A lot. I mean, for that, especially for this past year, he was eyes and ears for what was going on in that home. And um, I think that that's why Department of Children and Families was going to let them stay if he was going to be there during the day. Like they obviously trusted him more than they trust Shani and Rev. These other people, I'm telling you, I will testify in court against you, and I'm not playing. Nothing better happened to that dude. Well, is that it? Well, I guess that's it. Yeah, I mean, I get what you guys, a lot of you guys are saying as far as uh, him switching, you know, now and, and being, you know, saying what he's saying and stuff like that. <clears throat> All I would say is I do think that he is at least seeing some of the stuff that he did as wrong. He's is apologizing. And I think only time will tell where that's going to go from here <clears throat> and whether or not he truly means what he's saying or whatever. I'm willing to give him a chance. Uh, Cause I think that, like he at least is apologizing and shit. Shani will never apologize for anything. Um, so, you know, like I said, only time will tell, but I do hope that um, all of this has taught him a lesson, too, and that moving forward, he can see how, um, not not even just in regards to Shani and Rev, but his own actions and the thing, like, hopefully he can see now how wrong, destructive, um, and in some ways abusive, like, the things that he's said, like, specifically, I know, like, Burt Toast and miss parker threatening you know violence and different things like that was definitely over the line um so i hope that that's that kind of behavior that he will cut that out completely and and does not do that again in the future but <clears throat> all right do you guys let's go back and see what these two idiots are saying now that we heard what g-man had to say And I don't know. By the way, I kept the screen open. I wasn't listening, but I've been watching. She still hasn't ate anything. She still hasn't ate whatever food they got. Now, you're telling me that you are on, you know, making Rev get on here to beg for money for food, quote unquote food, because you're starving. And yet she still hasn't eaten anything. That doesn't seem like she was starving to me. That and, and she magically feel, she feels better, is all happy-go-lucky. Well, it's not because she finally ate. So what did what made things change? I mean, to me, all their behavior screams addiction and abusing drugs. We were friends, me and my dad. I miss him terribly. And I, I it's, it's, I miss my mom terribly too at the same time. Mm -hmm. BPD is not genetic. It's brought on by massive trauma. Wait, yeah. what? 
She said that but Zach has the BPD. The genetics make you more prone. Oh my to get god! It. Did she, That's Green what Giant? It is she said that. Wow, wow, dude, that is my so fucked up. My grandpa, though, his Vietnam flashbacks were brutal. Oh, exactly, Alyssa. Exactly. Sorry we for can. all the bad parents out there. Ta you yeah. know, it takes one to know one kind of thing, Sucks. and. uh I definitely see that. Flashbacks are horrible, Ted. Hi, Penny. I get them. I was having flashbacks actually early this morning. Yeah, I can pull that up, some idiot. You know, I try not I'll do to it right now. anyone with them when it happens. But they were pretty strong flashbacks. She gets jealous of you for hugging your own father? Yeah, you should forgive her. You should forgive her because, see, she doesn't. She doesn't understand. She's sick herself. You know, that should give you like mercy, I guess. Knowing that your parents are sick, too. Mm. Oh please! You know, because they don't get it. Like my mom never apologized to me. I never was hugged by her. Um, I can't remember any time in my life I was actually embraced by my mom. Bitch, it's on video! I'm gonna pull that up, too. Where her mom hugs her. She's no such a liar. Of her embracing me or hugging me. Oh, well, guess what, Shani? None. It's on camera, dumbass. Yeah. And I'm pulling it up right now. But I forgive her for it, because she, she... God, she's a fucking liar, dude. She had... She... Her dad, my grandpa, was an alcoholic. I didn't know him when he was drinking. I knew him afterwards, and he just seemed like a sweet man to me. But with her, he used to beat the crap out of her. And, um... What video do you have of her hugging me? I have it right here. I'm pulling it up to show everybody. I'd like to see it. Okay, well, tell her to come over to my channel. And she can see it right fucking now. Yep. You want to see it, guys? Let me pull it up. Let me pull the screen up. Hold on. She hugged you around your neck? Did she? I don't remember it. Here, I'm going to show That's you guys real I quick. Say I have no memory of it. She's lying. She's a fucking liar, dude. All right, here you go, guys. Hey, Watch. <laughs> Because he won't even let me. I'm so alone. Here comes her mom. Hi, Mama. I didn't mean to worry you. I didn't want oh, to look. worry you. The days are going to get better. Oh, look. Her mom is hugging and kissing her. Okay. And right <laughs> now. It's going to get better. I don't know anymore if it is, Mom. It's going to get better. <laughs> It'll get better. <laughs> Why don't you come in? Because I'm smoking. Why? Smoking stinks. It does. <laughs> it's going to get better. But it's something. I know. I know. I need a vacation, I think. Oh, don't we all? <laughs> don't we all? We're going to the Blueberry Festival next weekend. We'll bring the kids, okay? I'm so alone, you beat Mom. I'm so alone. No, you're not. You got all of us. You got lots of really beautiful friends online. Oh, my heart is so broken. I know, honey. You... Alcohol's a depressant. <laughs> that doesn't help much. No. Okay? No. Why don't you come in? Just give me a moment. I need to just get this all out of my system. Okay. I love you. I love you. And kisses her. You, Look at that. Love you too. She, she hugged her, kissed her, stroked her hair, told her she loved her. So, Shani. Yeah, I don't like who I am when I drink either. Sounds That's like you're caught in another lie to me. Like, last time I drunk, I threw up on camera. That was horrible. And then everyone's like, you had your child 
clean up the puke. No. no. I had him take out the garbage. Shani, why don't you stop lying? Like, dude, everything that comes out of your mouth is a fucking lie. Your mom seems to treat you a lot better than you treat your own kids. So, who's the shitty parent there? Because I don't, I don't recall your mom losing custody of you. I don't recall. <laughs> I don't Kanye recall West your dad or your mom kicking you in the head. Oh. Like your man, boyfriend kicked your man, kid in the head. Parlor not even fucking with your ass. <laughs> you really are a white supremacist. No, you've been canceled. And and was he proven right by all this stuff? All right, Mama T. Hmm. Bye, Nathaniel. My wife loves when I drink. I get extra lovey and give her massages and stuff. Jason does the opposite. He gets mean as fuck. I know, David. That's what she stole all the stories you from you. Oh, yeah. I told you that was going to happen when you switched to moonshine. Yes, you did. Whoa. The apple moonshine. Apple and pie, I'll show you guys something else, too. Ugh. Because she also likes to lie and say she never wished for her parents to die. I'm not going to make you listen to the whole song, but just listen to what she had to say about her parents right here. Does know we're way too fast. Dedicate this to my fucked up parents who fucked me up in the head. Fuck you. Hope you die of COVID, motherfuckers. <gasps> hmm. Hope you die of COVID, motherfuckers. What do you know? What do you know? That's what it's good for. Like, desperado. Yeah. She's, like, cleaning out the bullet holes in him, and she's, uh, like, pouring the fucking liquor. Yeah, I remember that. Ooh, we should watch that movie again. It's a good movie. I knew it. I said, get a trash can, but you didn't believe me. <laughs> no. No more drinking for me. Gross. Laugh out loud. I'm a fight, fuck, or sleep drunk. No middle ground. <laughs> there you go. I, I'm a goofy drunk, and then I throw up, and then I'm a sick drunk. And then the migraine happens in the morning with a hangover. I hate hangovers. They're like the worst thing in the world. You get DoorDash uh, breakfast food for the hangover. Ugh. Coffee and, and bacon and shit. Ugh. Pancakes. Let me see. Did you put the link down of my mom? Tell her to I come over here. It. Tell her to come over here and I'll show her the fucking video right now. I do. I would love to watch my mom hug me. I don't remember that. It'd be a nice memory to have. Yeah. At least I could see that she did love me. In some way. Hangovers are horrible. Ugh. You have a lot of the same mannerisms as your mom. You think that she's watching it now? On mute or it something? It sucks we never made up. Yeah, you like, wish death on her. Here we go. She's going to cry like I tried, she's the victim. Though, so many times. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. You wished her death. We just saw it. I know we look a lot alike. <laughs> and William looks a lot like me, so... You do look like your dad. I miss that man so much. I miss his food. She she wishes she wishes her dad death, death that too in that. Mom, like it's not like, just her mom. She had her good points too. Like it wasn't all bad. God. 
God, she makes me sick. Sorry. She really makes me sick. Mourning your parents fucking sucks. Yeah, her dad is dead too. They yeah, both know, passed. It's, just, it's normal to go through this and to miss them. Like, I still dream about them every night. Like, every night, I'm dreaming about my parents. Oh my god. She's so full of shit. Right? You Some know, idiot? Me too. You know, I do eat my dad's food, but in my dreams. <sighs> yes, they sound the same too. Aww. Okay, thank you, Coctopus. Coctopus you Prime, what are you doing? Are you watching Coctopus Prime? Where are you at, homie? Let's see. Mm. Oh, Penny. <laughs> oh, that one. No comment. I'll talk to you about that later or something in private. I'm not going to say it here, but... Is it like at the end? Doesn't surprise me. I don't see her in this one. I'm trying to go through it. I can tell you exactly when it is, Shani. You want a timestamp? David, thank you so much for the super chat. David said, Shani even accused me recently on her Twitch saying that I was the one who stole her I stories. I have family that knows everything I say is true. Oh, she's a liar, that, David. That will be a hard video to she's watch. She's a liar. Dudes. So, thank you for the super chat, but yeah, she's a liar. <laughs> and everybody knows it, so don't worry about it. We know the truth. Your family knows, and we know, too. Thank you for that, by the way. <sighs> She's fucking disgusting. Thank you. I want to remember that. And she's who who said that? Was that Audie? Did you send that to her, Audie? Are you still here? Cause I'm assuming it was somebody that was in my chat. Oh, really, Sabella? Yeah, I would be interested in hearing what uh to and become self-aware. What the siblings fuck? Why think? did you have to add, why did you have to put the self-aware shit on that? Because they're trying to hold you Obviously, accountable. Obviously, I'm self-aware. Mm. I talk about my feelings all the fucking time. You're not self-aware. You're not self-aware. You lie. There's a difference. Just because you talk about yourself doesn't mean you're self-aware. No, it's not hard because I become self-aware. It would be hard because those are feelings that will trigger feelings for me. And I'll feel it all over again. Right, Citrus? Not easy. Aw. It's just hard yeah but i definitely want to see my mom hug me oh my god why does she keep saying that because i really tell want her to, to come to my fucking channel and i'll play it for her right It'll fucking give me something you know? now but she's full of shit i don't believe she knows about that video she's seen it she's It'll playing dumb she knows that it exists. Are you kidding me? She's seen people play that before. She watches all the crap that people put out about her. 
So I really highly doubt she hasn't seen that already. She's just trying to play dumb for everybody else. I didn't say she didn't hug me. I said I have no memory of it. There is Same a big thing. difference there. No, the fuck there's not. No, there's not, Shani. And you have big, selective big memory. You remember what you want. You remember what furthers your your narrative that you're trying to push. That's the self-aware bit, I think. She loved you in her own way, and that is some, something some of us don't get. Yeah, that's what Jason always tells me, is she loved you in her own way. Because his mom was, his mom's relationship with her mother was very similar to my mother relationship with me Not right well. undead ramen that's what i mean yeah once again it's selective memory now she's it remembering what she said wrong <laughs> i'm just wondering if it was like her her mental illness that caused her to do that or mm -hmm. the cancer or the heart problems or like my future miss beard like Ill. yeah what caused you to do the shit you've done to your kids, Shani? Oh, yeah, I know, Audie. Just space if you if she you want you to. Out, I'm not well, telling you to do it, it, but you can, like, space the letters out. And I wish I did. But you don't have to do that. <clears throat> I really don't care, because I think she knows exactly... Your mom told your dad to be about quiet. ...about that video like already. She's just lying. Mm -hmm. Took care of you. Yeah. There was that. She won't do it anyway, though. Even if you put it in there, I guarantee you she'll, she won't come to my channel. I didn't appreciate <clears throat> her. No, that's not even close She's to the truth. She's a coward. Big time. I felt rejected by her. That's totally different. Yeah, she doesn't remember, you know, her mom hugging her. I bet she's going to say she doesn't remember wishing her parents to die, too. That'll that'll magically not be in her yeah, memory, I either. Yeah, I can. It's disgusting. I felt rejected by her. That's awesome, Sabella. Didn't mean I didn't appreciate anything from her. I did. Too bad Shani couldn't be like that and appreciate why I her a, as a mother. And I cook. I cook. Yeah, you can't, Ellen. She has my name blocked on there like from people being able to say it. And <laughs> I have an appreciation for herbs. Hilarious. And, and plants like she taught me. I value my mom and appreciate Oh, my yeah, mom Alyssa. And my people don't want to give her sick. any money, any views. They're like, fuck that. By keeping the actions that she did alive. She she actually, I, I will appreciate her for this. She taught me charity. There was this um, homeless prostitute that was on the streets of uh, Raleigh. And she bought groceries and took me. I know, her. Mama T. To give this woman... Me neither. A whole thing of food for her. Yeah, she values her mom so much while she bashes her constantly. And, um... She was the one who taught me charity was my mom. Of all people, huh? Hi, Shaza. How are you doing tonight, Shaza? Are you doing okay? Hi, CW. I feel you, Coctopus. It does. It's like a part of you dies when your parent dies. Like, when my dad died, I could not stop screaming. Yeah, we know. You videoed it for the world to yeah, see. Yeah, it is a good thing, Stella. Have any? Have you guys seen her? Um, yeah, I'll do a cooking stream soon. I think I'll just make some ricotta pasta and show them how to do it. 
Mm-hmm. And oh tell them God. it's like the greatest tasting thing you'll ever put in your mouth. Because it is. I'll tell you right it's now, she won't too. do that. Have all of you guys seen her video when her dad died that she posted mm. screaming like oh. a freaking maniac? Baby. Th- those sweet, delicious. I know, citrus. Sausages. It's ridiculous. Oh. <laughs> and the mushrooms. The garlic. Oh. You didn't see it, Jalen. Ellen, you haven't I seen it either. Kitten. All right, I'll pull it up so that we can watch it because well, it's it's guys. not very long, but it's boy, is it fucking ridiculous. Oh, God bless you, Stella. Let's see. Yeah, you have time with your dad. Just love the fuck out of him. You know? <clears throat> That's all you can do. I'll be here for you, though, Stella, when when he does cross over. Oh, my God. Please. We could, like, start, like, a morning, a morning, like, group like <laughs> for people who are mourning their parents and mourning people <laughs> yay for cooking streams i know right i don't have a lot of utensils i'll say that or cooking things like a couple pots and <laughs> And by the way, you guys, agree, she still has an A. 16, I sure do miss him. Bless your dad. Yeah, you'll always miss your parents. I mean, <laughs> I explain that to me. She was starving to death. That's why they had to beg for, for money for food. The bitch has been sitting here this whole time, still hasn't eaten. Still hasn't eaten a thing. They have meetings for those in grief. My mom goes twice every week. That would probably be good for both of us. Yeah. We should look into that. Grieving yeah, grieving group therapy. Yeah. Yeah, it has yeah. been a long stream. I would too. Eli. Like, do you ever really fully feel I agree, for Scott. Me? I'm sorry, Azriel. Make an Amazon wish list, okay? Oh Jesus! My email's broke. That's why. I'll I'll go make one in my. You haven't account. seen it either, I Emily. Okay, I'm gonna play it. Go. But my my email's broke. Like my account's broke. Make an Amazon wish list for your cooking supplies. That would be awesome. Here, we'll yeah. go ahead and watch it real quick. She's not saying anything that freaking interesting either. Something to tell you guys, it is not good. <laughs> oh, wait a second. Hold on. She's talking about. She's talking about G Man. Hold on a second. You might want to hear this. He wants control over you. That's clear. He said the clothes were thrown out. Well, good for him throwing out my fucking clothes. I'm going to go back to that in just a second. Fucking dick. I just wanted to see what she was saying about G-Man. He stole your air fryer. He would catch these hands. Right? He just admitted all this stuff he's been doing was blackmail on me. No, the fuck he didn't. 
I don't know who told you that, but he did. It's didn't. all bullshit. Why would he? You why better would he apologize to me. Anyway. Why? So you could say that I, 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 I'm a liar or something like that. Apologize for what? You slander in my name and trying to break me and my husband up. He apologized to the whole reaction community. What a loser. Fuck you. What a sellout. At least he's willing to work and not beg for money like you two. Don't call him a loser. You're a fucking loser. He has my dolls? What dolls? Whatever I don't shit have you any left. Dolls. Well, maybe the, that box of old doll stuff. Yeah, maybe. Oh, yeah, maybe. So you do have dolls. He named them all individually. What dolls? He didn't name the dolls, dumbass. He named the reaction I don't know channels. what he's talking about. Wow, he's really fucking lost it, hon. Yeah, I think maybe. Oh my god, shut up. This is why he was in the... Yeah, I know. Yeah. Y'all are the one that have the fucking mental health problems and having freaking knockdown drag outs, nervous uh, freaking breakdowns and shit. Like, don't point the finger at anyone else about their mental health issues with the ones that you have. Or claim to have. I don't even know wow. if you really have them. Bro, I got your mail is the oldest trick in the book. I know, right? Oh, okay, maybe. Ugh. I don't, like, who knows if Jason goes over there and then, like, fucking G-Man, like, Kills him or something. Oh my he's that god. Fucking psycho. No, he's not. Are you fucking he stupid? No, he plots these things. He plots. Definitely a flyer, yeah. Then why were you friends with him for so long? If he was so dangerous and crazy. Why would you have him around your kids? Constantly, if he thought he was so I fucking don't know. dangerous. I was going on about dolls, and I was confused. He was holding dollies hostage, like we are in the third grade. He wasn't holding him hostage. You left shit at the house. Rev had a plan to take out. No, he didn't. No, he didn't at all. What are you talking about, maybe? Yeah, exactly. It is better. G showed us a note written by Rev. Or maybe G wrote that letter and it wasn't written by Rev. Oh my god. Please. He's saying you had a plan to take out drag. No. And you wrote him a note. Nope. That's a lie. I never had any plan to take out drag. What's up, Taurus guy? Well, let me see. Who am I going to believe? The wow, that he's that lies fucking crazy that he wrote up a, no a note. Oh, my God. <sighs> For someone who's supposedly it's a mental health well, advocate, you sure are well, using crazy a lot, calling someone crazy every five seconds. Yeah, this is live. Wow. Sultan of the Swing, this is live. Yeah, he can stay the fuck away from us. He don't want to be around you. What are you talking he about? He mean about my cardigan. I know, he wanted me to throw this away. And I was like, what are you talking about throwing this away? This is a $70 fucking sweater that I got at Torrid. $70? And I got it because I saw Amber Lynn have it and I wanted one. She paid $70 for that fucking sweater? That looks like something I a homeless person would wear? I ain't gonna throw away a 70 
dollar cardigan that fucking is very fucking warm. It's better than a jacket in a lot of ways, how warm oh it is. Oh my god. No one cares. Yep, he showed the notebook it was in on stream. What a fucking psycho. Yeah. yeah, I thought G-Man was the one who had a plan against him. He does. But I guess he had to fucking counter that of what we said by writing something up. Hey, G-Man, are you watching this? If you're here, let me know, because I would love to talk to you. <clears throat> really fucking brave. Yeah. I didn't write like, he can stay the fuck away from us. Yeah. Psycho. I didn't write no note, no notebook. When is he trying no, to be I around you? I didn't. The fuck? He has not said anything about you going and being Bible. around you. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Why do and they it think that say he wants to be like around in the Bible. No. You should. Why don't you show them what it says about dragging your Bible? If I find it, because it's positive, actually. Yeah, I know it. Yeah, it's nothing bad about him. Yeah. No, you, they were writing about dragging it's their him Bible. Being saved. Yeah. What? Yeah. Um. <laughs> so. Whatever. It's a prayer. They're calling. G-Man crazy and psycho. Meanwhile, Rev is writing about drag in his Bible. What the, the fuck? The difference of you writing that in your Bible and then writing a D-No. Yeah. That's, that's well, a little obsessive. I know he's full of shit. What a piece of shit. He's a full of shit, piece of shit, slanderer, lying crap, fucker. Yeah, What's up, Terry? writing is very distinct, so... I know. There's no way he mimicked my handwriting correctly. If it's not true, then you don't have to prove anything. Exactly. Yeah. It's just not true. Hi, Jonathan. He's the one that has a plan. Oh, really, Sabella? Like, yeah. he's, he's psychotic. Yeah, he's crazy. Yeah, Jonathan, all of a sudden she's not like, dying anymore. Who knows all this stuff he said about um, Butterfly was true? Who knows? You can't know that. No, I bet he lied about her too because she wouldn't fuck him. Me you too, know? Bruce. Because he said, she, he talked about how she said. There's G-Man. What's up, G-Man? How are you doing? Thank you for, for what you said tonight. I really appreciate that. It's okay, maybe. I and didn't I'm know glad about that. that. You, uh, I don't watch a shit. I'm glad that you have seen insane. these two for the yeah. people that they are because really they're disgusting. <clears throat> really nuts. And somebody's in their chat trying to lie to them, like saying that uh, acting like you have stuff that you're holding for ransom and you're trying to blackmail them and all this shit. Like, it's ridiculous. Yeah. Very close. I'm so fucking disturbed by that now. Yeah. Fucking crazy. You guys are the one having nervous breakdowns, but you're like disturbed yeah. by a G-Man. He bashes women, he bashes trans, he, he bashes gays. Well, but this is the thing, Shani. How come I wish none I of never this... stood up to him or stood up for him ever? I wish I didn't allow him in my life. Oh my god. I'm sure he wishes that too. You sure didn't mind yeah. having him in your life when you needed him to support you financially. Then everything was does just that fine. Stupid fucking shit because I told him to be fucking nice. <laughs> That's not what you did. You said that he wanted to have sex with you, Shani. You didn't tell him to be nice. You were, went on and on. I don't want to respond to him. That's the thing. I'm sick of him. Then quit talking about him. The hell are you doing then? For two years, he just fucking 
come in my life screaming and yelling and making me feel bad. Oh my God. Always digging on me, always trying to put a wedge in between our relationship. Oh, I know, G-Man. Completely full of like, it. Like, what did you say? He plays both sides of the... He, yeah. yeah. The middle. Yeah, he plays for the middle. Full, both, playing both sides for the middle. He'll talk shit behind my back to you and vice versa. Yeah. That's the way he plays. No. Very you guys do that same shitty. shit. You're manipulative yeah. as hell. Shitty. It's narcissistic abuse. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> what? He's definitely a narc. Jim. What? Yeah, he's definitely a narc. He's without a doubt. Yeah, we should do that, Mandalorian. We should. You always had great things to say about him. Yeah, but at this point, of all the shit he has put me through throughout the years, I'm fucking done. Like, this is like an official, like, divorce. Huh? Divorce. He said he had Rev's mo mother's medical records. That's no, he didn't. Behavior. Yeah. When did he, Shani? You're you're being trolled. Do you not see that? Whoever's saying this crap in the chat is how does just he have making up shit? Mother's medical records. No, that's I. That's not true. Exactly. That's not true. No, it's not true. Medical records in the house to be had. He might be talking about like health old receipts of like health stuff yeah like i'm officially like divorced to him like fully like divorced like divorced just fuck off <laughs> we, that, that's what a weird I way am. to like, word he, something. he's like this like old boyfriend you can't fucking get rid of you know what i mean oh my god you're the one talking about him right now Like, and I'm done is, with him. I'm she's done such with him. a hypocrite. Like, done, done. Like, done. Like, fuck off. Right, because now Sounds that like he's not married. giving you yeah, money. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah you're I'll the one who just said weird. it. I know. But I am that done with him. I can't do it anymore. Exactly, I G-Man. I cannot do it anymore. They don't ask not for proof. Him. They just run with whatever I'm anybody so says. I'm so sick of feeling bad because I have tits and a vagina. And he oh, has to come in my life and try God. to disrupt me and upset me because I have tits and a vagina. What? Always something sexist to say to me. Always. What are you talking about? He still says he can take you from Rev. No, he didn't. Or the creepy uncle the family won't disown. Yeah, right? Yeah, he could take you in a sec. <laughs> Girl. Shanny, don't flatter yourself. For real. If you wanted him at all. <laughs> Why are you... She's like totally being trolled right now by the chat. I'd bust his balls. Oh my god. He'd have no dick if I was with him. None. Hey, Ace I'd go Marie. rain a bobbit on his ass, man. Well, Shani admitted... I'd have you on my podcast if you like a different platform to make your case. Just let me know. Cocktopus Prime, I would go on your podcast totally. Oh, shit. Cocktopus Prime, I'm going to be there. Podcast. I've been on his last four podcasts, you idiot. Dude, wouldn't that be Sorry, crazy? Sorry, girl. Anyway, back in the day. <laughs> well, wouldn't that be crazy if she came on the podcast and then, bam, I'm there too? And she would not know what the fuck to do. I'm just saying I understand why G-Man is in the Yes, G-Man. They are high. They are Me high. Me too. If you have tits and a vagina he's gonna, and, and he's in your life, he's going to make you know... That you have tits and vagina, and you're a lesser being than him because of your tits and vagina. Oh my god. <laughs> no, they are high, G-Man. No, well, I'll tell you in a minute. Hold on. He's famous. It's more like 
I used to watch him constantly back in like the 2008, 2010 era, you know, the Ponage Olympic type era. And he was always very like on point, um, very smart and intelligent, not a dumbass like all the other fucking atheists. Um, his oh. intention wasn't to be a fucking asshole, but more to be a informer of, of reality. And I like that about him. <laughs> Someone should tell Shani to go watch the last episode of the podcast. Of prime is worth fan <laughs> over. <laughs> Laugh out loud. Old YouTube famous. That's right. Oh my God, please. <clears throat> oh, thank you. Hellfire and Holy Water. Welcome. You said I'm new to your channel. I he's love how you... He's good at what he does. He's, Hold on. he's good on the videos. Let me mute her for a second. You said, new to your channel. I love how you don't sugarcoat things. Thanks for being entertaining. Hope you and the husband are doing well. Thank you so much, Hellfire and Holy Water. Thank you for the super chat and thank you for the kind words. Welcome and I'm glad that you're here. Thanks so much. Oh, but G-Man, yeah, this is the thing. You know how we that we know that they're high? They begged and begged and begged for money tonight, right? Because Shani was supposedly starving to death. So then they get the money, Rev leaves to go get the food. But yet Shani's been sitting here this whole time not eating anything. And now she's in this great mood all of a sudden. Yeah, it's drugs. Totally. Clearly drugs. Like, I don't know why the fucking train employers are being fucking assholes. Train guys are so fucking cool, though. When I used to do the taxi ride for them, yeah. going to these fucking rail yards that are completely empty and it's pitch black outside. Mm -hmm. But they're, they're always such fucking cool dudes. They always want, like, they, come, they, go, they get off the train and they want to go to a hotel, always get, like, some booze or... Right afterwards, or what's up, Petty Patty? They're great guys, and they're funny. Good to talk to. Really good to talk to. Is she done? That. I take charge, kind of a male. Somebody individual. should ask her if she Did was so hungry. Why is she not break? ate yet? No one's chatting. If you were so hungry, probably Shannon, why tired. aren't you eating? I like shut up, Shannon. Okay. <laughs> oh my god! I she can't wait so to hear irritating. Krista's review on on the movie. She's gonna love it. I think everybody loved that movie. Yeah. Imagine, I'm in bed listening. I'm here. Imagine you don't have custody of your kids, right? And you're asleep. online doing this. Well, like for I'm real. I'm gonna go in and eat my sandwich then. Oh, I guess she's about to get off, guys. You ha guys have a good night. I'm. I want to do something tomorrow. I know that. All right. Peace and Maranatha, guys. I love you. Have a good night. Oh, ta ta. She's disgusting. So, <laughs> she was, G Man, did you see that she was on here earlier trying to say that her mom never hugged her and all this? When we have, I literally pulled up a video and showed everybody a video of her hugging her. Like, she has this selective memory that she pulls. It's ridiculous. But I, I don't know about you guys, but I do 100% think they were on drugs that whole time i mean literally begged rev to or begged people on to get rev rev had to beg to get people to send money because they were starving to death and they couldn't wait till midnight for the for the food stamps so he leaves goes and gets quote unquote food comes back and for this whole time hours and hours now since he was back she doesn't eat she didn't, she did not eat one thing, but she's supposedly starving. And they both went from 
being like literally looking like they were on death's door, just so put out, so tired. And, oh my God, we're, we, we just can't. We're both so sick and we're both ha- having a mental health crisis and whatever. He leaves, comes back, and they magically are all of a sudden in a wonderful mood now. Completely changed. Like, dude, no one believes this crap. All right. So for those of you who did not see and have not seen this, like I showed you, she literally wished death on her, both of her parents. Meanwhile, saying all this, then when her dad passes away, she, she not only is it, does it seem fake, but who pulls their phone out or their camera out when they've just lost their parent and start recording themselves. Like, I'll just let you guys see it. If you haven't seen this before, be prepared because it's about to get real ridiculous. (laughs) (laughs) Um, I I gotta put this on YouTube too. I don't want to. <laughs> um, I got a phone call from my sister, and she told me my dad died. <laughs> my dad is dead. <laughs> <laughs> and no, notice you have to watch too just notice the whole time she keeps looking back at the chat like she she's really looking to see what people are saying because this whole thing like everything else when she comes on here and does this kind of crap it's because she wants sympathy she wants people to feel bad for her so they won't bring up all the messed up stuff that she's done yeah her dad passed first Hi, Hubris. She told me he he had metastatic lung cancer. And then the abuse of my family came in and told me, now that you know you can deal with it yourself, I thought you had the right to know that your dad died. And then she said, I don't want a relationship with you or anything to do with you. And I called her a cold fucking bitch because that's a cold fucking bitch. So you tell. And of course, what is she going to do? Her dad dies, but she's going to make it all about her. It's all about her and how her family wasn't there for her. Like, you don't get more selfish than this. Me, my dad died. And then, and then you tell me to deal with it myself. There's no funeral. There's no memorial, nothing of him, nothing of my dad. COVID. Uh, COVID. I, I can't even say goodbye to my father. Another thing to keep in mind, her kids are there, right? Her kids are in the house when she's doing all this. As a parent, I would never want to upset my son. Like, you, you have to keep it together. and. And keep yourself kind of in check. I mean, uh, obviously you're going to cry. But if you need to like scream, you need to, you go do that somewhere else. You don't do it where your kids can hear it. And you're going to scare the shit out of them. But she doesn't care. (laughs) (laughs) Ugh. I felt it last night, too. When he passed, I felt it. I had a headache all, all day. All day. And I knew something was wrong. I knew something was wrong. I was like, am I dying? Oh, it was my dad. I love my daddy. He was so cool. He got me into Pink Floyd. And 
and he got me into Super Tramp. <laughs> he sat me down and got me into Star Trek. My daddy was everything to me. <laughs> and I loved him. He was the first man I loved. <laughs> and I loved him. I couldn't even say goodbye to him. <laughs> Daddy, I love you. <laughs> I don't know how to handle it. <laughs> and I'm doing exactly what TJ did. <laughs> he found out his dad died and he went on online to tell everyone because he didn't know what to fucking do. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm told that my mom's about to die too. So this year I'm gonna lose my father and my mother. Can people stop hating me now? Did you hear that? She's gonna lose her father and her mother. So can people stop hating her now? And just to remind you, just to remind you of how she really felt about her parents. Let's watch this one more time. Get us nowhere, get us nowhere, way too fast. Dedicate this to my fucked up parents who fucked me up in the head. Fuck you. Hope you die of COVID, motherfuckers. Hope you die of COVID. Okay. Well, you got your wish, Shani. They didn't die of COVID, but they're not here anymore. I don't think I can take anymore! <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> <coughs> I'm dealing with my own health problems. Where I don't know how much longer I have either. <coughs> <coughs> And this is, this is just another layer of fucking stress that I don't know if I can fucking take. She's looking at the chat, right? Look at her. She's screaming and crying, but then keeps looking at the chat. Keeps looking at the chat. <laughs> I don't. They said they don't. They told me he died and told me to deal with it myself. That's what they told me. I just thought you have the right to know if dad died. And you know what? You can deal with it now yourself. I can't have my family to console me. I can't console my family. Do you know how horrifying this is for me? Another unfair fucking thing in life. Yeah. <laughs> 
Exactly, Ace Marie. Why did she <laughs> film this? I knew something. We felt it last night. Yeah, something was not right. No. Oh. Something was not right. No, Daddy! 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 And once again, her kids are there in the house when she's doing this. <laughs> no! You're going to see him again. You my baby girl. <laughs> exactly, Chelsea. <laughs> Daddy. 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 I don't have my dad. I don't have my dad. I can't even go to see him. I, ah! That's so horrible. No funerals? No funerals. Because of COVID. She said because of COVID. That is so... There is no words for how... It's so cold. That is so abusive to every person in, abusive. in the country. <laughs> Give me a break. No, Hogtie Champ, you're not. Daddy. Right, Mark? Exactly, Mark. I gotta go to YouTube and tell them. They I gotta go to YouTube. Him. Okay. Who, you want me who, does, yeah. who does that? You found out your parents, your, your dad is dead. And you're going, I got to go to YouTube to talk about it. What? Hi. Hi. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care, all right? Uh, Shani will be on YouTube. Peace out. There's nothing I can say to you. Like, this is horrible. And then I just got a message saying I'm faking crying. Oh, uh, yeah. They're going to do that. They're fucking son of a bitches. I have some bad news. Look at, you can really tell she's acting at this one, because a lot of a lot of you guys know, no, 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 him. no, no. My dad, my dad. <laughs> I hate saying this. My dad just died. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do this. I can't do this. He. My sister was cold as fucking ice. Cold as fucking ice. Here we go. Back to being about Shanny. Told me my dad died and told me I had to deal with it. No consoling. No, I love you, Shannon. Nothing. My dad died of metastatic lung cancer. They gave him three months to live, but he never, he never really smoked. He didn't. He never really smoked. He was apparently complaining of bone pain. I have that. Go I have that. What that is. I have that. Make it about you, Shanny. I don't have much longer either. And then I'm told that my mom doesn't have much longer either. She's 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 on her deathbed now too. There is not going to be any funeral or anything, even though he fucking deserves it. I hate my family for what they've done. It kept me away from my dad for so many years. I... I...
have had enough of life. And I don't know how I'm going to mentally fucking handle this. Because, like my sister said, I have to handle my dad dying by myself with no family there for me. I gotta, I gotta get a hold of my cousins. I need to tell my cousin Darlene what happened. I gotta call Pat. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I. That's all you get. That's all you get. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. Um, I'm going to be wrapping up the stream, but before we go, I want to watch this little uh, fight they had one more time. Because I want to really pay attention this time to how they were acting in regards to getting money, drugs, getting money for drugs. Because I don't believe it that any of this that went on had anything to do with food and being starving for food. I think they both, they were out of drugs. They both were, they, they were begging for money and they started going at each other. And then as soon as they were able to get the money and he could go get the drugs comes back, they do drug. Now they're back to everything's okay. And everything's wonderful. And she literally didn't even eat the food that she supposedly was starving for that they had to beg for money. Um, Miss Mud Duck, what do you mean by the beginning? I'm going to play it from the beginning of the fight. I'm not going to play the whole um, stream because literally the first 20 minutes is just Rev staring into the camera, not saying anything really. And so it's fucking boring. Um, but I'm going to play the whole part, the whole little argument that goes down. So let's see. Like, look, this is what he did the whole stream, Miss Mud Duck. She was whining at the beginning. Okay, I can go to the very beginning and hear what you're talking about. Let's see. Okay, I don't even know. Oh, you missed it, Jelly Bean? Oh, you're in for a freaking ride. Hi, Nine Lives. Hi, Filth Force. No problem, Tam Tam. Hi, nerdy. Hi, pain and lady. Miss Mud Duck, what do you know? What part is it? The very beginning where she does it, or what? Hi, homeless in America. Yeah, I've got I it up as loud as it goes. Gooey, gooey. How you doing? I'm low. What, my volume? Hey, Bubble T. Carolina Reaper. Blue. Be blue. Hi, Wednesday. Cookie Ma. Hi, Janice.
So how are you guys? I don't know why my volume's low. I don't have a clue. Did you bring a hand over the microphone? No. Exactly, shits and giggles. Not really. What brings me online? Well, I wouldn't bring myself online. So. We need money for food. That's I'm like I I'm so sick of this shit. But yeah, that's we need money for food. Food stamps tomorrow, thankfully. Somebody was trying to help us out, Ted, but it didn't happen. Yeah, we we try to ration. Yeah, I'll I'll go get to work on the pantries then. We try to budget our food stamps like Jesus Christ, duh. No, you don't. No, the fuck you don't. If you did, you wouldn't be out of food a week after you get a, get them. Look at him. Tell me he doesn't look like he's dope sick. No, I don't. I told you, this this really gets to my anxiety being on like this. It, it, uh, it I gets don't to his anxiety. On. But it's like when nobody's going to feed your wife except yourself. Well, hey, I, I got to do something, right? Yeah, I got to do something. Get a job. No, we have nothing to eat in the house at all. Nothing. Yeah, Mr. You. Yeah, it's rough, I know. That's uh, that's what I think 100% that it's drugs.
You might be right, Floxy. Right, Martina? What happened to the Pop-Tarts? Shanny ate them already, I guess. Although, I don't think it's about food. I think it's about getting money for drugs. So, they probably do still have them. Yeah, good night, Michelle. I'll go and ask a neighbor Love for you. Food, honey, you think that's a good idea? Feeling really bad. Well, what else is new? Don't worry about it. Don't worry about me. Tonight, uh, like late tonight, will be when they come in. Yeah, the cats still have some of their food left. Was that your stomach? Yeah. Or is that my stomach? It's my stomach. Yeah, it was. It's so like full of like hugging me right now, baby. I'm so close. Oh, it's possible, Bug Lug, even though she's overweight. I've known some people that were overweight that were still strung out on drugs. <laughs> it's possible. Yeah, I have a pasta pot. There's nothing to cook out in the kitchen. There's nothing left in the fridge or, or any of the... Um, there's nothing left. Yeah, Chris Farley is a good example, Moonface Pondu. I feel like I'm starving. <laughs> Yeah, fast food EBT would be great, wouldn't it?
Dude, I really think he's dope sick here. That's what I think. Both of them. Just look at him. Bug love. Don't put me on the spot. I don't know if I can do it. <laughs> <laughs> See, I can't do it good right now. I got 69 people in here. You want to talk? Huh? Yeah, I may have been able to talk well before, but I can't now because my, my I'm telling you that my mind is not good. Every day is it's the same shit. Yeah, we're out of everything. Everything meaning drugs. I am scared. Scared? Yeah, I like we we like dominoes. <laughs> yeah, we like dominoes. God. Of course he would say that. Right, IDK? I know. Somebody's going to message you on Twitter for a pizza. You need my help to do that too? 
Oh, see, he started getting pissy already. Yeah, nine lives. I'll drop it in the chat for you. Vicky, Vicky, this was live um, three hours ago. All right, we got messages open. No, it wasn't the first, it was the second. <clears throat> All right, it's coming up now, guys. About to start getting crazy. All right, you're going bye-bye. Hi, Funky Butt Lovin. Annie's fine. She's right here. Thanks for the prayers. If you want to help out, um, Shani's PayPal is at Shani Needs Love, and my PayPal is at Rev Dude. If you want to help, G Man was <clears throat> excuse me, G Man was in here earlier. I don't know if he's in here still, but he was in here earlier. So we got to say, "What's up?" The podcast I was on, <clears throat> you mean the other night? The goddamn podcast? I can grab that link for you, too. Yeah, he was, Sabella. Hmm. 
Nine Lives, were you talking about the podcast I was on the other night? The goddamn podcast? By the way, for anybody that doesn't know, that co- that podcast is uh, has her Shani's, you know, uh, crush, Octopus Prime on it, and he's talking about having um, her come on, and I think it would be hilarious to like to have her come, not know, and then bam, I'm on there too. <laughs> She's not gonna know what to do then. Oh, thank you, um, thank you, shits and giggles. I really appreciate that. All right, where are we at? Oh, yeah, it's about to pop off right now. Oh, awesome, Toro Fox. I hope he does, Sabella. Here, nine lives. I can grab it for you. I'm not forcing him to do anything. Here we go. I did not want to come on here. You said give me your phone. I did not want to come on here, Shannon. You know what, Jason? Are you doing this stuff on purpose just to make me look bad that I'm forcing you to do stuff? No. I'm telling the truth that I did not want to come on here. Then don't ask for my phone. You and said- make me look like I'm doing something toward you. Ask for your phone. I didn't... stuff against that your will I don't
them I'm not forcing you to do this. You can at least tell them that. She's not forcing me to do this. Uh, instead of making it seem that I'm doing something against your will. It's very clear to everybody that I don't want to be on. Well, good. <laughs> but why does it have to be on my fucking back? Why do I have to look like I'm shit? When I didn't even do anything. I didn't fucking do anything. I don't know what you're talking about, man. No. Do you not see the audience where they're saying that I'm forcing you to do stuff against no. your will? No. I didn't notice that. I'm so sick of hearing that. It's like all the responsibility is on me. And it's like poor fucking Jason and I'm the one who's goddamn dying. All that I do. I'm the one who can't fucking even barely fucking sleep or breathe half the fucking time. But no, it's all on my goddamn back. Every goddamn thing. I'm the Why only you just one that goes. Why sit there and stare? I'm the only one that goes out there and does anything. What the hell Why are you, you talking about? Why you just sit about? there and stare, Jason? The only reason that you're able to get anything is because of me. So I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. And the about. only reason why you can get anything is because of me. So? What's the point? I don't understand I'm what you're sick of being the only one that makes fucking money in this house. <laughs> wow. I'm sick of the only one who puts actual fucking work into shit. While I'm fucking sick as anything, I'm sick of that. Sick of living like this. Why don't you leave me then? Is that what you want? Yeah, kind of. Why? What did I do? What did I do? This went well. Well, you're just staring and not saying anything to anyone, Jason. Why did you even go on? I don't know. Why did you even go on if you're just gonna stare and look fucking like insane and then everyone's blaming it on me and I didn't even do anything? Yeah, I'm going off and don't ask me to go on again. I did it! Well then, there you have it, guys. That was wild, dude. A very, very wild night. Um, again, day for that matter. <laughs> oh, this is the most that you've been entertained on YouTube in a really long time, Wednesday. Thank you. I'm glad that you had a good time. Um, so... I'm going to wrap it up. It has been a long stream, a long night, because we this started way earlier in the afternoon. We were watching, uh, this was a couple hours ago, Nina, like at like six o'clock. Um, <clears throat> we were watching older stuff earlier because Shani and Rev had been quiet. I thought that they weren't coming on because I thought they already got the food stamps because it was the first, but apparently they didn't. And um, he came on. <laughs> With that same shit that he does. And um, yeah. And then it just went crazy. So I'm glad I was there to catch it. I'm glad that you guys were there with me. Um, I really do appreciate what G-Man said. And I appreciate him coming by. Maybe I'm going to be able to get him to come on sometime. And do do a little um, interview talk with me. I mean he's told his side of things a lot. But maybe we could talk about some of the newer stuff. That hasn't been talked about. Um, he did say that he was going to be doing something on Sunday, 
to uh, expose Shani. So I am here for that. I'm excited for that. Um, <clears throat> so I hope you guys have a good night. Um, I will be back tomorrow with some stuff, whether that be Shani stuff, if she goes live or something else. Um, and I just really appreciate you guys and the support that you give me and coming and hanging out with me. Like I have a blast and you guys are the reason. Um, and earlier when we were talking about the mental health stuff, that really meant a lot to me. And I'm thinking maybe some time of doing a show where we talk about some stuff like that, because I think that that could be good. You know what I mean? It could be a positive thing for people to hear. So I hope you guys have a good night. I'm going to leave you with a little song like I do. I picked out this one because it really showcases um, what great Christians Rev and Shani are. <laughs> so I'm going to get off of here, but thank you guys again. And I will be seeing you later. I hope you all have a great night. Love you lots. Talk to you later. Bye guys. Self a new grill. <laughs>I guess I'm not going to go anywhere because Shani just went live again. So before I go, I guess I'm going to go back to Shani. Hold on. This ride is not over yet. You know, it's just I'm so sick of <laughs> oh my being God. treated like I'm some kind of bad person you know what a fucking night you I'm guys I'm so sick of it and it hurts me and that's what really set me off is just why do I keep being called these things and being told that I'm doing these things and I can't force Jason to do anything against his will, first of all. I can't believe she's back on here doing this shit. She obviously went and watched something. Yeah, I wanted Jason it. to stick up for me, to say something. You know? He's fine. They're idiots. Uh. Anyway. See, it's stuff like that. Can we get a Jason check? Like, what are you fucking implying? Like, what are you implying? Like, I'm sick of being... Having that implication over <laughs> me. Because people literally think I am that way, and I'm not. I'm back. Can you guys hear me? Can I plug this in? Here? Can you guys hear me? Yeah, go ahead, babe. Thank you. <clears throat> yeah, he was ignoring the hateful comments, but instead you made it seem like I was doing something against him. I was literally lying down with Gavin on me. And I didn't want to get up because Gavin was on me. I don't like to disturb him when he's sleeping, especially when he's nuzzled against my cheek. It's really fucking cute. What is her point in all this? God forbid people care about him. Well, why am I implied to do something against him? Why is that implied? That's what I'm really wondering. Why is that implied? If there's something wrong with him, why am I at fault for it? Oh, Lord. Yeah, are you still here, G-Man? 
Like, seriously. So I don't think so, Citrus. I really want to know. Why is that always implied? Well, the point is it shouldn't be. Yeah, it shouldn't be. Maybe he doesn't want to stream, but yet he's streaming anyway. Hello? Why does it have to be upon me? I don't control him. I'm not his mother. That's the point. It's how I act. How do I act exactly? How do I act exactly? Maybe it's not how I act. Maybe it's your stupid fucking assumptions because you want something wrong to happen. Because you're bored with your stupid fucking life. I do not control him. <clears throat> yeah, Thicky, she came, Thicky Vicky, she came on again right as I was wrapping up. <laughs> so, came back. <clears throat> what is her point? Now she's no, just No, speaking staring. like this is me sticking up for for myself. And I'm sick of your stupid assumptions about me that aren't true, but you lead people to believe they are true. And there are some people that see through your bullshit. Is the audio sounding a little weird for y'all too? It's like Fuck right, off, right. dude. <clears throat> There's nothing wrong with my attitude. I am who I am. It, do it doesn't mean you have to assume the very worst of me. I don't live online, dumbass. I'm barely on it. That's the point. I'm sick of you assuming things and putting it on me like it's true, and it's not. I have every right to be angry about this. Thank you, Riot. I'm, I'm upset that everyone is treating me like I'm some kind of horrible person. Right, Green Giant? <laughs> and there's no reason for them to do this to me. The dope's wearing off again. Other than literally drive me fucking crazy. I lost my temper. I'm sick of the grind. I don't feel good. Then get off. The fuck, dude? Someone needs a Snickers bar. That's not true. Really? Really, this Ted? You're going to say... 
Oh, Live. when she's not, obviously. Oh, I thought you said I was. I was about to kick your ass. This is Because I'm queen. sick of it. <laughs> Hi, Audie. You're back. Everybody's back. <laughs> we aren't going anywhere yet. Like... <laughs> Now she's laughing? What the fuck? I think my period's coming. Oh, we don't need to know that, Shani. I'm God. very, um, hormonal. Irritable? Irritable. Yeah! Irritable. I thought it was you done think too, Audie. hormonal? Probably. Oh, th th those fucking jerk fucking reaction channels. They get the best shit during my cycle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. God, that evil up. <laughs> Fucking evil bitch. Fuck me. I didn't say I went through me menopause. I said I'm perimenopause. Look what that is. Did that girl get your dominoes? No. That would have been nice. Oh my god. <laughs> You'd still take some dominoes. Fuck off! Okay. Fuck, fuck nice. off! What? You should have money for that, Rev. What the These fuck did you spend the money on? on? Judgment Day, probably. Did you hear him? How old am I? I'm 39. God. I'm an old fucking bitch. How Not much a young more little cupcake I used can to be. you be? I used to be really sweet before the world fucked me up in the head. He said that dominoes would still be nice. As in somebody ordered them dominoes. Because obviously they didn't spend their money on food. Why are you already perimetopause? Already? How about, how about you study when perimenopause can start on a woman? Why don't you educate yourself? Oh, you are not. I am. <laughs> I feel like I'm 80. The Popeye's black and chicken sandwich is fire. See, I've been seeing advertisement from that all over the place. Popeye's just started the fucking war again. The chicken sandwich war by the black and chicken. Watch all these other chains start coming out with the black and chicken. Yeah, and they laugh their asses to the bank. Yep. Because <laughs> they know all the fucking people who do the fucking internet shit are going to fucking buy it. Yep, every one of them. Yep. Trisha will buy ten of them. There you go. Google says it can start in your 30s, but says it's usually between 40 and 44. So thank you. See? I'm at that age. Right there. Did you nine lives? Remember the Snickers commercial, You're Not Yourself When You're Hungry? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I get hangry. <laughs> I get hangry. <laughs> my primitive brain just, like, fucking clicks on. That reptilian part of my brain just, like, <laughs> when I'm hungry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I have to laugh at myself. I can't beat myself up. I have to laugh at myself. <clears throat> My mom's like 56 or something, just not hit menopause. Oh, okay. No, I don't have any filters on unless they put on a filter. This is live right the, now, Nine Live. Twitch she went live thing. again. So I'm here bringing it to you. Because I'm crazy. 
Oh, I asked God. him a little bit ago and then shared um, the sandwich with Jason. <sighs> KFC is pretty bomb. I'd be putting in the work, y'all. I don't like their mac and cheese. <laughs> Oh, God. I don't like their mac and cheese. Now, Chick fil A, that's got a good mac and cheese. <laughs> right, Bug Love? <laughs> I'm going to be delirious. Popeye's soon. mac and cheese is good. Yeah, I've had that too. That is good. Chinese Little marathon. Leftovers, those are the best. Oh. Little marathon. The lady at the market had Chinese. Did you see Wendy's garlic fries? No. Wendy's got garlic fries now. Mm. Yum. I like Wendy's. Oh, I don't like worry about Wendy's that nine lives. Good Just food. sub. That's all. I don't need money. I'm here because I love you guys and have a great time. <laughs> not craving egg rolls. Egg rolls are cheap. Oh, thank um, you, Melly. It was this chipotle chicken wrap. No cheese, just the chicken. It was really fucking good. Really? Oh, thank you, Bug Love, for the super sticker. You're so sweet. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. You guys Tomorrow, are the best. Tomorrow I want to go shopping, though. Yeah, Shani's live. I want to get some stream cheese. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, awesome, Nine Lives. Thank you. Why do I want to get string cheese? I'm craving fucking calcium. Yeah, Mick, she's back on. <laughs> I made salmon on wild rice with asparagus and black beans. Mm. I went vegetarian recently and everything is so expensive. I know. I've had morning star bacon unless they change the recipe. If they change the recipe, then I haven't tried. We should try Morning Star bacon again. Oh man, I just like bacon. If you're gonna have bacon, <laughs> bacon. You want to cook some bacon? We could. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> right, Mick. Make make get some Jimmy Deans and make some freaking biscuits yeah. and gravy. Yeah. <sighs> they love to talk oh, about food, God. don't they? That no, Did let me make eat? the gravy, baby. I know how to make it perfectly. I learned from the southern peoples. I know. <laughs> I know that. <laughs> this bitch is bacon. Biscuits and gravy, it's fucking cheap as shit. And you can get a lot of food. I love you. Oh, good it's boy. so fucking good. You're crazy. How do you know? You're not a doctor either, so how can you tell me what's wrong with me? You dumb shit. Hi, Penny. We're back. I don't say what's wrong with me. I have doctors tell me that. Duh! Yeah, well, the doctors didn't tell you that you had I breast cancer. I would make y'all dinner every night if I live closer. I love cooking. Oh. Yum. God bless you. <laughs> they use that. You're not a doctor, Shani. Neither are you. So how can you tell me what's going on with my body if you're... You just watch me on camera. Hey, okay, you're talking to your professional. Right, Lardo? <laughs> None of your business. It's your personal medical business. <laughs> Fucking busybodies. Yeah, Karens to the max. They are the ultra Karens. Yeah. Ultra Karen. Okay? Don't be a Karen. What? Wait a minute. Green Giant, you asked questions? You asked me questions or? You're a 58 old woman don't disrespect me i don't disrespect me don't disrespect me you came here talking shit out of your fucking mouth you're 58 years old you should know better not to talk shit to someone 
when you know nothing about them. Don't start shit with me. You're 58. You should know. Don't start none. Won't be none. Oh, Green Giant. Yeah, she doesn't answer. Could it be possible that I'm telling the truth about what I have? Did that ever come into the possibilities of your fucking brain? <laughs> yeah. Idiot. Oh, JR. That's right. We're not Karens, we're Karens. You're going straight to hell. Okay, lady. Okay, lady. Okay, lady. We'll see about that on Judgment Day, won't we? Won't we? I agree with Shani. Anyone the age of 58 should know better than to act like a child. Exactly. Say that to my face. It would be your last time. You're 58 years old and you're threatening me? You're 20 years my senior. I'm 5'10". Do you really want to go with that? <laughs> You're threatening me with violence? Because I told you you disrespected me? Okay. Continue to threaten me with violence. Who's threatening her with violence? I don't buy that. <laughs> 58 years old and threatening me. Ooh. 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 Big words from probably a little lady. I do, man. I got uh, my gra great grandfather was a boxer. I was taught how to box. Are you sure you want to take this? I mean, oh, look at it. You can even tell my oh, granddaughter please. of the boxer. You see how flat that is, Shanny? All anyone has to do is run. You'll never catch him. I know how to defend myself. Threaten me again. Oh, Miss Michelle, I'm sorry to hear that. Come on, man. You want to play? You want to play? Come on. Let's play. Oh, you didn't think I could be even more worse than you, huh? Oh, you tough. You tough. No, you not. More worse? No, you not. Nice. I've seen things and been through things where you would shit your fucking pants. I thought you were a pacifist, Lady, Shani. Don't be threatening me. You said you're a pacifist. We all know what that meant, though. Pass your fist across Rev's face. <laughs> That's about it. Come on, man. You want to start that shit? And, and please remember, you're 58 and I'm 39. Please remember that. Leslie. <laughs> I know how to defend myself. Just saying. Oh, Melly, that's hilarious. I've survived so many fucking things, lady. You have no idea. Mm. No idea. No idea. Okay. I'm the type of bitch that been going through so much fucking shit. If someone tried to fucking do shit to me, I would stand right in their face and tell them to fucking do it. You're Do so it. hardcore, Shani. Do it. Everybody's just terrified of you. Trust me, I would. Yeah, Tyler, it's live. We're live. I'm that fucking crazy. Anyway. Swamp ass disease. <laughs> Hi, Alicia. <laughs> yeah, that dying shit went right out the fucking window. He is on the street. Get down. That's Hi, right. Hi, bug. Get to the trapper! 
<laughs> Ew. <laughs> you ain't blocked. I just think you're full of shit. That's why. No, please. I'm scared of catching something. <laughs> Queen, that's funny. Cops won't even fuck with me. So okay? fucking, did she smell a fart? They don't want to fuck with me. Okay. Hi, and I may Shadow. have trouble walking and shit, but when that adrenaline starts fucking pumping... Hey, Blue. Woo! Jesus Christ. Rip headphone users. You don't want any of this. You don't want it. You don't want it. I'm just warning you. I'm a borderline. You don't want it. Just aim for the warts. Bam, bam, bam. You don't want it. We are not the type of people you can do that to. We are survivors. And we're tenacious little fucks. Don't fuck with me. You have to have the top bunk? Fuck. Dequan. Borderline beware. That's right. You don't want to fuck with the borderline. We black out. And you don't want to fuck with me when I black out. Shanny, shut up. No one's fucking scared of you. Give it it's a rest. It's pretty fucking scary when I black out. I've been told. <laughs> 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 you don't want this. You don't want this. No, we don't. We you don't, don't want, want Psycho Shannon. You don't want Shannon in survivor mode. You don't want it. You don't want it. Trust me. You All don't right. fucking want it. You're a broken record. No one you. fucking cares. It's unwise. Shitty. Please shut the fuck up and move on. I'm not mad. I'm extremely amused at her confidence. Are you? Z. Why are yes. you amused by it? I would love to. Maybe it's because I know what I'm fucking talking about. I know, Nina. She is completely full of shit. Yep, Queen, she'll be crying tomorrow. Shit, she'll be crying later tonight. If they can get to the flight of stairs. <laughs> Calm down, Ursula. <laughs> they don't get it. Oh, shit. They don't get it. You guys are on wanna, it tonight. They want to laugh and act like idiots about borderlines while continuing to try to trigger them. Yep, we're laughing. Because it's hilarious. One of these days, you're going to meet the wrong one because you like to trigger people with mental illness. But you're going to trigger the wrong one. Hi, Chantel Gucci. And then you'll never want to do Hi, it Mozilla. again. Hi, Mozilla. Hi, Jay Lynn. Serious. Like, stop fucking with people. It's, right, Sabella? It's going to turn around on you someday and bad shit is going to happen because of it. The wrong one. And it's all your fucking fault because you wanted to have a laugh. It's fucking dumb to trigger people with mental illness. It's dangerous to do. It's fucking dumb to threaten people over the internet. Whatever. Yeah, my Tiggy Bear was all talk, no action. Exactly. Hi, catch me if you can. Exactly. Like, I'm trying to educate people. Like, you don't want to trigger people with mental illness. It is dangerous for you. That girl is so dangerous. And for them. 
because they can't help going in that mode. I know, Mick. Exactly. Using your mental health problems as a shield isn't a flex. Please respect people's boundaries. That's Why? All you I don't. Ask. Why? You don't. Why should we respect yours? I think it's dangerous for people with me, mental illnesses, to subject themselves to things they can't handle. Yeah, me too. Then why are you doing it? Dumbass. No, you know what? I'm not putting myself in triggering situations when people are purposely coming to my channel to trigger me. Yeah, you I don't are. have to leave my channel... And leave what I do in love because you want to be a fucking asshole. Well, it comes with a the territory then. If you love it, you then that? shut the fuck up. Caprende? Yes, Red Feather. This is live. No habla espanol? Mm. Well, I said, do you comprehend? Right, auntie? Are you saying I was age shaming? I wasn't age shaming. I was just putting into the reality that I'm 20 years younger than her. So, yeah, Centris, you're right. And she threatened me. So is it okay for people to threaten me? And I can't defend myself by reminding her that she's 20 years my senior. Okay. I'm just defending myself from someone who's crazy. If you connect her words, it's an Illuminati sign. <laughs> oh. Bye, Daquan. Jerk. Jerk. There you go. <laughs> My neither, I'm not Jessie. dealing with your stupid ass. And Mimi Pondu, you can fucking go too. There you go. That's how I take care of the fucking trolls in my chat. Oh, she is high, Jesse. I'm sure of that. You thought it was a pentagram, Christy? <laughs> so Draven wants me on his channel. Oh, Without God. talking to me personally? Seems like someone wants to use me for fucking views. Oh! No, 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 Draven. Oh! You don't use me for views. Got, got him. If you want to say you're sorry, you better fucking do it in private like a good person would. You're Catholic. You should know. <laughs> Hi, Colleen. It, uh, go, go to Matthew 18, okay, Draven, and read it, okay? Because if you have aught against your brother or sister, you're supposed to go to them in private to say you're sorry. Uh-oh. Shots fired. Not bring it to the public so everyone can view it. That takes our rewards away. <laughs> or do you store your rewards in heaven, brother? Do you understand that? If you're really sorry, <laughs> if you're really fucking sorry, you would know that I don't like being used for views. Oh. Mm-hmm. 
She's got his number. Okay. I guess she's not that dumb. I think that's all the Spanish she knows. She's Irish. What do you mean? I know more. Why you being frickin' sexist like that? Can Jason be the one to preach? Honey, there is no male and female in Christ. Did you not read that? Actually, Chantel Gucci, she doesn't. Like, Jesus gave have me a mouth like a any other male. Why are you telling money. me I can't preach his word? And she doesn't do it. Give me a reason. A biblical reason why I can't preach. Why I can't speak for Jesus. Please, give me a biblical reason. Because I remember Jesus saying... Uh, preach the gospel to every living creature. I didn't hear him say, preach to every little living creature unless you a female, shut your fucking mouth. I didn't hear that. Mm -hmm. Where did Jesus say, preach the gospel unless you're a female, you shut your fucking mouth. Where does it fucking say that in the Bible? It doesn't say that in the Bible, does it? No, it doesn't. So if I want to preach the gospel, I have every right and authority given to me by Jesus Christ to preach. Amen. Not to go there, but Jesus was hey, a man and me. want a man to speak the word. Really? You're doing good. Really? Then why? Why? was the first person to say that Jesus Christ resurrected was a woman. He chose a woman to speak first, not a man. What you talking about? What you talking about? What you talking about? <laughs> right, Mr. Know-it-all? Oh, you asking Google now? Because you didn't read the freaking Bible, did you? No, you just inserted sexism in that shit. You didn't even read the Bible. Hi, Denise Lynn. Mary Magdalene was the first one to Hi, say Sarah. that Jesus resurrected. It Hi, wasn't Jack. no man. How it was doing? Mary Magdalene. Come on, now. It has been a hell of a night. <laughs> and day. day Come night. on, now. All of it. You fail at debate in the Bible pretty bad. Just ask Google. Please notice Ooh. me. Did you see the How fight? How about you read the Bible and then come back and speak to me? Don't be Googling shit. Get out of here. Get out of here. <coughs> Once you read the Bible... Hi, Vera. She's been live for and a while. And I know while. you read the Bible. Then you can talk to me about this crap. You ain't Googling that stuff. That should be coming from your heart because you read the Bible. Not because you're Googling stuff so you could sound sexist. Right, Sabella? What did you think? Please notice me. Wasn't that entertaining? I'm done, man. All my mirrors. What do you mean one of my OCDs? <coughs> Sorry about that, tag lady. <laughs> it's the only way I get my sin out. Oh, Red Feather. I, that's because I've been streaming for seven hours. <laughs> the flesh is still fallen, but the spirit is holy. It has been a long, wild ride, and it's not over yet, <laughs> apparently. <laughs> G-Man cusses like a sailor now? No, he doesn't. I him. Why does she believe he, he, everything he, everybody he, says? He's probably all that, like, hanging with them. He cusses like a sailor now. No, he doesn't. You're so fucking gullible. He just pretty much showed what kind of fucking fraud he was. Bitch, 
Are you that naive and dumb? You're being trolled, dumbass. He literally doesn't cuss at all. <laughs> like, what an idiot. Yeah, them. They. Those people. You know those people. True, Everyone all my mirrors. Very true. People. At some point, if she still keeps going, I will have to walk away. But I'm okay for now. <laughs> Thank you, Colleen. Hi. Mr. Know-it-all, or Mr. all it No. They can't help themselves. Good question. They really can't help themselves. Good question. It's compulsive. It's compulsive for them. It's really sad at the end of the day. Hi, Shannon. Hi, BKV. <laughs> Hi, Miss Danica. <laughs> Let's get you to bed now, Granny. Yes, I'm going to bed now. I need to get my beauty rest. Yes, indeed I do. Oh, thank you, Jesse. No. Anytime. I'm having Not a good right time now, with you guys. Bro. I drank a I lot of coffee throughout this whole thing, so I'm actually wide awake. Computer. I could do that. Are you willing to wait? Oh, Lord. Then again, I don't want to do? lose my 97 viewers. You know? Decisions, decisions. What are you going to do, Shani? Awesome, BK. B. I could do ail you, just Bob, and you would fall on your face. And <laughs> Christy. You could do ail me? All right, Colleen. Thanks for coming by. Yeah, she said 97 viewers, bug love. No, Scott, she still has an eight. That's what I mean. It's such bullshit. All that starving to death shit was not true. They just wanted money for drugs. It's freaking clear as day now. <laughs> right, Vera? He did for about five seconds. <laughs> Gosh, that hacking and whatever the hell that was. All right, so now she's going to the computer, eh? Well, let's get ready. It'll take a second. What's, what is the real question is, not how I have the stamina to be doing it this long, but how the fuck does someone who's supposedly dying on their literal deathbed is still going and can do this for hours and hours but she can't work she can't get a job but she can do this come on give me a break All right, we got one second to wait while she's uh, doing this. How many supporters, Nina? Do you mean like uh, s subscribers or? Um, well, who knows? Let's see. Another one bites the dust, and another one. Okay, here she is, guys. We're back. We be back. Yeah, 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 yeah,
Do any of you guys think a person could be born evil? I was watching crime shows earlier. No. No. I think evil is bred by environment. Interesting. I don't think people are born evil. I think they choose to do evil. There's a big difference. The cheese saw. What's because the they cheese can choose saw? to do good too. Hi, Karma Attack. Hi, Smoking Joe. Yeah, she did say that, Smoking Joe. 26 subs. No, she doesn't deserve one. No. Watch a watch a documentary called The Evil Child like documentary. The Evilish Child Alive or something like that. Green Giant. And it shows you this child who's I wish who people would think would be evil. But you found out There's, that uh, Scranton, it was her environment Zola. that turned her into this. Like if you actually research you know, true crime or anything, there's always a reason why these people do what they do. I think that the 1.9 is always people who event. follow her. Always the trauma. subs are different. Oh, to the why subs they pay. Out. I think. Oh, the cheese song? The I love cheese. They all have a story. Dum, at dum, the dum. End of the day. I love cheese. Dum, dum, dum. I think I also some people cheese. do evil to survive. Because it's the that only one... thing they know how to do to survive. It's all about environment. Yeah, the police did show up, Trash Panda. They damn sure did. What do you think? I see you, Karma yeah. Attack. You agree with me? Yeah. You're here. Cool. Yeah. I think people can turn away from evil. I have faith in people. I don't. Well, not in people like you. You saw that one? Radiant sh Shadow. About what? the little girl? Yeah, Wait, she... Really? That poor girl. She went through hell when she was a baby. And it affected her mind so bad. That she had to correct all these things. Now, now if you actually... Oh, it's not on the show. Now, or it's not on the She's stream. actually a very successful Radiant. nurse. Who does nothing but help people and do charities. Hi, Sherry. That same little girl that was called the evilest little girl ever is now a nurse. Yeah, it was doing off charity camera. work. Isn't that beautiful? That's a beautiful testimony, in my opinion. It could have been completely made up. They might have been lying about the cops coming for all I know. I don't know. I like the crime show that rates most evil. Yeah. Like I think the one of the most evilest crime was the son of the, the son of Sam crimes. Is anybody in here in her chat? Can you ask Those her to read? Those were the evilest crimes. Uh, or, First Timothy or, or um for um, the um the oh, karma God, what attack is that English slasher called Jack the Ripper. Jack the Ripper, yeah, Jack the Ripper. They never found him. Now they claim he's a. He may have been the prince that was doing that. But if you look at the earliest American history to the earliest serial killer, the killings were yeah, the Jelly same Bean. As Jack She the said Ripper. they did at least. So he may have came to America. Who knows if that was true? Well, that's interesting. Yeah. I watched Snapped. It's a good show. I like Snapped. They found him? Dahmer. Yeah, Dahmer, that poor man. He was suffering from serious mental illness. Like, he had this serious delusion in his head that he could drill a hole in someone's brain, pour acid in it, and, and have a sex slave. It's insane. You saw Ted, yeah, about Ted Bundy <laughs> auditioning for Snap, yeah. Christy. <laughs> That's another unfortunate, you know, story because he helped so many women just to hurt so many women.
Wow, that nurse that killed hundreds of people is sitting in a prison cell 10 minutes from my house. Jeez. That's intense. Oh, 100% uh, karma attack. No, I'm not making a bowl. I, I love that show. Soda. Snapped? Awesome. <laughs> there she is. There she blows. I love cheese. My now that's going to be stuck in my head, that Ohio stupid State cheese prison. song. I never want to work around any of them. <laughs> yeah, that was me, all my mirrors. I don't know how people can cross that boundary. I'm still trying to figure that out myself. That's a great movie. Scary but as there are out. reasons. It may not be for our understanding, but there are reasons. I love cheese. What is wrong with my sweater? Night blazing forest or frost. I'm I sorry. Love it. it's blazing comfy. frost. Have a good night. The best sweater I ever had. It looks great. <laughs> It's huge on me, though, but that's okay. It keeps me warm. <laughs> it's like a big, giant blanket, almost. I love like one of those um, snug snuggies. People think it's threadbare, but it's not. That's the way it's made. You love the Torrid sweater? Thank you! Yeah, it's, yeah, it's from Torrid. I got it because of Amberlynn. I saw it, and I was like... I want that sweater, baby. Yeah, and we went. There's yep. no way that this biatch is dying. So I she can stop saying clothes. that shit. Yeah. Somebody needs to go in her chat and be like, I thought you were like <sighs> deathly ill. I could do such fabulous costumes. What happened? Now you're healed? Is a miracle happening? Can we see him? Who? Revel is Ina. Rev alive? No, he's not. Not at all. Oh my God. I'm not getting I know. Let's go. It's watermelon. Rev. Shh. Yeah. Let people know that, you know, I offed you. Okay. God. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Call the police. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> bitch. Again. They've already been called. I know, right, Bubble Tea? He's good in bed. I have uh, to leave him alive some way. Dude, I saw the OnlyFans. Rev is not good in bed. That is not good. <laughs> I not will, Ted. Dear Jesus, please heal Ted's family. He lost his dog, and he feels really bad about it. Please give him some comfort in his loss. In your name, Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. Amen. Sorry, Ted. I'm sorry about that, Ted. I bet that's Does a Rev troll. have access to a house phone? No, I take the phone away. You probably do. You did when, you, when he had the prostitute thing. He took his phone. <laughs> so weird. <laughs> really weird. They they need to they need to believe that I'm some kind of I'm, I'm holding you hostage for some reason. Oh, okay. They need to believe it. All right. To fit their delusion that I'm the Wicked Witch of the West. All right, I understand. Girl, we don't need to do that. You do that for yourself. <laughs> Your giant boobs. I'm allowing that comment because it's cute. <laughs> to everyone that's here right now, thank you for being here. Just like the cool kitchen phones. Y'all are and awesome. Cords. Yeah, exactly. Hopefully I'm not she getting boring. She hates that sweater. Glad you wear it. He, he's making comments on this sweater? Yeah, he hates it. I told you that. Who? It looks threadbare to him. It's, it's not, though. That's the style of it. You what, feel what? better? Yeah, getting something to eat does make me feel better. I'm not as angry. Oh, thank you, Scott. I like those old see-through phones. I like those lip phones that they had back in the day. Oh. I would love to still get one of those freaking Sabella, lip phones. Sabella, you're wasted. Just, just for aesthetic. 
Thank I you, guys. You guys are the so red awesome. lipstick phones. You know what I'm talking about? Love you guys. Yes, he said Goodwill wouldn't take it. What a psycho. <laughs> what did I eat? I had Hi, a... Hi, green-eyed girl. Uh, How are you doing, green-eyed girl? Or we had a Chipotle chicken wrap. <clears throat> yes, he does. He said he wanted to dump it. Riff said, no, it, it was expensive. I know... You see how crazy he is where he literally was telling us to throw away our fucking clothes? Hi, like, Into the Wild Blue. Like, who does that? How are you doing, Into the Wild Blue? You having a good night? Homeboy's cray-cray. Yeah. Are they talking about... Are they talking about G-Man again? You can buy new red lipstick phones with Bluetooth to use with cell phone... <gasps> What the hell is that? That would be a Christmas present. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Name the Hitchcock film that the kitchen phone was used to murder. Mm -hmm. Oh! Oh. Do what now? What was the question? Oh, it's on my fucking ton. On her ton? What was the question? Hi, Tam Tam. I didn't hear the question, damn it. <laughs> did Rev say homeboy cray cray? Yes, he did. Jelly Bean. The Atonement. Which one? What is that one? You talking about the prostitute thing? He's nuts. <laughs> yeah. Like, I, I don't know how else to say it. He's, like, really gone in the head. He's unstable. Completely uh, unstable. Tam Tam, yeah. he found them on Facebook. Like, most adults, when you, you end things amicably, you just leave each other alone and don't talk to each other again. Then why are you talking about him you, right now? You don't now? continue on. So you can do it, but nobody else can. Diary of a Flesh Mountain. I like Psycho. <laughs> Those are fun movies. Oh, the phone that was we used for a murder in the sometimes. movie. A mm -hmm. phone that was used in... That's correct, sir. Used for a murder in a movie. He claims to be raising a mob against you to save Rev. What the hell? No, he didn't say he's raising a mob. Shut the fuck up. Whoever's telling her this shit. God. Oh, thank you, Sherry. That's very weird. I try. He's fucking insane. Very weird. Yeah, into the wobbler. I think she's even worse. No, than I'm not Tootie watching Tootie. anything he has to say. I don't care. <laughs> like, holy shit. A Hitchcock what a movie. Psycho. Let's see. There's the birds, there's Psycho, there's Vertigo. You're really on YouTube telling people that you're raising a mob. You know how bad that goes against terms of services? Dial M for murder. Sarah, is that really it? Said he cares for Rev. Well, if he cared for Rev, he would care about Rev's decision of wanting to oh, be with rear me window. And respect it. Yeah. Yeah, Scott. I agree. She pretty much does, it appears. No, they don't still do OnlyFans. They, they did for a little while, but not now. Thank God. Very weird. Weird behavior. Yeah, like... J Jason literally says, I want nothing to do with you, G-Man. And you're still trying to impede on our lives. Still to on our lives. 
He's drinking? No. Oh, my God. No. Does she believe no. everything really? everyone says? He's not drinking, Shani. Are you fucking stupid? I can't believe that. He's cussing and drinking now? No, I don't I... believe that. I don't she can't that. be this dumb. I think she's purposely, like, going along with believing it. I don't believe that. He's not drinking. Yeah, okay, thank you. Because that's, like, shocking to me. Oh, okay. Lying on G, not cussing or drinking. Okay, that's that's what I thought. No. I know him enough for that. It would be like, what are you doing? Mm -hmm. Holy crap, dude. Oh, you did, Jalen? He's scary. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my I eyes will never be the same. I think we need to put a restraining order on the psycho. If he keeps talking about this over time, yeah. Oh, no problem, Yopergal. Yeah, I, I hope I said that alone. right. Yopergal? <clears throat> Thank you. Hopefully I didn't butcher your name. That's okay, Ted. Right, Smoking Joe? It's just shocking to me how much he's just like. On the tip of her tongue. Sad, man. Dude needs prayer. Oh, be glad, Citrus. Be I, I, very I glad. hope he, like. Starts going to therapy and shit. I hope you I do. That How about worry about yourself? Yeah. I doubt that. You per gal. Okay, I got it. Thank you, you per gal. Strangely focused on Rev, though. Yeah, it's so weird. What's up, Nina? You have to say something? Like, what? He wants nothing to do with you. And it's not because of me. Mm -hmm. It's because of you. Yeah, Poetic Justice. She went, like, right when I was ending, I was about to end the stream, like, literally yeah. had already started playing the song to go, and the bitch went live he again. you and wants to save <laughs> so I came back Save on. him from what? But I don't think I have too much more left in me. So if she doesn't wrap it up soon, I'm probably going to have to end it before she does. Because I uh, don't, like, I, honestly, I don't know how she's still going. Especially if she's supposedly dying. I think he's been watching those MGTOW videos and he's been going way too off on that shit. Right, Lubis? Like, her body ratio to her head. Yeah. Is, like, it's a serious it's fucked very up weird. delusion in his fucking head. Because he's always treated me like I'm some kind of sinister fucking woman. And it's, like, so insulting to me. I know. Ooh, Colleen, that sounds good. A hostage situation type deal. Oh, thank you, Lavender. Called me fat. That's okay. All right, Trash Panda. Can't promise we'll be here, but if we're not, I'll talk to you next time. He's just trying to do Ew, everything. Ew, Lubis. No. It's really stupid. Mm -hmm. Yep. Oh, you should do it, Smoking yeah. Joe. 
Like it, it was a little scary and like nerve wracking at first, but just keep wearing that. You'll sweater. get in the hang okay. of it, and it's fun. I can give you some tips if you need some. Like I use Melon to stream through, and they make it really easy to do stuff. It makes him cray cray. <laughs> right into the wild blue. I think the dude needs to let me go. Shanny, he isn't. He are you kidding? You're talk. You've talked about G Man ten times more than he's talked about you tonight. Why don't you let him go? Maybe he was never your friend. Well, that's obvious. Yeah. Well, I don't think you were ever really his friend either. You used him for money. Let's be real. He just hates women. Period. Let her go. Let her go. Dude is probably in the closet. Drag's probably right about that shit. Oh, here we go. Don't be like that. Are you really going to go there, Shanny? Now she's going to start calling him gay. She damn sure did, uh, some idiot. She damn sure did. He said he was blind to your ways, and now he sees what you do to Rev. Now, that one might be true. It is divide and conquer. He's so dumb. I hope one day he actually grows up and acts his age. That'd be good. That's true, Sabella. He's threatening to dox? Okay. Talk good night, Amanda. Thanks for hanging out. There's nothing to dox. He wanted her when Rev was in the clinks. That's why he wouldn't bail him out. Mm. No, he wouldn't bail him out because you did. He didn't have the money. You, yeah, you're the I'm one who had the money. I'm not worried. So now she's gonna blame that on G-Man. Cops will literally be here in like two minutes. Not even two minutes. No. What, are y'all planning on fighting again? Yeah, what, forty what does seconds. This have to do with the cops? You're you're right. So. I'm pretty Three safe. Three cards. I'm always going to exactly into the wild blue. Cray cray now the healthiest dying G. person Jason, ever. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> no problem. Man, how old is this jewel? You mean this video? It's live right now. You know right that's now. breaking one, like two of the. Uh, Ten Commandments is covering. Covered in a man's things and then covered in a man's wife. Yeah. Nina, because she's trying to be as petty as possible. The things enough. Yeah. He got them. Yeah. But he's not done with his revenge. He has to take your wife, too. Oh. Okay. I don't think it's going to work. Right, meh? So. She was trying to say <laughs> earlier that somebody said she looked like she was 25. Like, yeah, right. <laughs> What is her point in all this? I, I don't get it. There is no... I can't post that. I'm sorry. He probably is, though. He wants my man. What? Not gay. I know you aren't. Oh, I know you aren't. <laughs> Not gay. 
He rubs my booty every day. Mm. Ew. Didn't need to hear that. You want to cuddle me? Yeah, I want to cuddle your bum bum. Mm. Okay. Nice Yuck. Blech. <laughs> Blech. <laughs> no. Yeah, Lisa, he they're back on. He loves my ass, G-Man. You think he gonna leave me? No. <laughs> 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 Fucking goofy-ass laugh. Exactly. Jason loves my peach. And this peach ain't going anywhere. He's the only way, only one who can take a bite out of this peach. No one else wants to come anywhere near that peach, much less take a damn bite out of it. <laughs> All right, Jelly Bean. He needs to stop with his stupid bullshit, first of all. And this plotted and scheming against me. I didn't do anything against him. I just told him to be nice. Holy shit, that's what happens when you tell someone to be nice. What? The devil comes out of them. <laughs> Alicia, that's some rotten type of fruit. He needs help. I I think people need like next time you know that he's at the house in Fisk, you probably should do a wellness check on him. Oh, like seriously, please. He probably does need a wellness check, like someone there to like get him help because he needs help because he's obsessing about me way too much and trying to malign my character for me just telling him to be nice just worried about his friend rev they're not friends though i don't think he got that memo like rev wants nothing to do with this dude now oh, not after the weirdness no he, he was wanting a lot to do with him when he was paying the bills too weird yeah it really is really weird you're, he's gonna set a mob to kidnap my husband. <laughs> what the fuck? Should I call the police about this and tell them that he's literally setting up people to kidnap him? Yeah, do it, Shanny. Christ, what do the it. Hell is this? That's what you should do. Madness. Cause I will call the police if he continues saying that there's gonna be a mob of people to kidnap my husband. That's madness. I know. Like, really crazy. I think we need to call the police I, I about this. I don't think so. Not yet. That's crazy. That is crazy. But we know he talks a bunch of shit. Nothing. He, he doesn't do nothing. Just chill out. Holy shit. Red Feather, G Man didn't say it. Somebody's fucking with her and she doesn't get it. They're trolling her. She's nuts. 
He wants to control both of us. He's a narcissist. She's not going to let he this go. He doesn't like not having control. You're so gullible you just believe anything that fits your narrative? No, I don't. I'm just listening to what you're t saying to me. How is that gullible? Exactly. Because you don't know if who's saying it is. I'm just if asking it's even questions. True. And what I'm being told is nuts. Mm -hmm. Shani, he didn't say that. It was my thoughts. Okay. All right. Thank God. Thank you for... Jesus. Where do people come up with this shit? Holy fuck. Like, I think you might have to tell him to, like, back off of you. I don't think me saying it's going to work. Oh, God. Here she goes. She's trying to trigger Rev into being into some fight. Well, hopefully it's soon. Because I'm getting all this heat for no reason. What does that have to do with me? Nothing. Ooh. Nothing. Other than the fact a man's obsessed about you. I don't care. Whoa. What does that have to do with me? I don't give a fuck. Well, Whoa. I'm getting heat. That does have something to do with you. What do you want me to say to him? I don't know. Ooh. That I haven't said already. That uh -oh. I'm done with you. Uh-oh. I could never trust you ever again because you fucking draw knives on your friends faster than anybody I've ever seen. There's uh -oh. nothing for me to say to you other than goodbye. I don't want to have anything to do with you. Yeah. Period. I said that in a video. I know. Weeks ago. The guy's fucking crazy. Period. And I don't <laughs> want. Same. I'm done with it. I'm fucking done with it. It's not ton in cheek either. It's serious. Like we're done. Yeah. I don't get the hint. I fucking know you exist anymore. Yep, them drugs are wearing off. He's getting back to dope sick again. <sighs> Hopefully one day. But you see how long he's been on fucking drag's case? Mm -hmm. Oh my god, this could go on for fucking years. Well, it yeah, sure will if you don't shut years. the fuck up about it. You've been on Drag's case for the same but amount of time, idiot. Eventually. And the only way you can give this power is by... What's up, Dreamin' Fool? ...people that are talking about it. Just ignore it. Hi, All Christian. Right. It's fucking bullshit. <laughs> okay. My Tiggy, stop putting fucking disinformation out like that. You're banned. Uh-oh. I'm banned not dealing people. with you lying like Time that. Time to get banned. I sense this, uh, another fight might be about to happen because she's getting pissy. He's pissed at Liars. her. Liars and deceivers. Jesus, can you please heal these people so they don't feel the need to act this way anymore? Amen. Ugh.
like celebrity juicer you have your own thing online aren't you sick of people's fucking stupid shit Celebrity Juicer makes videos I watch bashing Kasanabi. you. He's sick of people's stupid fucking shit. Does, does Shani not get that? That Celebrity Juicer makes videos making fun of her? <laughs> Ain't gonna happen. Trolls love any response even if they get blocked. That's true. <clears throat> yeah, Lubis. I don't know. Shani just doesn't Oh, Jason, apparently that. you were talking to another girl at the convenience store. Oh, sure, yeah. She's going to keep fucking it's with really him till he snaps. I know. She's going to keep saying shit to Rev until he snaps. I work 45 to 55 hours a week. I don't even notice other people. Oh. Yeah, Nina, those ads are ridiculous. That sounds like a gift. Thank you, Ted. Jason doesn't want another woman. No. What's up, Mary Gold? How are you doing? He's happy with me. Yeah, he seems real happy. And yes, we had a little row today. It happens. Especially when your wife is PMS and, and hungry. It'll definitely happen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm weak. Right? All my mirrors? I think so. He was talking to a cute, short Mexican girl at the convenience store. Uh-oh. I mean, they have, they must have cameras uh, everywhere on me, man. That's amazing. Is there one there? Uh-oh. No, I, I haven't seen any Mexican girl there, no. Oh, okay. She Aww. actually just asked that. Sorry, Steven. She actually just you're, asked that like it was uh, serious. You fail at being a stalker and you fail to talk on my chat now. Sorry, dude. No, there's an old white lady with blonde hair and her name is Cheryl and she's very nice. Oh, she's really nice? That's the only no, there's Mexicans here in Scranton. No, but I mean, I... I never seen any yeah. short Hispanic girl over down there. And why would you flirt with... Never mind, I'm not going there. Well, Jason I'm... likes his Irish girls. He... Yeah. Hi, Pink Puggins. Yeah. He likes I transparent agree, skin. <laughs> I, I don't know about that. Transparent? <laughs> I'm pretty transparent. You no, can see my white. You can see my veins. You're white. <laughs> yes, I like white girls. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. I like white girls. We know, Rev. Uh, the, the, Rev's more interested in the jars of peanut butter than the counter girls. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> I want the peanut butter, not the girls, exactly. <laughs> We're going to get peanut butter tomorrow, I guarantee it. Yeah, definitely so. <laughs> Dude, them teeth are barely hanging on, bro. You've seen him? So you're stalking Jason, TKM. One, two, three. Jesus Christ. So you're stalking him. Are you admitting that? That you're stalking him? That would be real weird. He can poke a hole in peanut butter when Shani ain't in the mood. <laughs> oh no, not stalking Shani. Just happened to see him. Uh-huh. Sure. Yeah. <clears throat> What is her deal? Like, this uh -huh. is the weirdest shit. You just happen to conveniently be in the same place as Jason, right? He 
you know they're only saying this because they know I went to the convenience for a minute. Yeah, I know. I just I, I just find it interesting that they are right, admitting to stalking. Can. Well, if it were true that they All were right, around, Radiant Shadow. Yeah. Even, which it's not. What's up, Moto B? How are you doing? To get something. Yep. So they're going to try and say something like this. It's fucking so stupid. It's so fucking retarded. I know. I'm just waiting. They don't answer me ever. It's interesting. I'm writing fanfic over live events that are happening right now. It's so fucking weird. Honey, you can always bring the Mexican girl home. I'll, I'll, we could do her like Dee Dee did to Chantel. Right. If the if if. <laughs> Ew, God. She's so gross. Sorry, I'm laughing at my own joke. That is, if there was one, <laughs> which there isn't. Right. Right. <laughs> Nader and Angelica. What was Angelica's doll name? Angelica. From Rugrats. Yeah, that cackle. <laughs> doll name. Cynthia. Cynthia. Like fucking evil she looks Disney more villain. like Cynthia. That that lady that Nader's with. <laughs> the Cynthia doll, yeah. Yeah, the Cynthia doll. Kind of. I don't either, please know. I'm thinking me. throw mama from the train. That's a great movie. Bring her home and have her cook and clean. Yeah, exactly, man. She could be our sister wife. <laughs> yeah, she existed, maybe. <laughs> oh, Moto B. Nasty, nasty. That's okay, bro. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Trash Panda, for the super chat. You said, there you, go. you are never boring, Carrie. You are if amazing, you beautiful, and talented. <laughs> Hugs. Thank you it so much. That's so sweet of you. <laughs> thank you, Trash Panda. I appreciate that. Absolute You're fantasy. awesome. Is Hi, Anna. They try so hard. Made up on yeah, live for someone who's so dying, crazy. Shani just right. is like the Energizer right. Bunny. She just keeps going and going and going. What's up? Yeah, nah, yeah. I love the movie Summer Rental. I think I've seen that. I think we may have seen that. Yeah, Who's she is going to be uh, concerned about the convenience store chick, Green Giant. They'll probably be getting in a fight about it later on Yeah, tonight. exactly. Jason knows if he cheats, he's going to the worst kind of hell. He would never, ever. No. Yeah, right. He was talking to freaking prostitutes. Either. Are you kidding me? I don't me? want to deal with God over that shit. No. Mm-mm. Uh-uh. John Candy. We did see Summer Rental. It has oh, John thank Candy you, in it. You said she only laughs sincerely when she's inflicting It's the one where he goes on the cruelty. summer vacation That's with his true. family. Oh, is that That's definitely that true, yeah. Auntie. Summer Rental? Thank you for the super oh, chat. Oh, yeah, because they're renting the I appreciate that. Yeah. Right. Yeah, that was great. Jo anything John Candy. Sabella, you're going to be yeah. hung over tomorrow, aren't you? I love John Candy. You're going to have to no, I love horror. take some Tylenol in the morning. Prostitutes! You've been talking well, to enjoy prostitutes, your poop, Jason! No, I haven't watched Yellowstone. Ooh, I did watch the, the first episode thing, yeah. of Tulsa King. Yeah, not all the way through it. We're not all the way through it? No. Oh, okay. We still got to finish the episode. But what we... It's its pretty good. Real good. <laughs> I can't tell you. I can't tell you. But let's just say it's... It's, it's freaking funny. It's good. Um, Period. Because let's just say the character that Sylvester Stallone is playing was in jail for 25 years so he's completely unaware how culture has changed i know and he's currently me. like trying to and he does these funny things that we normally wouldn't do in culture anymore is harrison ford in yellowstone no i it's kevin costner right mm -hmm. i love kevin costner 
I bet you do, Shani. I bet you Dances do. Dances with Wolves, one of my favorite movies ever. Dude, she was just talking about this last night. Are we really going to go over this again? I should watch Yellowstone just to see how it is. Just to see how Kevin Costner is. Dude, on the 22nd of December on Paramount Plus is the new Top Gun. December 22nd. I'm excited for that shit. I bet you are. <laughs> doop, doop, doop. Yellowstone is really good. That's what I've been told. I love cheese. I want to see it. Because it's Kevin. I like Kevin. I Kevin's love here. cheese. Goliath is good too. Ooh, what's Goliath about? It, well, obviously, it's about Goliath. It, 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 or is it about Dave? I don't know. Maybe it's not about that. <laughs> a drunk lawyer. Oh, okay. So it wasn't about Goliath. <laughs> oh, the Terrifier, that like clown movie. I haven't watched that actually. Oh, that movie was actually pretty scary. Creepy. It just seems like a rip not off of scary, it. scary, but creepy. Oh, it's not. It's way different than it. Ugh, I'm having a heat flash. Have y'all seen that movie? The Terrifier? I'm having a fucking heat flash. Fuck me in the asshole. Ew. I'm having a fucking heat flash. And there's nothing I can do. Uh -oh. Take your sweater off, idiot. That'd be the first thing you could do. Uh, what is this? There's a Pete's. You cuss too much. And? And what? And you're fucking boring on top of I've that. I've been trying to cuss less. I have been too. This bitch has got to be on the drugs. Wagon. She has got to be on drugs because in she is in just such a great mood. She's not then again, dying. I'm PMSing, so like, it's going to be hard to control. There's something really weird about I'm all this. Hormonally, the weakest. Is that an excuse? No, it's a reason. And I own that shit. See? <laughs> She's so gross. G says it's masculine and aggressive to cuss like a sailor. Ah. Well, I wasn't the one, I didn't want him to be attracted to me anyway. What? The fuck are you talking about? <laughs> she has an eight, Mandalorian. She still has an eight. So all that bullshit about needing money because they were starving. Complete turns fucking off most lies. Men except Rev. I'm glad it turns men off. I never asked men to be turned on by me. Now did I? Well, you know only fans. I think that was the point. Wasn't it? <laughs> Gotta keep a woman in her place. I know. Fuck, fuck, figgity. Fuck, fuck, fig. Fuck, 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 fuck. Mm -hmm. There. Cool. You're so cool, Shani. You can cuss. Wow. There. <laughs> Aren't you something special? <laughs> You like the attention from men sometimes, though. Yeah, if they get me. What? If they get If they you. get me. What is that? Actually, mean? no, I don't like that attention. There's this one dude on my Instagram. I'm not going to say any names, but he keeps saying all these, like, romantic... You know who he is. 
he keeps saying all these like romantic stuff to me hit me and i don't even answer him and it's really fucking gross oh thank you mary gold for the super chat you said although oops although i'm new to this world thank you for making this mess bearable carrie so, thank you so much mary gold i really appreciate that that is very nice for you to say and very kind to do thank you so much for the super chat i'm glad you like it here Shani, what do you think about men say Ooh, it's citrus, you're right. Liquid drag. Born? She forgets about well, him. Well, I would say it's the man's fault because the man didn't protect the woman from sinning. And he was told to defend her. What is she talking about now? Some more dumb shit? <laughs> God. She is getting so boring at this point. Like, come on, Shani. Do something. Or get the fuck off. <laughs> oh my god, celebrity juicer. <laughs> That's so bad. <laughs> so bad. <laughs> Hi, Janet. <laughs> How are you doing tonight, Janet? <laughs> she's definitely on drugs, dude. Look how she's acting. No, Tell I me think that's it's, not it's that's just irrational up. generalization of women so men could try to keep a woman in her place. I guess so, Bug Love. When the place a woman should be is beside the man, not behind the man. Because she has his ribs. It's a joint effort. Thank you, Mandalorian. I believe people use women as scapegoats, too. I agree, Rock. 42. I think it was I think it's 100% dumb, for drugs. To say 100%. you're going to put a woman in in her place. Okay. Where is my place exactly? Exactly, Rock. That's why she hasn't eaten. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yep. I didn't know I had a right. particular place in which you dictate a, in it of where my place should be. Please tell me, Mel. What is my place? Sorry. Hi, Anonymous. Things yeah, are going. Dress has really gotten to him. It was it was G-Man. The shit he's done. It really took him. What? It really hurt him bad. Oh, it's our hawk. I was saying it like rock. So, like, he even says it's G-Man that did My this. bad. It's definitely yeah, not Chelsea, me. they're trolling All I do is support him. And she I want him to it. be online and... And be that old rev again. Because I know it made him happy. Mm-hmm, Miss Danica. Later, maybe quiet. That really does not make me happy anymore. I know. It's just um, too much bullshit. I know. It's as simple as that. It's too much bullshit. Like, if I came back... Like, as a part of somebody else's show or something like that, that that might be something I'd be willing to do. But, like, looking at a chat room and all that, no. I'm just done with that shit. I don't no, because you don't ever want to be I fucking held it. responsible. It horrible. You just horrible want to get on and beg. Anxiety. I know it does. So It gives me anxiety, too, but you can see it on camera. Bitch, it gives you anxiety. Are you fucking out of your mind? You're sitting here laughing like there ain't a care in the world. Gives you anxiety when? Look at this stupid motherfucker here. A woman should fall suit to the man. Always the man is the head of the household. Does he have to deserve it? Or does he have to deserve it? Yes. But still, a woman is always subservient. Okay. 
Take this for subservience, pig. Bitch, you're a pig. Take that for subservience. How about that? A woman Dude, won't somebody needs to speak. go in her chat and say, I thought you were dying. You seem like you feel really good, and you've been doing this for <sighs> hours now, so... If you're not, uh, how if many of this, us women believe in subservience to a man that treats you like crap? Thank you, Appy Taxi, for giving me a rating. That's what I'm wondering. I don't have to be subservient to a man. Same as a man shouldn't be subservient to me. You know what works as a couple? Being equals, listening to each other's problems. Girl, stop giving briefs. any uh, freaking advice on relationships. Listening and talking. What's up, some fat guy? How you doing? Communicating. It has been a long motherfucking that holds the relationship evening together. for me. I'm ready for this Not bitch, bitch to hurry up and get out of here. And, and cook for me while I invalidate you the whole time like an abusive piece of shit. Some fat guy, did you hear that um, she's uh, open to doing an interview and coming on the podcast with um, Coctopus Prime? The only reason why you're saying is women should be subservient is because you get the power for making the woman subservient. I don't think she knows what does that the woman I'm on get the podcast. Out of that? <laughs> but I, that will be fucking awesome if she comes on and I'm there like, hi. I'm just wondering, doing? what does a woman get out of subservience? Exactly. Some fat guy, did you see the fight that they had earlier? Because it was pretty wild. I really love that answer question. Or that question answered. Like, what does a woman get out of subservience? Hmm? Yeah, she loves Octopus Prime. Yeah! Exactly! We get no freedom. In fact, let me grab something for you guys in the chat real quick. Just in case. We got a man's boot on our necks if we're subservient. Podcast the other day. But you know what, dear? You are talking to an older woman, a much older woman. Let's you know, see. I'm 39 years old, and I did the subservient thing just to be treated like utter dog shit. And, like, I didn't fucking matter. If you didn't see... Oh, wait a minute. What did I do? So why would I ever be subservient ever again? There we go. If you didn't see the podcast, the goddamn podcast the other night on Tuesday night, I'm dropping the link in the chat. On subservience Definitely to check a it man out. And on Tuesday night at 10 p.m. Eastern, come hang out with us. And that's not how I didn't feel good being treated that way anyway. a good time whatever mm -mm. uh-oh am i freezing mm -mm. no it's all good some fat guy go ahead don't worry about that no worries mm -mm. yeah i can see you, rebecca mm-mm Your own Florida mop. Yeah, exactly. Woo, you get your own Florida mop and sweep and, and you clean his underwear for him with the little fucking shit stains in it. Oh, yeah. Subservience is so wonderful. She's on another date with another man. 
The girl is getting around. Yeah, and when Rev shits his pants, the celebrity juicer, when Rev shits his pants, he washes his own fucking pants. But who washes yours when you shit your pants? I don't wash his fucking pants. He washes his own fucking Since pants when Rev he shits Rev has to it. wipe your ass. <laughs> Ew. And it's not because I'm I a horrible farted. woman why he, he, he ha that? cleans his own pants. It's just customary if you shit your fucking pants, you wash your own fucking pants. <laughs> What's up, some idiot? I ain't your mommy. I ain't gonna f wash your shit pants. You do it yourself. Did he just shit them? No. No, he didn't shit his pants today. <laughs> <laughs> well, it happens all the time, folks, you know. <laughs> I'm just incontinent in my ass. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Warshin board. Warshin board. Need that Warshin board for the drawers. <laughs> oh my god, yes. The shitty drawers. <laughs> Mr. Poopy Pants. Yeah. Ew. <laughs> Shit the pants. <laughs> I always laugh when he does, though. <laughs> Yeah, of course. Oh, Danielle, thank you. I'm He's glad like, you oh, like wait, him. that's not a fart. Yeah. I'm glad you're here. Who takes bigger Even dumps, you sleeping. or Rev? Me. Yeah. Yeah. Boo boo butt. Right, Trash Panda? Boo boo booty. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of shitting pants, can I speculate about why I've got a my, pee my big fucking turd? Really bad, so I'll be right back, guys. Okay, I'm gonna let it play, but I gotta go to the potty myself. I got to pee. They just fucking happen. I'll be right back. I've noticed it's harder to push the older you get, mm -hmm. and the getting up in the middle of the night to pee—that's really fucking annoying. That happens to us at least twice a night. Fuck that. It, go it happens to you, too. I see it. Yeah, I know. I hate it. It's dog shit. It is, isn't it? Yeah. And then a lot of times the pussy pushes the shit through. And you're like, fuck, I got a shit now. It's fucking three in the morning. I don't want a shit. Shani, I will divorce you if you don't get rid of these damn ads. We miss the good stuff. Janice. No, you can you can bite the bullet and give me the money that I need in order to stop the ads. Subscribe. Yeah. Subscribe, girl. I know you can. You should dance for us during the ads? No. I don't do dancing unless I unless I want to. I don't think she can hear you over the ads. Ha ha ha. Everyone keeps talking about ads. I know they want me to stop ads so I don't make money. And I'm like suck it. You want to be a troll and watch me? Pay me. <laughs> Sorry. It's the truth, though. Us peasants have ads. Yes. You peasants have ads. Woo! All right. You know what? I'm back, guys. That's what everyone... I should call everyone. That should be my, like, people. Hey. Hello, my peasants. Bitch. You're bet you beg for money. What the fuck? You're gonna call anybody else a peasant? You wanna be called the peasants? peasants. Hello, my peasants. I'm a huge madman fan.
I'm a poor piece of shit, and I'm okay with that. I'm not a peasant. I'm Oh, a peasant. thank you, Danielle. Aw. Did they ever get their pizza last night? Yep. They did. <laughs> when are you coming back to YouTube? Was it last night or the other day? Never. Never. Good. Little do you know Not you're until on YouTube right I feel now. like I would be protected. Protected from what? Right? Even Negs is back on YouTube. That's because he's desperate for attention. And you're not. I got an Alienware ad. Nice. Like, dude, you're not desperate for What do attention? you think of January 1st Twitch Super Chat launch? They are? Freaking yeah. That's awesome. Twitch is going to start doing Super Chats. That's cool. That would be awesome. That's cool. I didn't know about that. Real great. I'll allow that, the fucking pegs, because he needs to be pegged. Maybe he'd feel better if he was. <laughs> fucking pegs. Man, but it's fun watching DC Media Girl on Twitter, man. She just rages. <sighs> I look like a cute librarian. Well, thank you. No, the fuck you don't. Thank you. I'm also in, like, I was in bitch mode a little while ago. Yelled at Rev. Acted like an ass. Hey, do y'all want me to get Michael to come on with The me? whack peen has her all messed up. He's off work tomorrow, and, uh, so he doesn't have to worry about getting up. If she keeps going, I'm thinking about getting him to come on. <laughs> I heard Mrs. Fucking Wonderful's channel got taken down. Yeah? You guys would want him to come on? I'm just Yeah, not ready yeah, for yeah. that. Hold on one second. I'll be right back. I'm going to go let him know. See what he says. I'm not ready for that. I don't want to deal with it. All that fucking YouTube fucking drama. It already comes sifted into my chat here already. I don't even watch that stuff. Like, we watch gaming channels and... And... And, uh... documentary channels and all right i'm back as soon as he gets out the shower yeah. we're gonna bring him on if she's still Tyler going then is fun. we'll see how long this chick is gonna keep going why for. isn't rev then i won't be by myself getting super chats because he keeping has not having made to the keep hours this dialogue yet going no thank you sherry it was like four thousand michael's my husband marigold he's my husband he comes i on think sometimes she went to bed I think she felt better. And does um streams with me. I watch all the foodie drama Nader was trying to get another threesome going. I think so too. I I said that this morning. I punish him making him come and listen to all this shanty stuff. They probably did. <laughs> She's trolling the trolls. Mm -mm. Nope. Don't want to think about that. Good night. Catch me if you can. Don't want that image in my head. It's just weird. It really Uh oh, is. Sabella, be careful. Because you're because I think of the D drinking you might or what? be replaced soon. That's another thing I said. Shenanigans? That's a good one, Radiant Shadow. Yeah. All you need to do is set a stream and let it play to get watched Uh, in hours. got you, That's Sabella. true. You know, that's what Foodie's thinking about. Oh, Oh, you guys that are so Didi's sweet. about to be replaced? Yeah. Everybody likes Michael. The narcissist has, uh... Don't tell him his head will get too big. Has gotten sick of, uh, Dee Dee. She used up all her usefulness, so he's got to replace her. <laughs> you do citrus? That's funny. Um, That's what I'm thinking. Shani has Who knows? 82 people in What there the right real now. truth is, Our hawk. though. She got uh, 82 people But um, it's hard watching not her on to there. see the disdain Michael, in her, Michael, her eyes Michael. for him. <laughs>
And she's not eating any of his food anymore. No, Dustin, I didn't. But I'm going to. I'm going to get him. Oh, that's awesome, Danielle. Someone said oh, that's so sweet. To make Chantel jealous? Look, quite possible. Uh, what's, well, sometime you'll have to tell me um, your baby's name so I can say hi. <laughs> you wrapping this up? I got to get into the jacuzzi. Ooh, Dude. Jacuzzi sounds nice. My favorite book. The Bible. Nina, she <laughs> supposedly got a sub. Rebs was supposed I've read to have gotten her herself. more times than any other book, so I figure it's the Bible. Besides the Bible. Catcher in the Rye. I know what people say about that. What? I just enjoy the story. I think it's funny. And I can relate as a teenager and being s super impulsive. Oh, nice choice. Lots of phonies out there. Yeah. Oh, thanks, Red Feather. Y'all remember Wuthering Heights? Yes, I do. Oh. Did you hear that disdain there? You were forced to read it. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking horrible. <laughs> Dog shit. <laughs> I don't mind classics. Do I remember what it's about? Absolutely fucking not. Classic middle school summer reading. <laughs> yep. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Or what was that? Island of the Blue Dolphin? That was another one we had. Uh, Great Gatsby, man. Oh. Yeah. The Great Gatsby. Oh. You didn't like The Great Gatsby either? Horrid. Dull. Dog shit. <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> yeah, where the red fern grows. That was one. Yeah. We were forced to read. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I work with a doctor named Holden Colfi. No. That's awesome. That's the character in Catcher in the Rye. Yeah, I it's know. Holden. I know. Lord of the Flies. I don't think I read that one. Right, Trash Panda? That was one of them where I, I wasn't, I didn't have to. I don't remember reading that one, Lord of the Flies. I didn't have to. Taking my socks off. Ew. <laughs> hey, in 15 minutes we might have food stamps. Is that what she's waiting for? Let me look. EBT login. No wow, she's open. counting down the minutes to get in the I know nowhere's stamps. open. We're still on a balance of 278. Okay. Yay. Well, we're going to see it if it happens on 12. It's like New Year's. But with food. <laughs> Boo Radley. What was the name of that one? Going in, Nina? How do you check? Party time. To kill a mockingbird. Hi, AGG. I don't remember that one either. Yeah, I, I read that. Hi, Debbie. I know I've read all these books, but I don't remember any of them. Oh, I'm going to, Zola. Don't worry. Because I read them when I was really young. Yeah. But it's funny. I do remember parts of The Three Musketeers, and I read it around the same time. 
Yeah, To Kill a Mockingbird is a good By one. Alexander Dumas. I recommend that read, by the way, The Three you Musketeers. Did you No. Huh. I did, but I chose to read it again. <laughs> <laughs> and probably again, at least three times. We watched Where the Red Fern Grows in elementary, and I cried and cried. I don't remember. I know we watched it, but I don't remember it. Mm -hmm. I was zoning out at that time. Maybe. The guy didn't care. Look closely at Alexandre Dumas. What do you mean? I'm going to go grab something to drink real quick, guys. I'll be right back. She ain't saying anything important anyway. Jack London. Hmm? Ugh. Hmm. Okay. I never actually seen him before, how he looked. Jack London, okay. Call of the Wild. Oh, you can read the full book of Call of the Wild. I might have to read this because I like classics. Old Lonin's Nomadic Leap, Chafin at Custom's Chain, again from its brumal sleep, wakens the ferren strain. Ookie dookie. Into the Primitive, Call of the Wild. This is going to be interesting. I think I might read it, see how that is. Mm. Family Circus. I love that comic strip. Mm. I miss All right, comics. I'm back. Michael's going to be coming on yeah, in just like a few minutes, guys. Don't even really unless she anymore. ends early. Yeah, sort of. Well, I don't mean early. Really. If she just ends before he comes on. Yeah. Like, it's not like you can go to the convenience store like you used to and there'll be, like, the freaking papers right there piled up. That still exists to an extent. Yeah, I know it's to an extent, but it's nothing the way Shipper, it used to be. I didn't even be. end up oh. leaving. Like... Like, even on the roads, you'd have the papers in the, you know, the those, like, bins and, yeah. You she have threw to pay you like out, a Nina? dollar or something to get them out. Why did she throw you out? <laughs> Marmaduke. Big, giant, red dog. Buy comic books. Yeah, but that's different from... The comics that were in newspapers. That's Clifford. Then who's Marmaduke? He's a great Dane. Oh! Ah. <laughs> Marmaduke's a great Dane. That's just proof I'm fucking old. That's just proof I'm fucking old. Fuck me.
in the oh. asshole. Well, if he comes on, we're watching. We got to watch this because as soon as the, as soon as she's gone, yes, I'm getting off. <laughs> like you're I'm hoping she ends soon, y'all, because I'm tired. I don't know how much more life I got in me here. <laughs> I don't know how she's still doing this. If she's clearly not Tell sick or Red dying, to do or she a wouldn't Friday be able night to. Night movie trivia on his Because my God, Friday night movie trivia. Yeah, it's taking a lot out of me, okay. and it's got to be taking Thank shit you. out of her if she's That's supposedly dying yeah, from yeah. cancer. Oh yeah, I know Chipper. And then as soon as I was she about to get off, the wild she car. went back live again. Only I know Bug yeah, Love. I, I know. Consider doing that if I can. If I can do the character of Joe Bob Briggs the whole time. You want to do Joe Bob Briggs? Yeah, that'd be awesome. Yeah. Can you do him? I would have to work on it, but... Okay. I love him. So. <laughs> you think she's in a manic phase? Please notice me. You know what? When electricity was Could first be. Introduced. Ooh. She sure does have a lot of energy. That but that could be drugs. Thank you for the book ideas. Yeah, Did that's true, Jasmine. Books? That's true. We can't it's let been her a while win. since I've actually gotten to like a book. That's right. I like that spirit. Oh, jelly bean. I've got a German Shepherd mix. Yeah. You can Noah. you can get a free version on I'll, it on Google. I'll pull up a picture to Into show you the guys. Wild Hold on. By Jack London. Some of you probably have already seen a picture of him, but some of you might not have. Let's see, where is he at? Amaranth is going on a date with a Giga Nerd. Whatever a Giga Nerd is. Mm. There is tons at that place called the library. Really? <laughs> now, see, I'd rather use my HD Fire... And go on to the library on that, then actually go to the library, because I don't like leaving my house. No, I don't play Fortnite. But Jason Muse does. All the time. All he plays. That is all he plays. I wish he'd play other things than Fortnite. write us a book I've never done that I've never write a book I don't even know where to start in a book outline thank you Jason outline write you write it beginning middle end and but on one page I know and then expand it I know how that works. I've written. I know how to write. Wow. I, I have written plenty of reports, Jason. It's not just a. No, it's no, it's not like writing a report at all. <laughs> but the outline still works. Well, for, yeah. For fiction. Nonfiction, it's easy to write nonfiction. Where the heck is it? Oh, there easy. it is. Finally, look at this, guy. Empire room. This is us on our at our wedding, me and Michael. I'm trying to zoom in, in. There we go. See, isn't that sweet? But um, but um. I have like permanent writer's block. I made my own bou what? bouquet Why? citrus. Like, I did all, everything on my own. It was a very got cheap, affordable day. little shindig right that we had. Okay. I think I wrote too many scientific reports in college. Oh. Like, if I wrote anything, it would be a report. Because I know how to do that shit. You oh. know? And I was reporting 
Through my career as a home health care worker, you always have to write a report on that shit. But well, it's nothing like Oh, writing God. You guys want to see I something funny? I know it's funny. nothing like writing prose. Hold up. Look at that picture of me. <laughs> it's a kid. And my freaking mouth wide open. <laughs> what was wrong? <laughs> Oh, God, that one's funny. I was trying to find another one of me and Michael. Here's one of us when Jackson was just a little baby. And now my bub my my baby boy is 17 years old, you guys. Can you believe that? 17 years old. Crazy. Here's another one of us too. Us. Oh, this is that's me too when I was a little baby. Look at a little baby Carrie. I'm trying to find this other one of me and Michael. Where is it? Here it is. I love this picture of me and Michael. It's simple. Anyway, back to the stream. Just wanted to show off a couple of pictures. I'm a professional rambler. Okay. Oh, yeah. I was supposed to be showing a picture of Noah. <laughs> Forgot. We find one over See, here. See, I don't even know what to do with that. Like, what subject? What should I do? How do Write I start? Or not. Write a horror screenplay. No, I feel bad about putting that stuff out. Why? It's art. <sighs> I express my art in different way, in oh, other ways. Oh, thank you, though. guys. Okay, then forget about. Well, you're the one that's talking about wanting to see if you. They can said write. if I could write a book. I don't know if I could. Oh, them. Oh, okay. <laughs> I would love to see you. She's and talking about writing a book. Well, you did once, and it was the unicorn with the peanut butter. And the gun. Yeah. That's right. We were on the phone and collabed with that together. Stupid. It was completely stupid. Yeah. But we were laughing our asses off over the phone with that. Funny over the, at the time, I guess. Yeah. You were excited about it. I guess I was, wasn't I? <laughs> I'm giving up on myself? Nah. I just, like, literally have no ideas. Of where to start. Hi, Rain of Fire. I don't feel How you the doing? Need to do it. Either. Well, there you go. And that's needed to be a writer. Is you need to feel it. You know. You need to be in that like zone. Yeah, Jelly Bean. Give me one second. Idea of having something that you think you want to write. Yeah. Got nothing I want to fucking write. Well, there you go. It's probably not for you then. Not really. There you go. I mean, you even see, I don't even write in the Bible. That's how much I don't write. Right. Sure. The most writing I'll do is tweets. Because, mm -hmm. you know, I'm witty. Bitch, don't lie to yourself. You are not witty. <laughs> write a story based on your experiences. This is Noah. My puppy. Isn't he handsome? 
I love him so much. Handle that mentally. Let's see. How do you know what my hygiene is like, Panda? Oh, Panda's in there! We got it. The food stamps are in. Oh, good. Yay! They got their food stamps. We got food stamps. We're gonna get folds in the morning. Yeah. Does that mean we should sleep? So when we so we can like wake up and then we'll be able to get some folds. Are they about to get off? Hold Hi, up. watermelons. Where's the Gavins? Probably upstairs. I miss my Gavins. Let's see, why did it do that? Steak and lobster, no. <laughs> On the EBT card. Yeah, you, you want steak and lobster, watermelon? <laughs> yeah? <laughs> yeah. You want steak? You want meats? I swear, she loves them cats you want more fish? than she does her kids. <laughs> He's so cute. Jelly bean. Is this what you're talking about? This first um, clip, jelly bean? Is this one? Is this the one, jelly bean? Oh, look at it. Look at it. Look at the puppy. Hopefully, this is the right one. Is this the right one, jelly bean? Oh. So cute. It likes that water. German Shepherds are awesome. All right. That joke happened like three years ago, dude. Make paella. Mmm. Still funny. Oh my god. You made a good joke, honey. It wasn't a joke even though. I took it as one. It wasn't a joke. Okay. It, it doesn't matter. Cheech and Sean is still funny. That that is true. Are you there, babe? I am. Ooh, up in smoke. There we he is, guys. Michael's joining up us. Up in smoke. Watch, she's probably gonna go off like That's where a few seconds I after you get on be. here. I freaking hope so. It is. <laughs> oh, goodness. I wish I could figure out what it is that makes me so fucking mad. Later. Her smug bullshit laugh. Her ugly, fat, toothless face. So is George Carlin. Babe. Yeah, George Carlin is amazing. You're being... You're being... Like, he's my favorite comedian tonight, of all time. I've been watching this for... Straight up. Hours. That's Fucking true. Hours. I don't think there's anyone that will he ever watches replace me while George. he's at work and stuff. Ow, my ear. These so headphones says start to maybe you should do a, a movie bit podcast. Them for eight hours straight. No one wants to hear you guys you talk, talk about, about movies. movies. No, I know. Like, what is th this? Is the thing? Like, it's how she has the energy to do all this but can't work, and she's supposed to, supposedly dying of cancer but can do this. But she has the self-delusion to think anyone wants to see them do anything but things. fight. That's all people want to fucking see them do. That's true. They don't give a shit about their life. They don't give a goddamn about I her interests, her fucking sweaty. tastes, <laughs> her cooking. They don't give a fuck. Yeah. She's a I don't fucking like cow, a fat, stupid bitch. Babe! Everything. Don't be too, too harsh. People will be saying we're being bullies. I get sweaty. Are, I'm taking oh a bath. Seriously. Let's see here. Can't stand Sorry, it. I had to clean my glasses off for a second because they were all kinds of junked up. I just don't understand. Like, what is she doing? They're flirting Why with is each she other. Just... 
this juicer and Morticia. to go on and on about nothing. I think no. maybe it's because I only get the, the They're snippets. They're like getting it all up into and like each the shit other, that you man. Show me and then this is I interesting. Come on We're here. getting a romance in this chat. Yeah, so I don't know. get I don't get the, the down. It. You know what I mean? I'm always yeah at the yeah. peak <laughs> of my <laughs> fucking pissed off offedness. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, you probably would. Morticia, I like that. Yeah. Rev irritates me too, though, because he acts like I don't know, like like. Oh just, yeah, I'm I'm sick of that shit too. People like thinking that he's a victim or that like they the trying to come a for your title of one true couple. Of shit. I mean, well, it's like when he came on. Who's coming for my title? Um, oh, wait. Horticia and Celebrity Juicer. Uh, oh, okay. You know, begging for money. I'm not in competition with how anyone. How this started. So, and he was like, I've got know, to do it for my wife because i got to them. provide for my wife. And it's like, provide for your wife? Get a job if you want to provide for your wife. Like, just coming on and begging for money over uh, social media not is not providing for your wife. Unfortunately, oh, God. I yeah. am around people who. But that's what he—that's what he considers it. Like he considers. And yet they think I am coming on here and staring at a camera, not, not saying shit. That's his job. Like he is—he's doing something. That is effort to him. Bro. Yeah. True. And that's what I mean. Like the self-delusion is out have of. Have you this ever seen world. me competitive at all? No. Yeah, I d I don't have a competitive bone in my body. I don't care She's if so someone fucking wins stupid. or loses. She's lying. She talks about she talks about her con like oh my god she's yeah. so stupid. It doesn't matter if you win or lose it's how you play the game. Right. Well you lose so it's a good thing you don't care. <laughs> my money. So you like it better said, when I mean. Gone, would I expect you to wash my dirty? So it's not about it. Honest, I mean it's not really about just, expecting. Aww. I work. I go do a job. Carrie I keeps the house. That's the agreement that we made. That's I know that was a great fucking channel. Right. I don't expect it, uh, and she doesn't expect me to come home and do channel. her job. I don't expect her to go to work. Right. For nothing. And it works yeah. for us. I know. Yeah. It's always for nothing. Neither Everything one of them. Everything I anything. go through is always right. for nothing. She doesn't do shit for him. He doesn't do shit for her. But on Judgment Day, they don't even like each other. To be honest with you, I mean, I will receive my rewards for that. Oh, Taking God. the yell all the Are time. Are you hearing this? Yes. Listen to this shit. She's such a good Christian. You compete with uh -oh. Rev? No, I don't. Super chat. Did I miss the super chat? Or did you? Oh, he was just saying sub chat, I think. You and Rev fighting over it's foods. Been a while. That's not competition. <laughs> fighting over Your eyes are going That's blurry. That's survival. Yeah. yeah, the cops were called, I guess, by the neighbors or something. That's awesome, Zabonkers. Did they show it? Or the people are like, no. They just said yeah, it. I don't even know if it's true. Maybe they're just making shit up. Maybe the, no. maybe nobody called the cops. Maybe the cops nice. just came over to have a Coke with them. Oh, that's they right. To get, get an autograph or something. That's that's right, because they're famous. They're fans. Do I make more on Twitch? Definitely the ad revenue's better. Bullshit. I'll say that. They take more money on Twitch. What do you mean? Yeah, but it, but Twitch gives you ad like so like for you on YouTube you make nothing with ad I'm revenue. I'm the single you know Pringle eating because scabs nothing is wins. monetized when it has a password. <laughs> Z bonkers wins. Anything like that, but on Twitch, the content wins. requirements are different. Well, I need to start. I can stream. I can stream every stream to YouTube and Twitch. I should start doing it on Twitch too. Then absolutely, hundred percent. Because then you get the ad revenue from Twitch and then the like super chats <clears> and all that stuff from. <laughs> But honestly, like she's trying to make this like her <laughs> career, like her job and stuff. If you were trying to do that, then I mean, you can see, you can, you can now see how hard it is <laughs> doing it. As long as you okay, have, like, I gotta go. It's late. It's uh -oh. so little money. We need to be sleep. quiet. Be quiet. She's about the to cats get are off looking here, like guys. You need to go hope. to bed so I can lay on you. So. Are you, are you the only one are you the only ones like does your cats tell you when you have to go to bed too or are we the only ones like no i think there's more people that's, yeah that's so funny shani the cats hilarious. are telling us to go to sleep you can tell just hilarious they're looking at us half I'm... dead being like maybe just in a bad are you mood, done yet is, everything's okay i'm done mommy's gonna go to sleep for the kitty cats 
watch them run around all night when they get tired of sleep and yeah. watch it. All we're going to hear is this. It's going to happen. I guarantee it. But not I the guarantee it. As soon as we turn feet, off the lights, you're going to go all freaking thirsty. Mm, true. She's like, no, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> She is just in such a good mood. All right. <laughs> I'll, I, he, he's a Maranatha, guys. <laughs> Thank you, Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, my God. Did she get off? I think so. All right. Well, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to let Michael, yeah, but I'm going to, we're going to watch the uh, blow up one more time and get your reaction to it. I know that you did see some of it Um, here. I'm going to go to the part where it's. That is a face of a man that is dead inside. Yeah. No shit. All right. Let's see. Did everybody. Uh, did all you guys that are in the chat right now, have all of you seen this, the fight? Or is this going to be new to any of you guys? Debra, you missed it? You haven't seen this yet? You missed it too, Trash Panda? Oh, shit. All right, you're in for a treat because it gets really crazy. Now, I'm not going to play the whole thing um, because most of it's just him staring in the camera in the beginning and like, looking miserable, not saying anything. But um, towards the end, all hell breaks loose. I'm not forcing him to is it playing? Oh Wait, my god, gotta... that dude is being still as shit. Yeah, you gotta be. I gotta be quiet. I'm sorry. Well, just because she, the beginning part, it's hard to hear because she's not talking like real loud when she starts. Then she starts going nuts. You can tell me to shut up. Shut up. <laughs> Blink, bitch. <laughs> God damn. She said, I'm not forcing you to do anything. Look I at did him. not want to come on here. I did not want to come on here, he said. He said, give me your phone. I did not want to come on here, Shannon. You know what, Jason? Are you doing this stuff on purpose just to make me look bad that I'm forcing you to do stuff? No, I'm telling the truth that I did not want to come on here. Then don't ask for my phone. It make me look like I'm doing something toward you. Ask for your phone. I didn't. Like people think I force you to do stuff against that your will. I don't. Making sure that boxing fist ain't coming at him. I didn't do anything. No 
don't give a fuck about always make me look bad. I didn't even do anything. Tell them I'm not forcing you to do this. <laughs> you can at least tell them that. She's not forcing me to do this. <laughs> Instead of making it seem that I'm doing something against your will. It's very clear to everybody that I don't want to be on. Well, good. <laughs> but why does it have to be on my fucking back? Why do I have to look like I'm shit when I didn't even do anything? I didn't fucking do anything. I don't know what you're talking about, man. No. Do you not see the audience where they're saying that I'm forcing you to do stuff against no. your will? No. I didn't notice that. I'm so sick of hearing that. <laughs> And it's like, poor fucking Jason, and I'm the one who's goddamn dying. All that I do. I'm the one who can't fucking even barely fucking sleep or breathe half the fucking time. But no, it's all on my goddamn back. Every goddamn thing. I'm the Why only you one that goes. Why just sit there and stare? I'm the only one that goes out there and does anything. What the hell Why are you, you talking just about? Why you sit there and stare, Jason? The only reason that you're able to get anything is because of me. So I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. And the about. only reason why you can get anything is because of me. So? What's the point? I don't understand I'm what you're sick of being the only one that makes fucking money in this house. <laughs> wow. I'm sick of the only one who puts actual fucking work into shit. While I'm fucking sick as anything, I'm sick of that. Sick of living like this. Why don't you leave me then? Is that what you want? Yeah, kind of. Why? What did I do? What did I do? went well. Well, you're just staring and not saying anything to anyone, Jason. Why did you even go on? I don't know. Why did you even go on if you're just gonna stare and look fucking, like, insane and then everyone's blaming it on me and I didn't even do anything? Yeah, I'm going off and don't ask me to go on again. I did it! Wow. <laughs> wow. So what do we think? Do you think that she is asking him to go on? 
or that yeah, he... Yeah, you're, you're fucking right. She, she made that asking. She said, I'm not doing it. Go big. Yeah. Yeah. It's wild. I do, I still, like, some people, and I mean, I honestly, I don't know that I think that they're good enough actors to pull it off, but some people think that, like, it's total bullshit and that they just fake this shit to get views because they get more views than any other time when they're fighting. I don't think they're smart enough to do that or good enough actors or anything like that. But And, I mean, they're so predictable because as soon as that happened and they went off, you said she's coming back on because she can't leave it like that. She has to come on and, like, plead her case and all that shit. And that's what she did. You know what I mean? And that's what she, like, pretty much the rest of the night, it's, I think, her trying to, you know, prove that they're not really fighting, that everything's hunky-dory and... That, and because then she came back, she was got they got off. Then she came back on again and was like started arguing with somebody that was saying some shit to her um, about more stuff to do with that. And I was just like, oh my god, like this is never ending. Uh, it really was never ending though. It has been a long night. All right, so we're gonna wrap this up then, guys, because I am freaking beat. Um, thank you guys for hanging out. Some of you have been here for a long time too. I love you. I appreciate you. You guys are awesome. Um, Michael is off work tomorrow, so we will be streaming and, uh, going live for sure at some point. Um, we might do some stuff during the day, which is kind of different for him normally. Um, he's only available to do stuff in the evening, but, um, If she goes live or something like that, we'll cover that. Um, If for some reason she doesn't, if they're quiet tomorrow, we'll do something and we'll cover some other stuff. I know one thing that we've been talking about doing is trivia, doing some kind of trivia and figuring a way to like incorporate it with you guys. Um, Yeah, that'll be awesome. Yeah, I think that would be a lot of fun. So, um, but uh, yeah, so I hope you guys are going to be, I mean, you were doing it all day today you might be sick of it um well i don't know i i mean i enjoy it like i feel like i'm just hanging out with friends today might have been a little overkill but there you know it was one of those days where some crazy shit happened you know what i mean there's always gonna be days when there's some days it's pretty boring hours of and... It and some days when there's none some days oh there's... yeah oh yeah but that's tomorrow like they get the food stamps so tomorrow you know like it's they probably be, they may not they may not it's come on be a because 90 they're degree difference. I think they will. Oh but yeah, they're gonna be on their happy hunky fucking dory, happy go lucky. I mean, they're so fucking predictable. Yeah, yeah. Well, and I I'm, hate tell- them. I'm telling you that like they threw this this whole fit and all that that way that they're acting and that all that was going down. Only then, for a little while later, because they got money from someone, he leaves, comes back. She had a soda. I saw her drinking the soda, right? But he supposedly had got her a sub sandwich. Never saw her eat the sandwich. Who Never. are these people giving them money? Like I just shit. Don't I don't but, know. But like, think about it. Like, like this is their life plan. They're going to yeah. beg, like they're going to get food stamps on the second. That two hundred eighty-seven dollars will be gone in about three days, maybe four, and then they'll yeah. beg for money. Like even if their absolute goal pans out, and she's making. Let's just like tops making 500 bucks a month on Twitch and they start getting, um, uh, you know, uh, disability. Like even the, all of that put together, they're not going to be able to live on their own and like sustain any kind of life. That just, no, that can't be their life plan, but that is their and the, goal. Uh, and the uncle is going to be sick of it and they're going to be getting kicked no out kidding. of this place again. And G man actually said that he's, going to contact the uncle and tell him tell him what they're doing and shit now will he really do that i don't know should he do that i don't know but he was talking about doing it i hope so man that and he said sunday that he's going to be doing something you know and exposing them or whatever more stuff on them so i'm looking forward to that as well i would like to have g-man come on one time and like talk about i thought it was really cool of him i mean yeah i thought it was really cool yeah i really do i have I appreciate that he apologized to me. Did you know what? I let me pull that up for just that part. Did you guys see that part at the end where he apologized to everyone? I only well, heard you know about what? it. 
Oh, you didn't see it? All right. Well, hold on. I'll pull it up really quick. Just that part. Um, but I think that it's. I think it says a lot about G-Man that he knows the disagreements that he has with people, and they 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 don't have the same views, maybe, but they can still have a conversation. Still, um, you know, talk about the things things that yeah. they do agree on, and not focus on the shit that they don't agree on. Yeah. All right. Hold on. Let me put this on the screen real quick. No, there's no way they'll get SSI. I don't. I don't think either of them have worked enough to get SSI. Oh, and right. if they try to get SSDI, but Shani, your mother, I don't think they're gonna qualify. All right, let's see here. Let's listen to some of this real quick. You didn't see any of this, babe? No. And like I said, all I'm doing right now is showing empathy towards Jason right now. That's all I'm doing right now. I have strong opinions about him as well and about some of his decision making regarding her. They're not even supposed to be doing that stuff over there, from what I understand. So a lot of you don't got to wait for another eviction saga. That's going to be happening sooner than later if the uncle ever gets wind of what they're doing in that house. Mm, see, here we go. And I don't think she any gets it. I don't think she gets it. Winter starts, I believe, on the 20th. Winter? Is that what he said? Yeah. Winter is coming. I might. I might call the uncle and tell him about what's going on on Twitch. But tell the uncle to leave him alone and, and, and let um let him see that um that, that Shani's making him do it. But Shani, your mother, I'm sorry. I'm on your mother's side 100%. You convinced me when you were living in the house that, that your mother was a monster and all this other stuff and whatnot. But now I see what, I see what she was talking about. Mm. I see what your mother was talking about. You ain't nothing but a user and an abuser. That's all you are. Mm -hmm. you're, a sorry, you're a sorry sack of trash that really, really, really needs to be taken care of. Whoa. And I ain't talking about uh, 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 helping you get a roof over your head or nothing like that. Somebody needs to go upside your head, like honestly. Because <laughs> what you're doing is deplorable. It is immoral. It is immoral. All she did was say First you made nice, the man you shave man. his head <laughs> for flirting, which you do almost every time you go live. Oh, she does do Shave that. your head. Oh. Talking about all this weight you losing. You're losing no weight. And you ain't got no cancer. And you've been dying for the last six years, you liar. You should be dying for longer than that. Anyway, I know some other people got live streams. I don't want to take from their streams. But um, I'm I'm just saying that um that 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 was disgusting. It was absolutely disgusting. And 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 how did how can you sit there, Shani, and be so puffed up and proud? And 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 Rev, how can you sit there and allow this woman to talk to you that way when for the better part of three years you was taking care of them with your with 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 you was taking care of them with what your mother left you or whatever? And now you guys are all looking forward for the EBT card. Do you not see the judgment hand of God on your life? That the Lord Jesus Christ is against you. He is not with you. And if you repent, he will bless you. But you got to get away from that devil. <laughs> Man. I like it when G-Man's mad. Yeah. It's your life, dude. You can do whatever you want. But if you want real peace, dude, you got to come to know the Prince of Peace. And you it's your and, life, and, and, and you really got to get away from, oh, God, you, you got to get away from Shani. All she cares about is YouTube fame, dude. She don't care about you. And if she does care about you, it's only temporal until the next guy comes along. I don't know. And Jason, I'm saying ass. this because I care. Please do not go on your YouTube channel, G-Man. I don't want to hear it. You know, you betrayed me. I would have never did what I did if you, I'm sorry, if your dumb behind woman didn't get on YouTube, G-Man gave me a death sentence and had all those plots to try to have me give her back, the, to try to give you the house back under pity. The little plot that you guys had, the fraud that you guys had planned. Mm-hmm. So cut the baloney. You're hungry right now because of your woman. Because if I was in the picture, you wouldn't be hungry right now. 
<laughs> You're getting what you deserve. And I'm telling you, dude, get away from her. And then the blessings are going to come and you ain't going to know what to do with them. But you're never going to see it until you take a step out on faith. You know it and I know it. That woman is not good for you. And like the rest of these people in this community, and listen to me, I want to publicly apologize to Dragnut. I want to apologize to Miss Parker. I want to apologize to Burnt Toast. I want to apologize to, to, to the Geek Room. I want to apologize to Sabella. I want to apologize to um to Carrie. I want to apologize to 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 XX Archive XX. I want to apologize to um to uh I want to name him by name. I want to apologize to Draven's Crypt. I want to apologize to BGTV and anybody. I want to apologize to Indigo. I want to apologize to the Gentleman Pioneer. I want to apologize to Lubis. I want to apologize to Todd. I want to apologize to everybody I went after that was exposing this disgusting Neanderthal. <laughs> and I went and I defended her. Get him. I apologize to that. Get him. I mean, I, I apologize to the people that I was attacking. Regarding that, I mean, because this woman that's is not everything easy for that him. you guys that's, said she was. Right. That takes a big man, honestly. Yeah. And I don't I, like everything about G Man, but that takes uh, that is not easy, especially for a person like G Man. He has a very he is. I mean, yeah. damn, that's something. Yeah. Rev, get away from her, man. She's destroying you, and I don't want to end up hearing about you dying, dude, behind this. And believe me, if it happens, Shani, the same thing I told these other people, I'm telling you, I will testify in court against you. And I'm not playing. Nothing mm. better happen to that dude. Bam. And then he ended it. He didn't even use the outro like he normally does. Wow. The bad at What did you call it? The. The. What does he call it? Super cool or the. Some know. something out that awesome outro, I think. Awesome outro. Yeah. Um. Oh, and the other thing, I don't know if you heard this. You know how Shani's always talking about Cocktopus Prime? And, oh, she likes him, you know, loves him, thinks he's so great and everything? Yeah. Well, he asked her tonight if she would come on the podcast, and she said yes. <laughs> so, like, I think that's going to be hilarious because, basically, like, she's going to show up to be on the podcast, and guess who's going to be there? Did you tell me. her that you're on it? No, he didn't say anything about me <laughs> being on there. But I'm on there now on Tuesday night, so I think that I think that will be awesome if it happens because she's not going to. I wonder if he was trolling her, you know, or if. No, I think he really would have her on there to ask questions and shit. Because we were talking about that last episode that he was he was like, I you know I want her to come on because I'm going to ask her questions. I know how to do it like in a way where it's cordial and nice, but I'm st but I'm still asking you know good points like making the, the points just doing it in a way where she can't you know be the victim basically and say but oh also, you're bullying me or you're whatever because he's going to do it in a nice way but also she wouldn't say that shit to him like she would be on his dick like you know so he could ask her shit that may even be a little bit mean but yeah um hold on one second rain of fire i'll give you the link to the um to their channel it's called the goddamn podcast and um, I've been on there for the, it's on Tuesday nights at 10 p.m. Eastern. Um, they asked me to come on for the first time a couple of weeks ago. And I've been on now the last four times. And they offered that I could be a regular on there. So um, let me, I'm dropping the link to the last podcast we did on their channel. So any of you haven't checked that out, check that out. Because we talk about Shani and Rev, but we talk about other stuff too. They like to talk a lot about politics and um, we just watch like different videos and stuff from on the internet. Funny shit. Like it's a good time. You'll like it. If you haven't seen it, definitely check them out. So I'm curious to see if that, if that ends up happening. And Adult protective services, Nina Gonzo. Wait, what? She was What's saying, uh, who was the department? Rev and Shani said they needed help from adult. Yeah. Something. Adult adult protective service, which you can't get. It doesn't work like that. They're idiots. Um, well, I mean, but there was, off, like, she was saying, I'm going to be checking myself. And like, that isn't how this shit works. It's as no. dumb as her saying that she gave her kids up because she's so sick. If there right. was a place that people could just take their kids when they don't want them, it would be fucking full. Yeah. There's a lot of dirt bags everywhere. Everybody would be doing shit. it. 
Yeah. It's, it's just so stupid. Yeah. So, all right. Well, thank you coming for coming on, babe, for a minute. Even though it what didn't end up being very long, you helped me get through the last little part because I'm telling you, it maybe I was a, the good luck charm you needed. There you go. It was a long day. So, um, thank you guys for hanging out once again. I really appreciate each and every one of you and the support that you give me and this channel. If you're here and by some strange chance of fate that you have not subscribe to my channel please do that please take the time to do that that means a lot to me and um i i usually stream once a day at least once a day um and i always bring the latest shanny stuff the latest rev g-man all of them and i've just recently started covering some new cows so come check that out as well if you haven't seen it i just did a deep dive on love notes for tlc um, and that was a wild ride. So that's all on my channel. If you want to check that out, Michael, my husband, he comes on uh, at least a couple of times a week with me and he does husband reacts episodes where I show him some Shannon and Rev content that he hasn't seen before and uh, get his reaction. So that's usually uh, like a really fun time as well. Um, so I hope you guys have a great night. You just got thanks. a super thanks. Oh, well, that's, that's, Thank you. It's not through this, though. That's through um, comments on the channel. Yeah. Oh. But Yeah. Because that, that's when you... Super thanks are these things. Uh, I'll explain it just in case you guys don't know. If you ever miss a, a stream and you're watching one of um, the... If you're replaying one of the streams back later and you feel like you want to give... There's actually a way that you can do that now. It's called a super thanks, and it's right on the um, below the video. You can, it's like a little heart, and you can click on that, and you can donate that way. Um, if you don't get the chance to come watch it live to give a super chat, just a little thing. Don't feel pressured. I, I definitely don't pressure anybody to donate. Only if you want to, um, but you can do it that way as well. So thanks for coming on with me, babe. Thank you for having me. And I'm going to play you guys a little song on the way out. Um, like the stream. And I will be seeing you guys tomorrow at some point. Michael probably will too. So we'll see you maybe. guys back. Maybe. <laughs> uh, maybe. I'm going to make him. So he's going <laughs> to. So um, we'll see you guys tomorrow then. Um, have a good night. Oh, hold on. Nina. Oh, God, please tell me it didn't go live. No, no, no. Nina, thank you so much for the super chat. You said, here's a little bit of thanks, baby girl. Thank you so much, Nina. I really appreciate that. I really appreciate all of you guys. So have a great night, and I will see you next time. Bye, everybody. Love you, guys. Eighties. Yep. <laughs> Oceans apart, day after day, and I slowly go. But it doesn't stop the pain If I see you next to never How can we stay forever? You got